although he likes these treasures very much, with such a captain and deputy captain, these seem to be nothing? If you have strength, what can you get? It's just a treasure, since the captain has greater ambitions. Clearly, then, he has much more to gain by firmly following in the captain's footsteps. He long bred is not an easily satisfied person. Next, Rex set off a huge change in the kingdom. All nobles and officials were arrested, the guilty were imprisoned, and the innocent were released. All members of the Titan pirates were dispatched, traveling around the country, and launching a special campaign to eradicate crime and evil. The entire country was in a state of panic and panic. But when they discovered that the people arrested seemed to be ordinary bad guys, they gradually felt relieved. During this period, the news here finally spread, and the world was shocked. When the World Conference is about to begin, there are pirates as bold as rocks who dare to cause trouble. The whole world is waiting for the reaction of the world government. Marijoa, the five old stars listened to the report with ugly faces. There are such villains. To do this kind of thing at this juncture is to provoke our world government. Must be severely punished. Unexpectedly, the child that the Carmelite guy was talking about would actually reach this stage. Next to that girl, there seems to be a creation of the soul soul fruit. Yes, that is a dangerous ability. This girl is destined to become a top powerhouse. This cannot be tolerated. It must be eradicated. Agree. Seconded. The five old stars talked and reached an agreement. The world government immediately ordered the navy to send a fleet to destroy them. At the same time, in order for the world conference to be held smoothly, another team was sent to the country to find a representative to participate. Teams in other parts of the world on the road or preparing to set off have also strengthened their security forces to prevent similar incidents from happening again. Naval Headquarters, Marine Vondo After receiving the order from Wulaoxing, the Navy Marshal conveyed the order to Admiral Gang Gu Kong, who had been designated as the next Navy Marshal. Let him send reliable people to apprehend the criminals. Cyborg Kong looked at the order and felt a headache. How come such a daring madman appears again? He slapped the order on the table and rubbed his eyebrows in thought. These two guys are very powerful, and it would be difficult for ordinary lieutenant generals to achieve success. But now during the World Conference, manpower is scarce, so there is no way to send many lieutenant generals there, and with normal combat power, even if there are more people, they may not be able to win. That girl's ability should allow them to escape from the air. What a troublesome ability! When he thought of this, Cyborg Kong became even more irritated. Obviously, this is an order that is almost impossible to complete. The opponent can escape from the air, what's the use of sending more people? They can still escape. It's a bunch of troublesome guys again, can't they be more stable? Really? Several candidates quickly ran through his mind, and Cyborg Kong rejected them one by one. In the end, he decided on a candidate who was not high in official rank but absolutely powerful. The Navy sent people, but before the Navy fleet arrived, Rex had already completed everything resolutely. A country with a population of more than six million was swept away in just five days. Of course, there were many local officials and military officers with a sense of justice who were impressed by Rex and took the initiative to help Rex. Only with the transportation of Legenza can such speed be achieved. As for those treasures, Rex left behind all the gold and silver bricks, gold coins, and silver coins. Only take away all the treasures that cannot be circulated as currency and have greater significance for collection and appreciation. As for Bailey, Rex only took part of it, about two billion, to use it to buy Adam Wood for new ships. Only one third of the remaining money is left to the National Treasury for government operations, and the other two thirds are distributed to the people across the country. This is a lot of money, even the gold and silver bricks. Gold coins and silver coins of Belega are worth hundreds of billions. According to the headcount, everyone, regardless of gender, old or young, received a share. 
including those officials and businessmen who do not do evil and have good reputations, they are absolutely fair. With Lingling's intimidation, knowing that there is no way to cheat, no one dares to be greedy. In just a few days, I learned about the fear and loathing of the pirate attack from the beginning. Then there is the fear of pirates arresting people everywhere, and letting go of the fear of knowing that the people arrested are all evildoers. In the end, the property will be distributed to the people, everyone will have it fairly and justly, and the six million people will be filled with gratitude to the Titan pirates. Especially Rex who ordered this. The people all hope that Rex can stay and be their king. Because they all know that everything the Titan pirates have done will make this country a good place. Even a beggar can live a good life for a while with the money he is given. If you work hard, you can rely on this money to become a beggar. But how could Rex set his sights on the identity of the king of a mere small country? Besides, the world government will not just let it go. If you don't leave, I'm afraid the army is coming. Rex is very confident, even a little arrogant because of the memory of the One Piece world in his previous life. But he hasn't reached the point where he feels he can steal the navy or steal the world government. Choose the most righteous guy from the nobles who has some ideas about governing the country. Rex had a deep, secret conversation with some of the guys who idolized him for what he had done. No one but these people knew what was said. It was only after Rex left that the nobleman, with the support of some people, declared himself the new king. And issued a series of policies. As a result, the country began to develop rapidly and healthily, and many years later, it became one of the most developed and wealthy countries in the world. However, these are things for the future. Not long after Rex left, the rapidly marching navy finally arrived. After arriving, the navy found that the country was calm and peaceful, with no trace of the chaos and sorrow of being invaded by pirates. On the contrary, it seems that people are living and working in peace and contentment, everyone has a smile on their face, and social security is unprecedentedly good, which actually means they are a bit prosperous. This made the Navy look confused. The rear admiral who came this time was picking his nose, a little confused as to what was happening in this country. After a brief investigation, after learning everything that happened here, the Navy had black questions on their faces. They felt that this pirate group was a bit inexplicable and not serious. Ah ha 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 ha, what an interesting pirate group. The rear admiral laughed and led the warships out to sea to pursue the pursuit. As soon as the Navy set off, officials sent by the world government also arrived after the Navy. When they learned that the new king had been elected, they quickly reported the matter and received a reply and approval. After learning about this matter, they took the new king to the world government. As far as the world government is concerned, they don't care who becomes the king. They only care about whether this country joins the world government and becomes a franchise country. They only care about whether the new king will fulfill the golden promise in the sky. Obligation As long as these two points are confirmed, the rest doesn't matter. What's more, this king also has the support of some local nobles and the army. On the sea, the Titan pirates have left the half-sky Titan pirates, and they are currently counting the proceeds. These treasures, except for a few most of what they like will be sold later. Rex sat on the table and looked at the three boxes in front of him. My luck is really good, except for the devil fruit collected by the king. I actually found two devil fruits collected by nobles. I don't know, what ability is it? If you want to know what abilities a devil fruit has, there are only two ways. Either eat it and you'll know it naturally, or you can check it out in a devil fruit illustrated book. But the devil fruit encyclopedia is not complete. Some devil fruits may have never been eaten, and some may have been eaten by the person who did not draw a picture, and the fruit was never obtained by anyone after that. Although there are not many of these two situations, since the One Piece world is so big and the information circulation is poor, there are still some. The most complete Devil Fruit Illustrated book can only be owned by the world government. Of course, the world government is still incomplete. Otherwise, 
the celestial dragons would not be stupid enough to give the empress such a powerful devil fruit, just for entertainment. Everyone is choosing their favorite jewelry accessories and art ornaments there. All other things that will be sold later are stored in the vault on the second underground floor at the stern of the ship. There are also some various books, some of which are ancient books, which Rex got to fill the library in order to gain more knowledge. At this time, Christine, one of the girls responsible for cleaning up this pile of things, came over. Brother, I found an illustrated book among the books I brought back. Picture book. Um. Kristen handed the thick notebook in her hand to Rex, Devil Fruit Illustrated Book. Devil Fruit Illustrated Book. Rex's eyes lit up, and he quickly reached out to take it. He came just as he was thinking about this. The Devil Fruit Illustrated Book is very thick, and the cover is made of treated hard leather. When you open it, you can see that the paper inside is also very thick. The first page it is written about the author who made this Devil Fruit Illustrated Book. The second page is an introduction to the categories of devil fruits. This page is written in great detail, from the three major series to the different classifications in the superhuman and animal series. Chapter 1 There are three pages written with the categories and recorded numbers of natural type devil fruits. Starting from the fourth page, there are devil fruits. It seems that because of the age, there are no photos, and all the pictures inside are hand drawn. However, the artist's level is very high. The devil fruit paintings are lifelike. The first page records the natural devil fruit, which is actually the dark fruit that Rex is familiar with. However, Rex looked at it and found that the record of the dark fruit is not complete. Those who can restrain the fruit's ability, there is no mention of the ability to nullify the ability of the esper, or the ability to absorb and transfer fruits. It only says that it can swallow all things and release them, and the swallowed things will break after a period of time. Moreover, the esper cannot elementalize, and will also feel pain. Ten times darker. No matter how you look at it, this description is like telling others not to eat this devil fruit. Rex thought that this may be the handiwork of the world government. As for why Blackbeard knows the dark power of the dark fruit, it is probably a big deal. The probability is not this popular version of the Devil Fruit Illustrated book. After that, they are all the abilities that Rex is familiar with. Thunder Fruit, Lava Fruit, Frozen Fruit, Shining Fruit, Sensen Fruit, Gas Fruit, Swamp Fruit, Burning Fruit, Swish Fruit Fruits, etc. There are also some fruits that Rex saw when he was watching videos and reading novels, and the fruits that netizens have imagined such as the Chi Chi fruit, the Earth fruit, etc. And the hurricane fruit that has never been shown, but everyone is talking about it. To Rex's regret, he opened the box and looked at it. Except for one devil fruit that looked like an animal type at first glance, the remaining two did not match up at all. His wish to get a natural type devil fruit was in vain. No, it's not a failure. There is a slight possibility that it is an unrecorded devil fruit. But this may not be big. We can only see whether it is the superhuman type or the animal type. Rex continues. Looking through it, suddenly there was the sound of gunfire. Um. Rex raised his head and frowned, and the sight and color swept out. He was awakened at birth and after consciously practicing for so many years, Rex's sight and color range is quite impressive. Ten years ago, it was 8 kilometers in radius, and now it even reached a radius of 37 kilometers. There was no way to compare with Eniro and Fujitora, but he still had time to grow, and he might not be weaker than them in the future. A few kilometers away, Rex saw a naval warship. Oh? Did you catch up so quickly? Rex closed the Devil Fruit Illustrated book, grabbed the sword beside him, stood up and walked out. The crew members packed up their things and didn't even notice that the Navy was catching up. Suddenly they heard the sound of cannon shells, and they all took their places, waiting for Rex the order. A few people stood guard at the stern and intercepted the shells that rained down. Rex walked to the stern and looked at the approaching naval warships and thought for a moment. 
Let's test it first. The Blade of Mighty Country. The sword was slashed out, and the huge slash roared past. The sea was cut like jelly and a deep mark was cut. With this sword, at least the opponent's ship was destroyed, and the personnel were also injured and killed, lying on the wreckage waiting for rescue. But, it is also possible to be stopped by a strong person. Sure enough, when the Blade of Majestic Country arrived at the warship, a figure jumped up on the warship. Drink! The officer shouted, his fists wrapped with rich domineering energy. Rex's slash was actually shattered, only causing a hurricane in that area for a moment. Oh! Rex was shocked. He used his fist to catch the move. It seemed that the person coming was not easy. Rex suddenly felt a little happy to see that the opponent was very powerful. Rex, do you want to fight? Lingling also came to Rex at this time. Um. Rex nodded. Let King prepare and create a battlefield on the sea. Feng Kao and Dai Jun are also on call at any time. Once the opponent is very strong and can hold us back, and there is support from the rear, leave the battlefield immediately. We are still far from being a rival to the world government and navy. After doing such a big thing, the world government will probably not give up just for the sake of face. I see. Ling Ling nodded. The four Hamits accompanying her also nodded and were ready to go. Perhaps knowing that the cannonballs were useless, the other side did not use cannonballs to attack, but just approached quickly. Soon, the distance between the two sides was shortened. Less than a kilometer away. Green girl. Rex raised his chin. The cold-natured, taciturn young woman nodded and flew directly to the sea without saying a word. The moment she touched the sea, everything from Rex's ship to the navy warship was all were frozen. A huge ice flow with a radius of one kilometer was formed, and this was not the limit of King Nu. Although the limit was not comparable to that of King Nv, it was still very powerful, enough to freeze a small island. If there is enough time, large islands are not impossible. The Sloaner was not frozen under the control of King Nv, but the navy warship was frozen to the edge. Once it is true as Rex said, they can also move at the fastest speed get out of the battlefield. Well done, King Nu. Rex glanced at King Nv with satisfaction. He thought that he was lucky to have him, otherwise it would be a waste to make Ling Ling become the three Hamits in the original work. Look at the role of Feng Kao and King Nv, and can fight and assist. Superior. Rex shouted softly, jumped off the ship first, and stepped on the ice flow. The others followed closely, and no one was left on the ship. Even Bao Bao stood with Rex and others with his sword. On the other side, a navy man rushed towards the rear admiral. Our ship was completely frozen and we couldn't get closer. Really? The major general snorted indifferently, it's really a good ability. It can actually control a variety of natural abilities. Ah ha 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 ha, let's go too. In the center of the ice flow, two groups of people stood facing each other. The larger group was the navy. But in terms of quality, the Titan pirates are naturally slightly stronger. However, the navy has a large number of people, so this advantage is not obvious, and the overall situation is still at a disadvantage. However, the navy only has one powerful major general, but Rex has Lingling who is no weaker than him. Looking at the strongest opponent, the rear admiral, Rex felt a little familiar. But animation and live action are completely different things, not to mention it was 50 years ago. The two sides didn't say much and just started fighting. Rex immediately faced off against the strongest opponent, and at the same time told him Lingling, I'll deal with this guy, you go keep an eye on the others. Don't put our partners in danger. Good. Lingling responded and faced the other navy. Because most of Lingling's information has been learned by the navy, although they don't know the specific strength, they still attach great importance to the siege. With the four major Hamits, Lingling is naturally able to handle it with ease, and she can still fight in the battle. Paying attention to others. On the battlefield, except for Rex, 
every member of the Titan Pirates group faced many people, and the battle was really not easy. When Rex slashed down with the sword wrapped around his armed collar, but he was blocked by a major general who seemed to have more powerful weapons and domineering than him. Forget about long distance slashing, he could withstand it at close range. This was not ordinary, he was at least on the same level as himself. You are very strong. What is your name? Rex asked, waving his sword and raising his eyebrows. Monkey D. Cap. The Major General bared his teeth, laughed hey, and fought with his fists waving. Cap. Rex was shocked. He didn't expect it to be this guy. He was so young. At this time, he must be twenty-six or seven years old, right? No wonder it feels familiar, it turns out to be Garp. The picture of Garp when he was young in the original novel flashed through Rex's mind. Sure enough, he looked a bit similar in his dressing up and everything. Oh. Garp looked at Rex's strange behavior and asked doubtfully do you know me? I've heard of him, the rising star of the Navy in the new era. Rex nodded. The two of them were fighting fiercely and talking at the same time. It's not that he was talking nonsense. Garp is very talented and has shown it since he was a child. After joining the Navy, he quickly entered the Navy headquarters with his talent. Was better trained at the Navy headquarters, and his strength improved more rapidly. Although he is a rear admiral, he is known as one of the three new naval stars because of his strong strength. The other two are Sengoku and he. As for Zifa, who will also be a general in the future, is actually quite ordinary. At this age, he seems to be just a lieutenant or a non-commissioned officer. Zifa is not a genius in terms of talent, but a genius in hard work. Being able to become a general depends entirely on hard work. With time and accumulation, he only broke out in middle age, and his strength and rank increased rapidly. But even so, his strength is the weakest among Garp. Of course, he may be an exception. Although he is also very strong, she is called a new star, more because of her wisdom, which is higher than that of the Warring States period. Many times, the Warring States period has to rely on Zhang He. Really, ah ha ha ha, I didn't expect that even pirates who just went to sea know my name. Garp looked up to the sky and laughed with a heroic attitude. Since you know my name, then come with me. Anyway, you haven't done many bad things. If you surrender voluntarily, you might be able to join the Navy. Humph Rex sneered. It is indeed possible for someone like him to join the Navy. After all, there is not even a reward. As long as he is willing, it is estimated that what he does will be suppressed. Isn't the Carmelite just relying on peace and harmony? The Navy cooperated to persuade the giant pirates to surrender, so they are closely related to the giant clan. It can be done by the giant clan, of course he can do it with such a strong talent. If the Navy wasn't the Draco's dog, I think I would. As soon as Rex said this, all the juniors in the battle sneered. The Navy's faces were all pale, and their eyes were filled with anger. Garp frowned, Tisk, the Navy is to safeguard justice, not the Celestial Dragons. Dog. Do you believe this yourself? Rex asked back. Garp stopped talking. He joined the Navy because of his passion and wanting to uphold justice. But as his status improved, he knew more and more and understood some things. But this was not the case at all. It does not affect his passion for upholding justice. Sure enough, the Celestial Dragons are the biggest obstacle for righteous people to join the Navy. Garp thought in his mind, as if he was venting his frustration, his attacks became stronger and stronger. Gradually, Rex's expression changed a little, and the pressure became increasing. This guy is so armed and domineering that he is incredibly hard. There are no high-end applications, just simple winding and hardening, but the quality is extremely high. His armed and domineering spirit actually kept collapsing under Garp's attacks. He thought that his armed color hacky was quite powerful, but he didn't expect Garp's hacky to be even worse. 
the high-level application of armed color hacky can destroy internally. But Garp didn't use this at all. He just used entanglement to harden it, and the mass and hardness of the armed domineering hammer were not as good as his. It almost directly attacked the sword body. Under such a battle, Rex's face turned pale. Because he felt that the sword was not very good in the first place, and it gradually developed cracks under Garp's attack. I was wrapped and hardened with armed domineering energy. As a last resort, Rex had to wrap more armed colors around the sword to resist Garp's armed colors and delay the sword's breakage. I have to say that Garp's so-called iron fist is not unreasonable. This fist is really hard. No wonder he was able to chase Roger around and was forced into desperate situations several times. If there is no hard power, can Roger and him be friends and enemies, and be sympathetic to each other? Can you run away from being chased by him? Bang bang bang! Garp attacked fiercely, and Rex was not bad at all. Although the domineering appearance of the armed color is not comparable, the power brought by the size is here. In terms of strength, Rex is still slightly stronger than Garp. Finally, after fighting for a long time, even if Rex wrapped himself in more armed domineering energy, the sword in his hand was still overwhelmed and broke. You need to get a good sword. Rex gritted his teeth, discarded the broken sword, and rushed forward with his fists also clenched. Boom! Without the iron sword, Rex could more clearly feel how strong Garp's armed color and domineering force was. Armed with domineering wind and hardening, coupled with the natural talent of steel balloons, he still felt pain in his fists. Although physical skills are also very good, Rex prefers swordsmanship. Without the sword, Rex's physical skills were completely suppressed by Garp. The two fists exchanged wildly like raindrops. The air that was originally cold due to the ice on the sea surface quickly heated up due to the friction of the two fists against the air and the collision of each other, giving it a scorching heat. After fighting for a while, Cap Octavia noticed that although the opponent's armed domination was not as good as his own, his physical body seemed to be very strong and his skin was very hard. Coupled with the advantage of his huge size, it was very difficult for him to fight, so he decisively changed his strategy. The moon step was used by Garp as if it were instinctive, no different from walking on the ground. With his superb moon step, Garp stood in midair and fought with Rex crazily, using his powerful domineering force to face hard steel. In a short period of time, Rex was at a disadvantage again and his physical strength began to decline. There was no way, in order to defend against Garp's domineering power, he needed to mobilize more domineering power, which consumed a lot of money. It's okay for a short period of time, but over time it becomes ineffective. Finally, Rex faced Garp once again, and the powerful force made him take a step back. Garp, whose blood was boiling from the beating, immediately stepped forward and punched Rex in the head. Rex's expression changed, and he quickly mobilized his armed domineering force to defend his head. But it's too late. Tom. His Rex gasped in pain. Damn it. Horse riding. Falling to the bottom of the sea. Rex hasn't even landed on the ground yet, Garp, who is skilled in the use of Shao Shao and Yu Step, has already arrived at his side in an instant. Rex was caught before he could react, and the rich armed domineering force on Garp's arm pulled Rex away. S.I. was suppressed and unable to move in an instant, and was violently slapped on the ice flow. Rumble. The ice layer with a radius of hundreds of meters exploded, and Rex was smashed into the ice flow hundreds of meters deep. Cough the air inside the chest was squeezed out of the body, and Rex coughed uncontrollably. But Garp's attack was not over yet. He jumped up to where Rex was stuck in the ice and punched boom. Fist and bone impact. With the huge impact, the rich armed colored domineering energy was released in an instant. There was also overlord colored domineering energy wrapped around it, giving this attack greater power and a longer attack distance. Boom again there was an explosion that resounded throughout the world, and the ice flow, which was now more than two kilometers in radius, was shattered. Everyone was shocked and immediately floated on the moon steps. 
After King Nu repaired the ice flow immediately, she finally landed. On the ice flow. Lingling's face was full of sternness. She looked towards Garp and rushed over. The navy who had been pestering her before saw this and quickly tried their best to stop her. Get out of here! Lingling roared angrily mighty drum. Crackling. Thunder and lightning struck at the marines who were blocking her. The marines were temporarily blocked. Seeing that Garp was about to continue the attack, Lingling quickly summoned Dejun and Lejenza down. Dejun turned into a fireball and swallowed the hilt of the sword. In the middle, Lingling grabbed the sword and put Lejenza on the sword. Light cannon. Buzz. There was a sharp buzzing sound, and a thick laser was fired out, heading straight towards Garp. Garp, who was attacking Rex, who was frozen deep in the ice flow at this time, realized that this move was very strong. He quickly turned around to defend himself and punched out. Fistbone Meteorite A large amount of armed domineering energy was released, forming a pillar of armed domineering energy. Boom! Two powerful attacks intersected, followed by a strong flash, and a violent explosion occurred. At the same time, Rex was able to break free because Lingling gained a breath of time. Dilemma Breaking through the ice, Rex jumped out of the 100-meter deep ice pit with a long sword in hand. Overlord Color Entanglement Rex was a little excited. He didn't expect Garp to have learned it when he was less than 30 years old. However, he seemed a little unskilled. Otherwise, with the power of Overlord Color Coil, he wouldn't just be hammered into the ice. Layer, it's as simple as getting a mouthful of blood. He's not luffy, he can still be alive and kicking despite being entangled by a bully. Ahahahaha, as you know, this is a move I just learned and developed not long ago. Garp laughed and stared at the two of them. Rex looked at Lingling shook his head, and raised his hand to signal Lingling not to come over. Seeing that Rex was fine, Lingling breathed a sigh of relief and glared at Carp angrily. P.U., fought with those navy again. But this time, she seemed to be angry. Lingling's attack was more murderous than before, making the navy who faced her look solemn. I want to see how powerful the overlord color entanglement is. Rex withdrew his gaze and said coldly. In fact, he also wanted to see if he could comprehend the Overlord's color entanglement in this battle. Holding the long sword, Rex once again rushed towards Garp with all his strength. Use the knowledge color to detect some of Garp's actions. Overlord color hacky is entangled, and Garp cannot use it all the time, because it consumes too much. Most of the time, Garp uses the armed color hacky to fight Rex, and occasionally uses it the Overlord's domineering entanglement hit Rex. But apart from spitting out blood, Rex seemed to be fine. Garp was keenly aware that Rex's body defense was amazing. Coupled with the defense of the armed domineering, if he didn't first it is difficult to seriously damage the opponent by breaking through the defense of the opponent's armed color domineering. Understanding this, Garp no longer easily uses the Overlord color to entangle, and uses more armed color domineering, wanting to consume Rex first. Because he has discovered Rex. His weapon color is domineering, and the hardness is worse than him. If you want to defend against his attack, you need to mobilize more domineering. As Garp's strategy changes, Rex's face gradually changes, and the pressure becomes increasing. This guy's armed color hacky is really outrageous. There is no high-level application, it is just a simple winding and hardening, but the quality is extremely high. His armed color hacky actually keeps collapsing under Garp's attacks. He thinks that his own armed hacky is quite powerful, but I didn't expect Garp's hacky to be even worse. The high-level application of armed hacky can destroy internally. But Garp doesn't use this at all. He just uses entanglement to harden it so that the quality and hardness are not as good as his the armed domineering hammer collapsed, almost directly attacking the sword body. He wants to disarm my sword first. Under such a battle, Rex understood Garp's intention and his face was ashen. Because he felt that the sword was not very good in the first place, 
and it gradually developed cracks under Garp's attack. I was wrapped and hardened with armed domineering energy. As a last resort, Rex had to wrap more armed colors around the sword to resist Garp's armed colors and delay the sword's breakage. I have to say that Garp's so-called iron fist is not unreasonable. This fist is really hard. Is this forcing cheating? Rex couldn't help but complain in his heart. No wonder he was able to chase Roger around and force him into desperate situations several times. If there is no hard power, can Roger and him be friends and enemies, and be sympathetic to each other? Can you run away from being chased by him? Rex is convinced that Garp at his peak had absolute Yunko level combat power. Bang bang bang! Garp attacked fiercely, and Rex was not bad at all. Although the domineering appearance of the armed color is not comparable, the power brought by the size is here. In terms of pure physical defense and strength, Rex is still stronger than Garp. Finally, after fighting for a long time, even if Rex wrapped himself in more armed domineering energy, the sword in his hand was still overwhelmed and broke. You need to get a good sword. Rex glanced at the broken sword in his hand and threw it away. Well, Garp's goal is to get close. Relying on the advantages of my physical body, I can feel the domineering entanglement of the overlord color personally, and maybe I will have a chance to learn it. Thinking about this, Rex also clenched his fist and rushed forward. Boom! Without the iron sword, Rex could more clearly feel how strong Garp's armed color and domineering force was. Armed with domineering wind and hardening, coupled with the natural talent of steel balloons, he still felt pain in his fists. Without the sword, Rex's physical skills were suppressed by Garp. But Garp is not easy either. The steel balloon is hardened with armed color domineering. Even though the hardness of armed color domineering is not as good as Garp's, the double superposition of defense and power also makes Garp's fists ache. It seems that my weapon color is still not enough. I need to practice more when I go back. The two fists exchanged wildly like raindrops. The air that was originally cold due to the ice on the sea surface quickly heated up due to the friction of the two fists against the air and the collision of each other, giving it a scorching heat. Garp and Rex fought fiercely for a long time, and both sides consumed a lot of armed hacky. Realizing that he and Rex had advantages over each other without the domineering aura of the Overlord, they ended up being even in the end. Are you really only seventeen? What a monster! Garp laughed, his domineering aura surging again. Fist bone iron fist. Kaka kaka. The air seemed to be bursting. Rex fought with Garp against the huge pressure. Before it came into contact with Garp's fist, a red-black energy ball was produced between the two fists. Then, Ben Rex, tired from the heavy use of armament hacky, was knocked out again. Fist bone blast. Garp caught up with Rex's flying body and punched him down. A red-black energy ball appeared between Rex's head and Garp's fist, and exploded. He opened his face wide, and Rex was stunned. Unable to help feeling frightened, all the armed domineering energy was transferred to his head for defense. At the same time, he used all his strength to use the seeing color, widened his eyes, and felt the entanglement of the overlord color at the closest distance. Boom! Rex's body fell to the ground like a meteor, this time, it penetrated directly through the ice flow and hit the seabed. I see. A flash of understanding flashed in his eyes and Rex lost consciousness with a smile on his lips. Relying on his strong body, Rex quickly regained consciousness. When he opened his eyes, he saw King Nv beside him, preparing to take him up. Shaking his head and rejecting King Nv, Rex shook his dizzy head and stepped hard while suppressing the feeling of vomiting. The seawater exploded with a bang, erupting into a cloud of mist, and Rex rushed straight up like an arrow from a string. Boom! Crash! The water surface exploded, and Rex's figure appeared on the ice flow again. Looking up, I don't know when, the angry Lingling had killed those marines, and now she was facing the equally angry Garp. Faced with the domineering entanglement of the Overlord, even with the help of the three Hamits, Lingling was losing ground. 
The moment Rex came up, the two people who were driving the scene noticed it. Rex! Lingling, with red eyes and an angry look on her face, shouted with joy. Lingling! Rex rushed towards Garp. With a punch, a little bit of fine red and black thunder and lightning appeared on his fist. This is, feeling the power of Rex's fist, Garp looked solemn. Although Rex was very immature in using Overlord color winding at this time and the utilization rate was also very poor, Garp did not dare to take the attack hard and hurriedly got out of the way. Seeing Garp retreating, Rex gave up the attack and came to Lingling's side. Are you okay, Lingling? Looking at the blood stains on Lingling's mouth, Rex was also a little angry. Fine. Lingling shook her head indifferently. That's right. Lingling is not weaker than herself in body or armor. If she didn't receive the blow she just received in the face, of course nothing would happen. And you? Lingling worriedly looked at Rex who had a big swelling on his head and was bleeding profusely. It's okay, just go back and recuperate. Rex said while staring at Garp. In order to learn the Overlord's color winding, Rex also worked hard. Just now, he was in a face-to-face -face attack. In fact, his current state is not good. Originally, it was because of Garp's armed color domineering he was harder than him and consumed a lot of extra armed color hacky. In the last phase, he mobilized a lot of armed color hacky. Now, Rex had very little armed color hacky left. At this time, he was no longer able to sustain a long battle. Moreover, he barely learned how to control the Overlord color and domineering wind. If he really wants to fight Garp again, he is destined to not be Garp's opponent at this time. Rex has a judgment on Garp's combat power. If Garp PU's overall combat power at this time is that of a general, so Rex is probably at the level of a quasi-general close to a general, and there is still a lot of room for improvement. In this battle, there is no doubt that he lost. Not to mention his overlord color and domineering entanglement. He learned it reluctantly, but it doesn't matter whether he works well or not in battle. Even if his overlord color coil is no worse than Garp, against the opponent's ridiculously hard-armed color hacky, he will be consumed by Garp. Unless, if he and Lingling go together, then the two of them can 100% suppress Garp. As for whether they can kill him or not, this is really not certain. At this level, it is actually very difficult to kill the opponent. Look! Seeing that they were all exhausted and under siege, Rex shouted retreat. After hearing Rex's order, everyone didn't hesitate and immediately started to leave the battlefield. Upon seeing this, the navy wanted to entangle them and leave them here on the battlefield. But Lingling shouted Tian Man to God of Freedom. In an instant, there was a thunderous thunder blocking the navy and avoiding the thunder's attack. Rex and Lingling stood together, and they treated them seriously. Upon seeing this, Garp hesitated and waved his hand. He knew that he was not there is no way to prevent these two people from leaving. In fact, when this task was assigned to him, he never expected to complete it. If he intercepted the opponent's crew and allowed the two to kill other naval forces, the number of his subordinates who had already been killed or injured might further increase. Casualties When the Navy saw this, they obeyed the order without hesitation and gave up the pursuit. Garp, you are really strong. But next time, I won't be defeated so easily. Rex chuckled, and his domineering aura shot straight into the sky. Garp grinned and narrowed his eyes slightly. He knew that after this time, the next time we meet, Rex might have completely learned the domineering entanglement of the Overlord. By then, the strength should be completely at my own level. But if you want to compete with yourself, it is still a little bit behind. Although I have initially understood that the Overlord color domineering entangles the opponent, maybe I will not have this advantage next time. But the armed color domineering is not that Eta Euro trademark s easy to catch up with yourself. The tempering of armed color domineering requires a lot of time and hard work to practice. And he will also strengthen training in this area when he goes back this time. It is basically impossible to catch up with him in a short time. 
and the opponent's studies are a bit complex. For someone who only cultivates physical skills and domineering, and specializes in these two areas, no matter how talented he is, it is impossible to catch up with him in a short time. Unless the opponent is willing to give up other things and specialize in swordsmanship and domineering. But he there is also a partner of the same level as him who can also learn the domineering and domineering entanglement. Even if the other party can never catch up with his own strength, there is nothing he can do to the other party. What a tricky guy. Garp picked his nose, seemingly careless and unconcerned. But his eyes were full of solemnity. He knew that the Navy would have a powerful opponent. Let's go. Rex said, Ling Ling nodded, and Lei Jianzi immediately flew in front of the two of them. Wary of Garp's sneak attack, the two stood on Lei Jianzi and flew away. Garp didn't know that Rex had never planned to calculate the length of time. Whether it is Garp, Roger, or Rox, his goal has never been to defeat these people. His goal is long term, and his vision is also long term. Whether it is swordsmanship, physical skills, or he wants all three colors of Haki. And if he has the chance to get the Devil Fruit in the future, he will also add the power of the Devil Fruit. What? Rex wants his all-round power. Power without weaknesses. And these, all require countless efforts and a long time to achieve. But time is not very important to Rex, who is determined to find pure gold. Because he knows that his final opponent will be Yi, whose strength is unknown. I'm. To defeat I'm. The strongest swordsmanship, the strongest physical skills, the strongest three-color haki, and the awakening of the top devil fruit abilities are all indispensable. Garp's pursuit failed, and the world government rebuked the admiral. The navy marshal also looked helpless. During the world conference, the navy had its hands full. General Cyborg Kong wants to sit in Marie Joya to prevent any unsighted attack on the Shambord Islands and disturb the princes and nobles who come, so that he can provide support at any time. The lieutenant generals were all on standby, guarding their own areas and preventing the pirates from being too active during this period. Only after the World Conference, Garp, who has enough merit and is promoted to lieutenant general with Sengoku, Tsuru and the others, can be sent out with his out-of-character personality. But just such a person, even if his strength far exceeds his military rank, what can he do if the opponent can fly? After sending Garp's assessment report on Rex and Lingling to the department that planned the bounty, the Admiral no longer paid attention. The Information Synthesis and Bounty Planning Department obtained Rex and Lingling's strength assessment and what they had done. In order to match the reasonable bounty amount to his strength, a special meeting was held. This is a treatment that only the strong can enjoy. For ordinary pirates or criminals, at best, a group is responsible for the plan, which is drafted and then submitted for approval. But for people of Rex's level, the team leaders and superiors will gather in the conference room to analyze their intelligence and offer reasonable rewards. For Rex and the two of them, the conference room was very noisy. In fact, Rex and the two are young and their potential cannot be underestimated, but this is the first time they have offered a reward. Less is not good, and too much is not good either. Finally, after another hour-long meeting, the Titan Pirate's bounty was drawn up and passed to the newspaper. Three days have passed since that battle. Because everyone was injured, only Lingling was slightly injured and had no impact at all. Everyone was resting. With his extraordinary physique, Rex recovered quickly. In fact, it didn't take more than three days, but Rex didn't want to leave any side effects, so he just lay there and ate and drank. After recuperating for three days, I didn't feel any discomfort, and then I went to hang out on the deck and bask in the sun. At the top of the stern, Rex put down the deck chair and lay on it leisurely, feeling the comfort of the sea breeze and the sun. It's lazy, very comfortable, and feels like you don't want to work hard. Suddenly, there was a sound of flapping wings, and Rex opened his eyes. A newspaper bird stood on the stern gunnel watching Rex. The wise little eyes looked at Rex, gestured to the newspaper in the satchel, and asked Rex if he wanted to buy it. Of course Rex wanted to buy it, 
he estimated that his reward money should be out. He touched his pocket and found that he didn't have any money, so he said to the newspaper bird wait a minute, I don't have any money. He took a few steps forward and stood at the highest point of the ship except the mast. Can see the whole ship. Who has money on him? Come get some money and buy a newspaper. Got it, brother. Everyone touched their pockets one after another. In the end, only Elena had money with her and walked on moon steps to the top of the third floor at the stern. Here. Elena handed over a large note. The newspaper bird took the money and looked to see if Elena wanted to find it. When she got the reply that she didn't need it, she took out a stack of newspapers. Elena picked up the newspaper and handed it to Lay. He got a share and jumped from the stern of the boat. There is a newspaper. Elena shouted, and immediately everyone on the ship mobilized. Finally a newspaper. Great, now we can see if there is a bounty on our head. Idiot, after doing such a big thing, how can there be no reward? The key now is how big our reward can be. I want to know too, I'm really looking forward to it. The reward for Big Brother and Lingling must be very high. Everyone was talking excitedly and took a newspaper one after another. At this time, Rex also came down from the roof of the third floor and sat with Lingling. As expected, their affairs were recorded in the newspaper. However, it was inevitable that they were all smeared and became the executioners who invaded the kingdom and massacred the powerful and common people. Everyone ignored this and directly took out the reward order sandwiched in the middle. Wow, the first one is the eldest brother, exclaimed Elton. One, ten, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, millions, tens of millions, billions, billions. Alvin said in shock brother's reward actually exceeds one billion. One billion and eighty million. Is there so much reward for the first time? Charlie was also a little unbelievable. What is this? With Big Brother's strength, is this a lot? Rupert curled his lips. Everyone nodded in recognition after hearing this. Mr. Yasuo can have as much as 1.8 billion, and the eldest brother has 1.18 billion, which is nothing. It is even a little less, but it is just this much for the first time. It's already very impressive. When I opened the second picture, everyone exclaimed again. Lingling's bounty actually exceeded one billion. It's unbelievable that our pirate group has become the top pirate group on the sea in one fell swoop. Rex glanced at it and saw that it was only 30 million less than him, one billion and fifty million, which is pretty good. Thirty million less than him, probably because he is the captain. Otherwise, with Lingling's strength and the comprehensiveness brought by the soul soul fruit, she should be more than him. After all, Legenzi and King brought flying and big the ability to create a battlefield in the frozen sea is very difficult. The level of difficulty is even higher than myself. The first bounty for both of them exceeded one billion, which shocked the world very much. Charlotte Lake SI Charlotte Lingling these two names became very popular in just a few days and were talked about all over the world. On a certain island in the New World, the Charlotte family suddenly received great attention. Among the two villas, a couple on each side looked at the reward orders on the table in shock. Has Rex actually become a big pirate? Rex's mother in this life had tears in her eyes and couldn't believe it. This scene also happened in Lingling's home. They had abandoned their two children for more than ten years, and they almost thought their children were dead. But they didn't expect that they would appear again. Sensation to the whole world. Is this my brother, sister? The child they gave birth to again looked at the reward order on the table in surprise. On an island in the first half of the Grand Line, Roger, Rayleigh and other crew members looked at the reward order and were all amazed. What an incredible guy. He was only 16 or 17 years old, and his first reward exceeded 1 billion. In a certain sea area of the New World, Rox has a wild hairstyle and even wilder people. With a wanton smile on his face, Rox looks at the reward notices of Rex and Lingling. That's great, if you can be my helper. 
On the Sloaner, everyone was still looking at the reward with great interest. Amid the excitement, everyone was also a little disappointed. Because except for Lingling, although all of them were selected, no one received a bounty of over 100 million. The lowest is 38 million, the highest is 95 million. It's actually nice to have these for the first bounty, but there's no harm without comparison. Rex and Lingling Zuya were in front, so they were naturally a little disappointed. Haha, <laughs> okay, don't be disappointed, it will gradually improve in the future. There are only these this time which shows that your strength has not been recognized yet. Next, improve your own strength, and the bounty will naturally increase. Otherwise, Lingling and I would have no face if the bounty was so high and the crew was so low. Take out one and put it on the display wall in the banquet hall, and everyone can divide the rest among themselves. Rex stood up and was about to leave. Suddenly he paused and spoke again. Speaking of which, I got three devil fruits in that country last time, but I haven't seen what abilities they have yet. It just so happens that devil fruit can also increase your combat power. Um, where are things now? Rex suddenly remembered that the sudden attack of the navy before left him in the banquet hall that usually serves as a conference room and other multi-purpose rooms. I put the devil fruit in the library along with the illustrated book. Kristen said. Oh, let's go then. Rex changed his destination and walked towards the library on the second floor at the stern. Let's see what kind of abilities it has. If you are willing to eat devil fruit, you can give it a try. Brother. Christine handed the devil fruit illustrated book to Rex. Rex took the devil fruit illustrated book, skipped the natural fruit section in front, and turned to the Superman devil fruit. The three devil fruits had also been taken out. It was on the desk in front of Rex. Everyone sat or stood around Rex. After taking a closer look at the three devil fruits, Rex started looking for them in the devil fruit illustrated book. The fruit shook and fluttered. Fruits, heavy fruits, leading fruits, neon neon fruits, magnetic fruits, surgery fruits, soul fruits, and explosive fruits. These famous top fruits in the sea were turned over page by page by Rex. Looking at these introductions everyone is excited about the devil fruit, which has the power to destroy the world. Soon, most of the information about the Superman system was covered by Rex. Although the devil fruit with powerful abilities is not completely ranked in the front, the more it goes, the more powerful the devil fruit is. After the devil fruit, the abilities are basically getting worse. Of course, there is one exception. That is the animal type the human fruit, the phantom species, and the nika form, which is written as a rubber fruit. But Rex turned over it without caring. This devil fruit is not useful to everyone. If it is not suitable for personality, even if ordinary people eat it, it may only be used as a rubber fruit. And not everyone can get it. When humans choose devil fruits, devil fruits it seems that they are also choosing humans especially the devil fruits of the animal fantasy beast species. This point was mentioned by the five old stars in the original work. If it's a superhuman type, these three devil fruits are pretty bad. Lingling frowned, feeling a little regretful. Don't worry, it might be animal type. Rex shook his head and continued to read. Soon, as everyone screamed, Rex stopped. The first devil fruit corresponding to the devil fruit illustrated book appeared. Rex I looked carefully at the picture painted on the upper part. The patterns and colors were exactly the same. I randomly moved my eyes and looked at the detailed introduction below. Tisk. Rex couldn't help but clicked his tongue, feeling a little regretful. The ability of this Superman type devil fruit is really not very good, and it has never appeared in the original work. The introduction to this devil fruit is very short. Superman type writing fruit. Ability. The user can write text on anything, and can also draw pictures. The text and image will not disappear unless the ability is cancelled or the user dies. Well. What kind of ability is this? What a waste. What a piece of rubbish. Everyone complained together. 
sell it next time you get a chance, this thing is useless. Rex curled his lips and said, and continued to look through it. After a while, the entire Superman type devil fruit part was turned over. The remaining two devil fruits did not appear in it. When he opened the animal department, everyone looked closely. Staring, silently praying that it would be a phantom beast devil fruit. Like the Superman type, there are also many phantom beast devil fruits that Rex is familiar with in front of the animal devil fruit. For example, the blue dragon fruit, the phoenix fruit, and the great mouth god fruit, great entrance fruit, nine-tailed fox fruit, Yamata no Orakai fruit, Big Buddha fruit. There are also some top devil fruits that have never appeared in the original work. Such as animal type, human fruit, phantom beast species, seraph form, devil form, azura form, etc. There are also animal type deer fruit phantom beast species Kylan fruit, turtle fruit phantom beast species Suanwu form, etc. There are some devil fruits in this. Rex's previous life is still in some novels, in the forum I have seen it, but I didn't expect that this world really appeared. Look at those introductions, each one is more powerful than the other. Quite a few are no worse than the Azure Dragon Fruit, and some Devil Fruits are even better than the Azure Dragon Fruit in terms of overall combat power bonus. The fruit is even stronger. But unfortunately, none of these top-level Phantom Devil Fruits are related to Rex. None of the two devil fruits are comparable. Everyone sighed in disappointment. After that, there were ordinary animals department. Soon, everyone's eyes lit up for the second time, and another devil fruit matched the picture on the illustrated book. Take a closer look, animal department sheep fruit sheep form. Tisk, grass. Rex clicked his tongue speechlessly for the second time. Why are you so lucky? Rex couldn't help but swear. Yes, two devil fruits are considered useless. In fact, this sheep fruit is not bad. Someone said. Then give it to you to eat. Rex picked up the sheep fruit and pretended to throw it over. No, 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 I'll just say it, just say it. Now, it depends on our luck with this last devil fruit. This devil fruit will definitely be great. Rex seemed to be cheering everyone up, and he seemed to be cheering himself up. After saying that, he continued to flip through the pages. I had read all the ordinary animal parts, and the last devil fruit was not matched. Next, there is the insect class. Bug fruit. This time, Rex is looking forward to it. If the insect is enlarged to the same size as a human, the insect will be a terrifying existence. So, as long as this devil fruit can match the one in the illustrated book, then basically, it can be said to be a good devil fruit. There is not much research on insects in this world, and there are not so many classifications. In the most intuitive way, they are divided into several categories, those that can fly, those that can glide, those that crawl on the ground, and those that live in the soil. Drilled. Rex flipped through the pages and finally breathed a sigh of relief. The last devil fruit was matched. And, the ability is quite good. Animal type insect fruit shield mantis form. Let's look at the ability to introduce Lakes smiled with satisfaction. The shield mantis is an extremely powerful being among the mantises. It is very large and ranks among the best among the praying mantises. The introduction below also details the shield mantis fruit. Those with the Shield Mantis Fruit ability can transform into a giant mantis. Moves quickly, reacts extremely quickly, and the sickle is extremely sharp and can slash. The user is equivalent to a dual sword swordsman with his own two swords. At the same time, he has the ability to fly short distances. After being used skillfully, he can partially deform, and many several claws are released to assist the attack. After reading the introduction, Rex couldn't help but look at Elton. Elton is a long-handed tribesman, and his arms are born with three joints, which are exactly the same as the mantis's sickle. Who is the most suitable for this? Devil fruit, that is definitely Elton. Seeing his eldest brother looking at him, Elton was stunned and hesitated. Brother, 
you want me to eat this devil fruit? Good. Seeing that Elton understood what he meant, Rex nodded. If you don't want to eat that's okay. It's just that this devil fruit is very suitable for you. You are a long-handed person. Look how much your arms look like those of a mantis. Moreover, insect fruits are very powerful. Insects are often capable of things far beyond their own size. Ants, for example, can lift 400 times their own weight. Fleas, for example, can jump about 200 times their own distance. And the mantis fruit is not bad either. This devil fruit is in the form of a shield mantis, with good defense and strong attack power. If your arms can be like knives, you will definitely be able to exert great fighting power. Plus mantises can fly short distances. All of us can moonwalk. The combination of moonwalk and the mantis's ability to fly short distances is equivalent to having the ability to control the air. You can fly at will before your stamina is exhausted. Therefore, I am very optimistic about this shield mantis fruit. It is your choice whether you want to eat it or not. After listening to Rex's introduction, everyone who didn't know anything about insects realized for the first time that insects are so powerful. They also understood that if this shield mantis fruit is developed, it will definitely be a great help, especially when combined with the moon step. Being able to fly freely. If you can fly in the air and strike, it will be like an aerial turret with its own double swords. Elton looked at the shield mantis fruit, and his heart was entangled. Rex's explanation had already moved him. But he he had never thought about whether to eat devil fruit before, but when he suddenly mentioned this, his mind was a little confused for a moment. Frowning his eyebrows, Elton made a choice in his mind. Everyone also knew that Elton was thinking and waiting quietly. Elton's choice. In the end, Elton breathed a sigh of relief, with a firm look in his eyes, and made his decision. Regarding Garp's strength, Garp suddenly collapsed. Because of Garp's performance on Beehive Island. But Garp is 78 and he is under siege. Rayleigh and Blackbeard have already shown that strength will decline with age. You can search those One Piece bloggers to understand Garp's strength. It is said that Garp has no record, but it is true that he did not draw it. What he drew seemed to be all about siege. But he and Roger were both enemies and friends, forcing him into desperate situations several times. If he was not strong enough, not even the top Yonko, why would Roger play a chasing game with him? Roger and Garp are both enemies and friends. Not only do they share the same temperament, but they also share in strength approved. A being on the ceiling of the sea, being chased around by a far inferior vice admiral. Look at the first time Roger faced Odin, he was obviously a person who really enjoyed fighting. If Garp stretched his hips like that, he would have been chopped by Roger until he ran away with his head covered. How could he force Roger to run away? At least he was beaten so much that he vomited blood and would be recuperating on the ship. Beehive Island appeared, and the islands that Garp hit with a few moves were shattered. What happened to the evil king who merged with the island? Is this strength fake? The 78-year-old Cap has such offensive power. How could he be weak when he was young and at his peak? I really don't know what you think. There was also talk of besieging the Golden Lion, and he joined forces with the Warring States period. But that was catching a Golden Lion that was on the same level as Whitebeard, it was catching. Is it so easy to catch the top Yonko? It was precisely because he and Warring States teamed up to capture the Golden Lion that they proved that these two people were really strong. Defeat cannot have such gold content, because the Golden Lion that can fly can run when defeated. But he didn't run away, he was actually caught. Then there is the protagonist. I feel that the protagonist has been beaten too much and this talent should not be used. But the Garp I said is not much less talented than the protagonist, and he is nine years older than the protagonist, and specializes in physical skills and three-color domineering. I have said this. The protagonist is a miscellaneous person, so he is miscellaneous but not refined. Of course this is a relative lack of proficiency, but the protagonist is planning for the long term. I wrote it all. 
One is nine years older and specializes in two disciplines. One is young and has learned a lot. When I set the talent level to be about the same, it is normal for the protagonist to lose. Moreover, I wrote in my introduction that I am not invincible in the early stage. The protagonist needs swordsmanship, physical skills, three-color domineering, armed colors are also divided into hardening, external release, and internal destruction, and fruit abilities, all reaching their peak. Therefore, progress will be slow, but when it reaches a certain level, even if the upper limit of strength is lower than that of the opponent, it will be completely invincible, but it is not possible yet. In fact, there is no need to say so much. It is enough to say that he and Roger were both enemies and friends, and he forced Roger into desperate situations several times. If you deny Garp's strength, you also deny the gold content of Roger's strength. It is impossible for a top king who loves fighting to play monkey tricks with someone whose strength is far inferior to him. I have to go back to recuperate even if I can avoid Garp with one move. Of course, if you think so, I can't help it. In short, for me, Garp's peak strength will be the top Yonko. If Roger and Whitebeard exceed this level in the later stage, Garp will also be raised. In front of everyone's attention, Elton picked up the shield mantis fruit. Catchy. After taking a bite of the shield mantis fruit, Elton's face turned pale. Vomiting. It seemed like he was poisoned. He put his hands on his neck and kept retching. After a while, Elton finally recovered. It's terrible. Why does it taste so bad, Elton sounded like he was surviving a disaster. I'll never forget this smell in my life, it's so terrible. Um? Lingling raised her eyebrows when she heard this, and asked doubtfully is it so unpalatable. Lingling, you are not qualified to say this. Have you forgotten that Brother Soul Fruit asked you to swallow it whole? Elton complained. Elton, how do you feel? Transform and show us. Urged Rupert. Hey, let me give you a long experience. Elton smiled proudly and immediately prepared to transform. Wait, don't stay here, let's go to the deck. Rex raised his hand to stop him. After putting the two useless fruits in his pocket, Rex ordered put these two devil fruits in the vault later. After that, he put the Devil Fruit Illustrated book on the bookshelf, stood up and walked out. Elton took the bitten Devil Fruit and walked out with everyone. Go. As soon as he left the house, Elton threw the useless Devil Fruit into the sea with a look of disgust. Everyone on the deck sat around and looked at Elton standing in the middle. Take a good look. Elton shouted with a face full of anger, and his body began to change. Elton himself was 2 meters and 63 meters tall. After the transformation, the giant shield mantis was more than 3 meters from head to tail. After the transformation, Elton the face is ferocious, exuding a ferocious and powerful aura. It feels so strong. Everyone exclaimed. It's really strong. I feel like my strength has increased a lot, my reaction speed, and my vision range have also increased. Elton made people watch the shuddering mouth parts move. As he spoke, his figure moved on the deck. The crawling speed of the mantis is not fast in the insect world, but it is not slow either. With such a large body, coupled with considering Elton's own strength, he moves as fast as a ghost. Oh ho 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 so fast! Elton laughed. I feel it can be even faster. Once I get familiar with the ability and use it to shave, the speed may be several times faster than the main body. And... Elton stopped talking and stood in the middle of the deck, waving his arms so fast that there was only an afterimage. Swish, swish, slashes shot through the air one after another. Boom boom boom. Elton's slash landed on the sea, immediately cutting the sea area hundreds of meters in radius into pieces, but it soon returned to its original state. It's so strong. I feel like my strength has increased several times. Elton's eyes shone, marveling at the attack that just broke out. Then, Elton tried to fly again. It was said to be a short distance flight, but with his body type, 
he could fly several kilometers without any problem. This is also completely unprotected. Haven't learned how to use Uebu yet. Elton, look at the human animal form. Waiting for Elton to fly back, Rex said. Good. Elton nodded and began to degenerate from a giant mantis. In the end, Elton's body was emerald green, his head had some features of a mantis, and there were no other changes except for a pair of mantis wings on his back. In addition, his hands still maintained the shape of sickles. On the whole, it still maintains its human shape. Rex curled his lips in his heart, it was so ugly that he would never eat this kind of food. The girls present also curled their lips secretly, their eyes full of disgust. The excited L. As soon as I was about to share my situation in this form, I felt everyone's disgust, and I suddenly felt a mixture of sadness and anger. You. Even you, brother. It was you who persuaded me to eat, but now you actually despise me just like them. Uh, I didn't. Oops, don't worry about these details. As a man, you have to rely on your strength after all, right? Rex quickly calmed down his expression and said righteously. Yes, yes, brother is right. The others quickly nodded in approval. Snort. Elton snorted coldly. It's too late to say anything now. But he agreed with the second half of Rex's words. Soon, the carefree Elton stopped thinking about this matter and showed it to everyone. Strength in the human animal state. In the human animal state, Elton is even more powerful. Although he does not have the physique and physical strength of a complete animal. But when he is more familiar with the human form, he can display more strength and become more mobile. Strong. After just a little familiarity, he could easily do what Rex said. With the moon step and wings, he could glide and fly at will. Flying in the air, Elton moved his arms, and countless slashes fell like rain. In the sea, it caused violent fluctuations. A large number of fish and sea animals were cut or shocked to death. Roaring happily, Elton, who had had enough fun, flew back to the Sloaner. Brother, it's exactly what you said, it's really suitable for me. And, Elton returned to his human form, because I am a member of the long-handed clan. I can now strike casually without transforming. As he spoke, Elton fired several slashes at will, proving that what he said was true. Although not as powerful as after transformation, it is worse than concealment and quickness. Oh ho 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 ho, from now on, I can become a unique dual sword swordsman on the sea who does not use swords. As long as the armed domineering power is strong enough, I can also become a great swordsman across the sea. Oh, oh 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 Elton was very happy, he did not expect that the shield mantis fruit would bring him such a surprise. That's great, Elton. Others couldn't help but praise with envy. Everyone's praise made Elton even more proud I made you dislike me for turning ugly, now you are envious, ah oh, ha <laughs> In a flash, Elton swallowed the shield it has been several days since the mantis fruit. In order to master the power of his fruit as soon as possible and achieve the awakening that his elder brother said can make vitality and resilience extremely abnormal, Elton practiced very diligently. He was originally under Rex Lingling. In the second tier, now with the shield mantis fruit, Elton directly occupies the first tier. Those who were originally on the same tier as him, such as Rupert and Charlie, are now in the third tier, and the others have also dropped in order. Now he is being so diligent, Elton's involution behavior forced everyone to start involution together. On the Sloaner, everyone was devoted to practice for a rare moment. Rex was not idle either, and took the overlord he finally understood Lingling was taught the method of color and domineering entanglement. However, Rex had just learned the domineering and domineering entanglement method, and it was very unfamiliar. If the two of them wanted to become proficient quickly and use it in battle, they could only do this through actual combat training. The power was too great and there was nowhere to use it on the ship. Rex could only order to find an island to settle on as soon as possible, even a desert island. However, in the New World, even if there is a record pointer, 
it is not that easy to find an island. What's more, the Sea of Titans the bandit group does not yet have a professional navigator, but Elena, who has some knowledge in this field, is the one. For several days, except for the strange weather and sea conditions in the waves, there was no shadow of the island. Rex had nothing to do. He and Lingling had no choice but to make babies every day. On a rare day of good weather, Rex walked out of the house with Lingling in his arms and basked in the sun in the small garden on the roof of the third floor. Suddenly, he was alerted by a burst of shouts and found everyone running to looking towards the sea from the right side of the ship. Um, what happened? The curious Rex stood up and walked to the side of the boat, looking towards the sea. That is, Rex's eyes widened and his pupils shrank suddenly. Walking on the sea. Why is that man walking on the sea? At this time, Lingling also noticed the people on the sea in the distance. Maybe it's a devil fruit ability. Rex frowned and watched. Or maybe it's through armed color domineering. Armed and domineering, how come? Lingling was a little confused about this. Maybe it's possible. An idea flashed in Rex's mind, armed hacky can be entangled and hardened. If the armed color hacky is spread densely in a large area of seawater, it will be hardened. The density of the seawater will not change, but because the armament hacky hardens it and loses its fluidity, it will not sink, so it is possible to stand on it. Of course, if you want to do it, you still need a lot of experimental A10, but it may not be possible. After Rex finished speaking, he shouted below. Hoffman, pull the boat over, see what's going on with that man, and ask for directions by the way. It's been so many days and I still haven't found the island. Got it, brother. Hoffman's honest voice sounded. The ship turned around and sailed towards the man on the sea. He noticed that the Sloaner was approaching him, and the man didn't leave either. He turned around and stood there watching. Soon, the ship approached, Rex discovered the secret of the other party's ability to stand on the water. It turned out that there was an ice road under his feet. Ice road? Rex was surprised, and the image of General Ching Pheasant riding a bicycle on the sea flashed in his mind. No way! Could it be the previous user with natural type and frozen fruit ability? You are the Titan Pirates. At this time, the man standing on the sea spoke. This man had an old face, at least sixty years old. He had an ordinary face and simple clothes, but the aura from his body was very strong. Who are you? asked Rex. I? I'm just a traveler, traveling around the world. The old man replied. Are you a natural type frozen fruit ability user? Rex's eyes flashed, and he felt a little anxious in his heart, but he suppressed it immediately. The old man seemed to notice something, and glanced at Rex with squinted eyes, then shook his head and smiled I hope so too, but it's just a superhuman frozen fruit. The difference between one word and one word is actually a world of difference. It turns out to be a superhuman frozen fruit. Rex took a breath and understood why the other party could walk on the sea like a blue pheasant. Frozen fruit is completely inferior to frozen fruit. In addition to not being able to elementalize, it can also release freezing energy and control ice, but it is not as effective as frozen fruit. There is a huge difference. Think about it, the top natural system has a huge advantage on the sea. He once thought about whether to look for it, but the sea is so big the ones he finds may be too low. Even those with frozen fruit abilities, it's not something you can meet casually. Old man, can you tell me the nearest island? A desert island is fine too. Since you are not a frozen fruit ability user, there is nothing to talk about. Although it seems to be quite powerful, at such an old age, it is impossible to invite him on board. He is too old. Okay but can you give me some food? The old man nodded and made his request. Long bread. Rex called out, and long bread understood and walked into the kitchen to prepare. I didn't expect to meet the Titan pirates. It's really rare. The old man jumped on the boat, took a look at the boat, and looked at everyone. Aren't you afraid of us? 
Rupert couldn't feel that the other party was strong, so he pretended to be cruel. Although you are pirates, I can't feel the blood and cruelty in you. Moreover, after walking on the sea for many years, I don't really believe the reports of the world government. The old man is obviously well informed. Soon, the baguette came over with a lot of food. Oh this is great, it smells delicious. The old man shrugged his nose and his eyes lit up. He took out a piece of cake from his backpack and ate it, then picked up his backpack and said, if you go in this direction, you will encounter a desert island in about a day's sail. That desert island has no magnetism, so it is not shown, but there is fresh water and land animal meat on the island to supplement it. If you don't want to go, you can sail in this direction for three days and you can reach a small island with humans. After that, the old man carrying a bag of food jumped off the boat and left. Elena looked at the record pointer on her wrist, there is indeed an island in that direction, but the magnetic force was not as stable as the one in the middle before. It should be because it was a little far away before. For the sake of... Okay, no matter how many there are, there are plenty of supplies on the ship, let's go to the desert island first. Good. Elena nodded and went to point out the direction of Hoffman's sailing. One day later, a desert island appeared in front of everyone. The desert island was not big, with a radius of about 10 kilometers, but it was enough. Seeing the island, Lingling couldn't wait to jump on Lei Zhen's son. Rex, let's go, I can't wait to try the overlord color and domineering entanglement. Me too. Rex smiled, jumped on Lei Zhenzi, and said Lingling and I are going to have a real battle and master the Ba Wang color and domineering entanglement as soon as possible. The noise may be a bit loud, so don't go to the island yet and wait at a distance. Got it, brother. Everyone nodded 0.5. Soon, the two came to the desert island and found a flat place to land. Lingling, are you ready? Do I need to tell you more about the overlord color and domineering entanglement? Rex asked warmly without moving in a hurry. No, I already know those by heart. Lingling shook her head, her eyes full of eagerness to fight. Now, all I need is real combat. After that, Lingling squeezed her fist, and thin red and black lightning burst out. Boom! The ground cracked, and Lingling turned into an almost non-existent afterimage, carrying huge pressure and rushing toward Rex. Come on, Rex! Rex clenched his fist to meet him. There were also fine red and black lightnings on his fist, slightly more than Lingling. Boom! The two fists collided, and the air that had no time to escape exploded, creating a shock wave. The overlord colored domineering energy wrapped around the two fists collapsed, and there was only a small gap between the fists. Although the effect is not strong, the overlord color and domineering winding has indeed achieved it. It was just the first time they used it. The two people did not utilize the overlord's domineering energy very well, and the entanglement was not tight enough. So much so that after one fist fight, Ba Wang Si Haki couldn't hold on and collapsed. But this time, the two of them had a deeper understanding of the use of Ba Wang color entanglement. Come again! Rex shouted excitedly, and the domineering aura wrapped around his fist again, shooting out red and black lightning that was much stronger than before. Opposite, Lingling, who was full of fighting spirit, did the same. Boom 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 the two of them the fists were swung like rain, making continuous explosions, as if they were connected into one sound. From the beginning, red and black lightning could only burst out around the fists of the two people. It didn't take long for fifteen to shoot out more than ten meters. This is not over yet. Rex and Lingling are in full fighting spirit, and their understanding of the domineering power of the Overlord is getting deeper and deeper. The shock wave of the explosion cracked the surrounding land, and large trees were blown apart. Boom again a collision, with terrifying power, produced red and black lightning that could even be seen by the crew docked at the sponge in the distance. So strong, is that strange red and black lightning the Overlord colored domineering entanglement. Charlie's gloomy face was full of shock. 
He's so handsome, I really want to look like a king. Rupert and Elton are extremely envious. They also want to be handsome and domineering who can stun ordinary people with a single thought. Unfortunately, this thing requires qualifications. And they happen to not have it. On the island, Thunder the fists of Kess and Lingling were one meter apart, and a red-black energy ball in the middle continuously shot out red-black lightning. The surrounding air became blurred and somewhat distorted due to the strong pressure. Although both sides used trying his best, the distance between the fists did not decrease. And under this blow, their radius of nearly a kilometer was completely shattered. Most of the obstacles a kilometer away were blown away by the violent shock wave. It took less than half of the distance. Oh my god, the two of them finally fully mastered the domineering entanglement of the Overlord Color. Overlord Color and domineering entanglement, Rex is so powerful. Lingling said excitedly. She never thought that the Overlord's domineering energy could be used in this way. The two of them went back and forth. As the desert island was gradually being broken up, the two of them became more and more skilled in the Overlord's domineering energy. It felt like using bare hands. At about the same time, the two took out their swords and continued. It didn't take long before the two were able to skillfully use the Overlord's color coil with their swords. In the end, the battle ended with the swords of both sides breaking, and Lingling was blown away. Lingling, who was blown away, was a little unbelievable. In her eyes, the two of them have always been evenly matched, and they are equal. Although they didn't use all their strength just now, why does it feel like Rex is so much stronger all of a sudden? Lingling couldn't help but ask her doubts. Rex smiled after hearing this, Lingling, although we were about the same strength before, I have always been stronger than you in Ba Wang's. It's just that in the past, Overlord Color could only deal with miscellaneous soldiers and deter ordinary strong men. It was useless to you. But now, the Overlord's domineering energy can be used to fight against the top strong men. You are naturally no match for me. In terms of courage, I am much stronger than you. Smiling secretly in his heart, how could Rex tell Lingling that although he did not witness it with his own eyes, his understanding of the world would give him a higher vision and greater courage? And Lingling was just born with a domineering look but is just a girl who has never seen the world. Only after being baptized by this world and fighting with more powerful people can her overlord color and domineering power grow. As for how far she can grow in the end, we will see when Lingling how high is his heart and how powerful is his courage. Looking at the broken sword in his hand, Rex sighed oh, another one is useless. These swords made of ordinary iron are so poor that they cannot withstand high-intensity battles even if they are wrapped with hacky. Yes. Lingling frowned and dropped the broken sword, we need to get two better swords. Don't worry, it will happen. Rex said with a smile. Seeing that there was no movement on the island for a long time, and the people on the boat knew that the battle was over, they drove the boat close to the island. After parking the boat, the two came to the island, and everything they saw was a mess. The whole island was in a mess. The part of the island exposed to the sea looks like it has been plowed over and is devastated. It seemed that it was not as damaging as the previous battle between Big Brother and Lingling in the Windless Zone. Elton is a little disappointed. The eldest brother has been thinking about it and can't wait to master it, but the effect doesn't seem to be very good. What do you know? Rex and Lingling walked toward the crowd and happened to hear Elton's words. This is just me and Lingling practicing, not fighting with all our strength. If the me now, when I was in school learning to be the overlord, could be slashed away with a sword. So smart! Rupert exclaimed. Certainly! Rex affirmed. Then he added it's just flying away. The overlord colored domineering winding can attack the enemy from a distance making it impossible to defend against it. But with my strength and physique, if I flew out, I would vomit blood at most, and the place where I was hit would feel uncomfortable for a while. Unless like before, in order to learn the domineering and domineering entanglement of the overlord, I was forced to take a move on my head, 
then I really have to get slightly injured and recuperate for a few days. Okay, I haven't trained seriously for a while. This time you have gone to sea to fight twice. You are just here to summarize and improve your own strength. Our enemies will only get stronger in the future. Yes, sir. Everyone who had long felt that they could not perform well during training on the ship dispersed. Only Elton, whose strength had increased sharply due to the use of the shield mantis fruit, was left. Come on, let me help you practice. Rex walked towards Elton with his fists clenched. For these boys, his training method is very simple, which is to hammer. You either hide or resist, just hold on until you are exhausted. Elton's heart trembled, and he he said brother, please be gentle, boom. Ah. Once he fought CP0, and once he was besieged by the elite marines of the New World. The two battles gave everyone a better understanding of combat. Although it can't be said to have made great progress, it is a little stronger than before. And Elton's soaring strength because of the fruit has made others, especially those who were once on the same level as Elton, now even more anxious. Rolling his eyes at the smug Elton every day, he secretly hates why those two devil fruits are so spicy. God, listen to my prayers and give me a powerful devil fruit so that I can teach some shameless monster with long hands a lesson. How about you strike him with lightning? Rupert's expression was serious and pious, and he clasped his hands and prayed to the sky. Elton, who was watching on the side, was overjoyed. Oh ho 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 ho, even if you say that I have long hands, I won't be angry, you weakling, oh ho ho. Hoo ho ho boom. While he was laughing, a bolt of thunder came down and hit Elton on the head. Elton's hair exploded from the direct blow, and his face was dark and he exhaled a mouthful of thick smoke. Take a look, the current world report. Rupert burst out laughing. Everyone was out of breath laughing as they watched the two of them playing tricks. Legency. Elton roared angrily and looked at Legency, who was slowly slipping away above his head. Humph Legency sneered, his eyes full of secret joy that the prank had succeeded, and he flew to Lingling's side in a swish. Lingling, look at him, take care of him. Elton was furious, this child is not cute at all now. Ha 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 ha. Lingling laughed heartily. Could she say that she secretly asked Legenza to do this? She has been staying on the desert island for less than half a month, and the fresh water on the ship is almost not enough. Originally, there was fresh water on the desert island, but nothing happened. He and Lingling plowed the deserted island, and the spring was blocked and could not be found. Get on the boat, you're almost done practicing, it's time to leave here. Rex clapped his hands and said after attracting everyone's attention. He set sail again. Rex no longer wanted to waste time on the sea. He just wanted to go to Wayno country as soon as possible. Then go to the capital of Seven Waters to rebuild the ship. Although the ship was more than 100 meters long, it was still too small compared to his size. It was okay at first, but now he always feels a little restricted. But the money at that time could only build it so big, and he couldn't afford the top-notch one. Materials After sailing for several days, I finally saw the island again. The island was not big, but there were several prosperous towns. The arrival of the Titan pirates caused the people on the island to instantly panic and panic. But Lake after SI and others arrived on the island, they did nothing. They just forced open the closed doors of some stores, forced their way in to buy things, and then left the money to buy things and repair the doors and left. They replenished supplies and asked around. The intelligence people also inquired about an island near the sea area that was very similar to Rex's description. Without stopping, everyone sailed into the sea again. Half a month later, they arrived at the target island. After causing panic again, Rex got detailed information. The country of Wayno is indeed near this island. It's just that the situation in the sea area is complicated and few people dare to go in. Even if there are occasional ships entering, they have not been seen again. Appeared. After hearing the news, 
Rex finally breathed a sigh of relief and showed a relaxed smile. He has been at sea for more than two months and is finally about to reach his first destination. Boarding the Sloaner again, the Titan Sea amid the doubts of the Icelanders, the thieves headed straight for the dangerous Whirlpool Sea area. Is that the sea ahead that Big Brother mentioned? On the bow, everyone looked ahead, their faces full of surprise. That sea seems to have a different style of painting. The waves on this side are quite calm and the sky is clear. There was a big reversal on the other side. The huge waves were ups and downs, and the whirlpools were one after another. The wind and clouds were roaring in the sky, and the strong winds continued. Brother, is Wayno country really in that sea area? Elena, a half-time navigator, was a little scared. That sea area felt too dangerous. Don't worry, what teacher Yasuo said, how can it be wrong? Rex casually put the blame on the old man Yasuo. Anyway, it will be difficult to see each other again in the future. It won't be long before we are separated forever. Let's go. Don't be afraid. Rex looked excited and ordered with a wave of his hand. The 100-meter-long Sloaner was rising and falling like a small leaf in this sea area. Fortunately, everyone has some strength, and at this level it will not stagger around. Because there are many columnar peaks protruding from the sea in this sea area, everyone is ready. The wind turned into a hurricane dragon and flew behind the ship. From time to time, it controlled the blowing wind to turn or dissipate, or exerted wind force. Let the boat escape from the vortex and deflect the direction to avoid hitting the columnar mountain. There were no dangers along the way, and finally I saw an island that was much higher than the sea level appeared in front of me. How could this island be in such dangerous waters? Elena breathed a sigh of relief, but then she frowned again. But this island is so high, how can we get up there? The conditions in this sea area make it impossible to park the ship here. Don't worry there is a way. Rex was convinced. He let Hoffman drive the boat around the island, and soon he saw a raging waterfall. He didn't know if there was a lifting device behind the waterfall, but he wasn't prepared either. In that way. Dejun, get ready. Rex looked at Dejun and raised his chin to indicate. Yes, Dad. Dejun understood and went to the special warehouse on the underground floor. Then Rex asked Rupert and the others to tie the bow of the ship with thick ropes. Three of them were given to Feng Hao, Lei Jianzi and King Nu. The remaining few, Rex took the opportunity to trap several super-large koi carps that were climbing the waterfall. Pull quickly! Rex shouted, and the three people behind the wind immediately used their strength. This, brother, do you want to go up this way? This is ridiculous! It's the first time I've seen someone land on the island this way. Everyone looked pale, fearing that the boat would capsize. Hum, don't worry, there is something more exaggerated than this. Rex glanced at everyone. Soon, the bow of the boat tilted up and moved upward along the waterfall. But the Sloaner was so big that it was temporarily slow. When the hull of the boat was completely attached to the waterfall, Rex immediately ordered Daijun to take action. I saw the stern part of the ship submerged in the sea. The water surface suddenly exploded and a large amount of water vapor rose. A thick pillar of fire burst out from the water, and the ship's hull suddenly accelerated its rise. After a while, with the front being towed and the back being pushed, the Sloaner finally landed ashore and arrived at a vast fresh water lake. Finally reached. Everyone cheered. I felt that although this voyage was thrilling, it was also very interesting. I released a few koi carps and retracted the rope. Rex clapped his hands and said, OK, let's find a place to park the boat. Hide it and get in there. The customs and customs of this island are quite interesting. A few hours later. Boom. Boom. The footsteps of Rex and Lingling echoed in the streets, frightening the people of Huaju. What's this? There are such giants in the world. It's too scary, run away, you will be trampled to death. The originally lively street suddenly became silent after a period of panic, Zhao, 
and not a single person was seen. Well, everyone was stunned. It's just a big body, is there any need to be so scared? Everyone thought they had read the world government's newspaper smearing them. But after listening for a long time, no one knew that they were from the Titan Pirates. They were just frightened by the size of Rex and Lingling. The country of Wano has been closed to the outside world for more than 800 years, and it is not known that it is normal for people with huge bodies to exist. Rex explained, feeling a little numb for a moment. He came here with good intentions and needs and he can't make a big fuss here. Moreover, the strength of Wayno country is not weak, and many people cultivate it. Swordsmanship, swordsmanship, great swordsmanship, I don't know how many spoons there are. If something happens, these boys will probably suffer heavy losses. While Rex was thinking about how to achieve his goal, he sensed a person who was going towards him. He came over quickly. After a moment, a samurai in kimono looked at Rex and Lingling in shock and came to their side. Will, the general has feelings. Pavilions, carved beams, and painted buildings. The scenery is exquisite and beautiful, like a small world. The floors of the general's mansion are very high and very strong. With Rex Lingling's size, it's not too cramped to walk in it. General, the men are here. Coming to a Japanese-style sliding door. The samurai leading the way said respectfully. Please. A low and majestic voice came from inside the house. Wow. The sliding door opened, and I saw a person kneeling facing each other deep in the huge room. Rex and everyone walked into the room, took a look, and sat down cross-legged. Son they really didn't learn the essence of the kneeling posture, so they just knelt so hard, so their legs were bow-legged. When Rex and others entered, Skiyaki waved his hand to stop the guard warrior because Rex and others did not kneel down. An act of reproach. I am the general of the country of Wano, Kojiki Skiyaki. Skiyaki put his hands on his knees, bowed slightly and introduced himself. I am the captain of the Titan Pirates, Charlotte Rex. I am the deputy captain of the Titan Pirates, Charlotte Lingling. Rex and the two of them sat cross-legged in front of the skiyaki and said. The others also introduced themselves. The disrespectful attitude of Rex and his group made the retainers, bodyguards and samurai on the side look at them angrily. They kept saying whisper it's so rude, these foreigners are so rude. But skiyaki doesn't care at all. He is not his subject, and there is no need to demand that the other party be respectful to him. Pirates. Skiyaki frowned and pondered. Of course he knew about pirates, but he had never seen them before. In Wano country, pirates are a bit of a legend. So, are you here to plunder? Skiyaki asked seriously with sharp eyes. On the side, the retainers and bodyguards and warriors suddenly became vigilant. As people who often accompany the general, they also heard about pirates. No. Feeling the sharp edge of a swordsman coming from the side, Rex glanced away, withdrew his gaze and shook his head. Well, since it's not robbery, Wayno Country welcomes you. However, please don't mention things outside Wayno Country. Our place is closed to foreign countries. Skiyaki breathed a sigh of relief, with these discussions in his tone. Obviously, he actually felt the pressure from the person in front of him. That pressure not only came from this terrifying body shape. It also came from a kind of pressure that made him say no. The invisible intimidation of the unknown. That feeling of intimidation did not belong to a swordsman. When he was a child, he felt it from his grandfather, who was known as the strongest swordsman in Wano. It seemed to be a very rare and unique qualification. Moreover, he felt that it was not only the big boy who led him, but also the big girl who was always following him. According to legend, only one person among millions possesses the qualifications of a king, is he domineering and domineering? Skiyaki recalled what his grandfather had said to him, murmuring in his heart. It's really scary that two people have this qualification at the same time, and... He looked up at Rex and Lingling. They seem to be a couple. At this time, 
Skiyaki could not have imagined that his son, who was only five years old and was doing trouble all day long, was also the possessor of this kind of qualification. No problem at all. Rex nodded, interrupting Skiyaki's momentary distraction. He came here to ask for something, and he didn't want to offend the general who has a high prestige in the hearts of the people of Wayno. Besides, Wayno is among his in the plan, the future may not be able to help him. Thank you so much. Skiyaki's every move was a bit rigid. After receiving Rex's promise, he put his hands on his knees again and bowed slightly. As the host here, I have prepared a small banquet, so please enjoy and taste it. Skiyaki showed a somewhat stiff and rigid smile on his face. That's troublesome, um, general. Rex responded with a smile, stood up and followed Skiyaki who was walking in front. As he walked, Skiyaki inquired I wonder what the purpose of your group's visit to Wayno country is. Or was it unintentional? Naturally, there is a purpose for coming to Wayno country this time. Otherwise, Wayno country would not be so easy to come to. As Rex walked, he looked around, looking at the scenery here and the uniqueness of the garden. The general's mansion is well done, with some Chinese-style grace and grandeur and also has the short and exquisite Japanese style. If you have a chance in the future, build a better palace. With this thought in mind, several people came to a large room with the door open and could see the scenery outside. Please take a seat. Skiyaki extended his hand to signal, and then sat down at the main seat. When Rex sat at the guest seat, everyone else also took their seats. Skiyaki clapped his hands to signal the waiter to prepare and then continued to ask. I don't know what your group's purpose is, but if I can help, I'd be happy to contribute. Skiyaki glanced at everyone and said. It would be great if the general helps. With a smile on Rex's face, he washed his hands in the big basin brought by the waiter and said while wiping his hands. This time I came to Wayno country for two purposes. First, I hope to learn the most advanced application of your country's luying, internal destruction. Rex said the first purpose of coming here. He originally asked old man Yasuo if he really taught them all. It was because old man Yasuo didn't teach him the most powerful application of armed color haki. Overlord color haki. Of course, entanglement is also the case. But old man Yasuo answered everything. At that time, he knew that old man Yasuo was very strong, but he probably only stopped at the level of associate general, or a little stronger. But even if old man Yasuo is er has taught armed color haki internal destruction. For the next purpose, he still has to make a trip. I see. As far as I know, there should be internal damage to Luying abroad, right? Skiyaki suddenly understood, but it was a little strange. Although Wayno country was closed to the country, it was not that people left. Some domestic swordsmanship schools and some famous swords have been exported. It can even be said that most of the foreign swordsmanship schools, all have the shadow of the swordsmanship of Wayno. Most of those famous swords were made in Wayno for thousands of years and gradually flowed abroad. I know there are people in the sea who know it, but I don't know who knows it, and I don't know where to learn it so I have no choice but to go directly to the source country. He knows that Rox can do it, and Roger and the others have probably already done it. The world government can do it, and the navy can do it too, but Garp specializes in entanglement hardening. He didn't see him using internal destruction last time. But no matter what, he it's impossible to go to these people to learn. Hearing Rex's answer, Skiyaki nodded I see. This is no problem. The application of Lu Ying's internal destruction is not an exclusive secret technique in our country. I will send someone to teach you. Thank you very much. Rex said sincerely. So, what is the second purpose of your group? The food has been served at this time. Most of the Wayno banquet dishes are cold dishes, and the dishes are served very quickly. Even the hot dishes are basically fried products such as tempura, and odin for one person. Rex didn't know much about similar things. 
the only similar thing was the hot pot melatang that he had eaten in his previous life. Skiyaki motioned for everyone to enjoy it while looking at Rex curiously. The second purpose is to find a knife maker who can make top-notch famous knives. If you want to do your job well, you must first sharpen your weapon. In the past few years, swords made of ordinary steel have really troubled Rex. 10% of the swordsmanship, not to mention too much, at least 10% cannot be used because of the incompetence of the sword. Lingling's eyes lit up, and she realized that she came here for this purpose. Like Rex, she couldn't exert her full swordsmanship due to the quality of the blade. In normal battles, and even in practice, she had to be careful, otherwise she wouldn't be able to use it. The sword was gone after a few blows. As for the first purpose, she actually didn't quite understand it. She didn't understand what it was like about flowing cherry blossoms or internal destruction. She only knew what it seemed to be a powerful move. Looking for a knife maker. Skiyaki glanced at Rex in surprise, Your Excellency, also a swordsman. Rex hesitated after hearing this. He is said to be a swordsman, but he is also one. But he is not obsessed with swordsmanship, he just regards it as a means to strengthen his own attack power. He is interested in anything that can strengthen him. Even if the devil fruit brings a weakness that is restrained by the CC Tower Stone, he will accept it as long as the increase is greater than the flaw. Completely different from the kind of person who only practices swordsmanship and practices his own swordsmanship. Good. Rex nodded. No matter what, he uses a sword anyway, doesn't he? Whatever the sword is, it is enough to have a martial arts concept. He is in a pirate fanfic, not a fairy fantasy novel. All he needs is just use the ultimate strength and extreme speed to unleash the sword's attack power. Did you want a famous sword, Skiyaki look at Rex's huge body. His height is not too short, 2.14 meters. But the height of the other party is four times as high as his own. And he still looks like a teenager, and may be taller in the future. With this kind of body shape, if you want a famous sword of your own, you can only find a way to make it yourself. In the sea, no, in this world, there is no famous sword that matches this height. I know that most of the famous swords in the world came from the country of Wayno over the past thousands of years. Although there are famous craftsmen with superb skills outside of Wayno country, I feel that Wayno country, with its long heritage, can create the famous sword that best suits my taste. What he said was the truth. The Yama that the son of the man in front of me, Kojaki Odin, will own in the future is really extraordinary. And the swordsmith who made him Kozaburo Shijizuki, the father of Zoro's master Kao's hero Shijizuki, as expected, he should still be in the country of Ueno at this time. Therefore, Rex wants a top-notch sword, a top-notch sword that is comparable to Yama and can grow into a supreme sword. And in the end the one who can forge it is Kozaburo Shigatsuki. For this reason, he did not want to find other famous craftsmen on the sea who could make famous swords, and went straight to Wayno country. Of course, what is the name of the famous craftsman on the sea? He didn't know who was where, which was a reason. However, Rex had always been worried. Because Kozaburo Shijizuki had probably left the country illegally at this time and went to the East China Sea. If not, then he would have to run to the East China Sea. One trip. Rex's praise made Skiyaki, as well as the retainers, Samurai guards, waiters, etc. all smile proudly and reservedly. Your Excellency is very knowledgeable, and you even know this. Skiyaki nodded approvingly. In Wayno country, there is indeed a top swordsmith who can be ranked among the best in the history of Wayno country. However, it is not easy to ask him to help build a famous sword. It's two handles. Rex added a correction. What? Skiyaki was stunned, you are a double sword swordsman. Twin sword swordsmen are also very rare in Wayno, the homeland of Kendo. No Rex shook his head and looked at Lingling who looked happy and joyful next to him. My wife is also a powerful swordsman. Oh. 
Skiyaki glanced at Lingling in surprise and noticed the crystal clear, peerless art treasure crown on Lingling's head. Unexpectedly, this princess is also a swordsman. Princess! Everyone was stunned, thinking of the green girl Lingling was wearing, and understood why Skiyaki said that. Princess? Ha 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 ha! Lingling was slightly startled, and laughed boldly and happily. I'm not a princess. Lingling said, the green girl above her head floated, constantly changing all kinds of snowflakes, and then turned back into a crown and fell on Lingling's head. Witchcraft! In the banquet hall, people from Wayno couldn't help but exclaimed. Witchcraft! Their exclamations made everyone stunned again. Only Rex, who knew what was going on, said, My wife is a devil fruit user. Rex said, Feng Ho, Dejun and Lei Jianzi also got out of Lingling's hair. Feng Ho has a cold temperament, the young woman is just cold, while Lei Jianzi has a cold temper and rarely speaks. Only Dejun, who has an explosive and arrogant personality. Jun spoke up and said hello with a loud laugh. His intelligent look shocked everyone in Wayno country. It is truly magical magic that can actually create such intelligent creatures. It's not like Skiyaki has never seen anyone with fruit abilities before, but Lingling's kind really opened his eyes. I don't know the name of that famous craftsman. Where can I find him? Rex brought the topic back and asked. That famous craftsman is from the Shijetsu family, his name is Shijetsu Kozaburo, and he lives behind the bell. He usually likes to stay alone in the place where the national treasure of our country, the dragon-slaying swordsman Ryoma Saber Sword Kiyoshui is enshrined. If you want to find him, I can send someone to take you there. But whether you can let him build two famous swords for you too is beyond my control. Skiyaki said, eating the skiyaki in front of him. Thank you very much. There is confidence in Rex's eyes. It is their pursuit for a swordsmith to create top-notch famous swords. It is also their pursuit that the famous swords they create can have a top-level powerful owner and become famous in history. The sword is for killing, if there is no suitable master to use it, and the sword is covered in dust, then what is the point of making a famous sword? And what's the point, Rex glanced at Lingling who was eating delicious food. He also has an idea, and when the time comes, he will tell it to Kozaburo Shigatsuki. He will definitely meet Lai Zingxi and want to give it a try. Although his idea may not be successful. But what does that mean? It would be best to succeed. If not, Kozaburo Shigatsuki would be willing to build exclusive sabers for him and Lingling. Seeing the confidence in Rex's eyes, Skiyaki smiled. He knew that guy was not easily persuaded. With his status as a general, he finally obtained the famous sword Inma, which can be ranked among the 21st skills, from him. If you want him to help build it again, that guy won't agree at all. Asking for flowers. So, you plan to learn Lu Ying's internal breakdown first what is the best way to practice? Should I go to Shigatsuki Kozaburo first? Let's go find Kozaburo Shijizuki first. After all, it will take a lot of time to make two swords that match my height and Lingling's height. As for Lu Ying's internal destruction, it doesn't take more than a few days for me to learn. Rex's words made the people on the sidelines stare, and some couldn't help laughing. The eyes looking at Rex were also filled with sneers. What a ignorant guy! He actually said he could learn it in a few days. It's so ridiculous. Although Rex cannot listen to other people's voices, he can still understand their eyes. Glancing at those people, Rex dismissed them. Summer insects cannot speak of ice. After the meal, Rex rejected the offer to rest here and left the general's mansion with the samurai sent by Skiyaki to lead him. This time, the people in Hwaja were no longer frightened. Zero. Now that Lord Skiyaki has invited these two giants and those weird guys into the general's mansion, they are now coming out again. That means these people are not bad people. At least they don't dare to cause trouble in Hwaju. Moreover, they also saw the waistbands hanging on Rex and others. 
that was given to Rex and the others by Skiyaki to avoid some trouble. With this batch, the people will reduce their rejection and hostility towards them, there will be no unsighted troubles, and they can walk freely in the country of Wano. Soon, it was afternoon. Rex and others followed the samurai who led the way, passed through Huaju and the suburbs, passed by the suburbs of Suzugo, and finally arrived at a cemetery full of swords. This is it, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo should be in the innermost part at this time. Please be careful and don't touch the swords of these two owners. The leading samurai ordered, and took Rex and others to the cemetery. At this time, Rex's sight and hearing color turned on, and a touch of joy appeared on his face. Although I don't know what Kozaburo Shigate Tsuki looks like, but the one in the room is the man in the room enshrining a sword has thick hands and is covered with calluses. Not surprisingly, he should be the target of his visit to Wano this time. On the steps, Kozaburo stood in front of the wooden house, looking at him with curiosity and surprise. For those who approach here. So big. Hello, Mr. Kozaburo. The samurai leading the way saluted respectfully. They are, Kozaburo looked at the samurai and nodded, then turned his attention to Rex and others, especially Rex and Lingling. This is the giant god. Before the leading samurai finished speaking, Rex took over. I am the captain of the Titan Pirates, Charlotte Rex. This is my wife and my first officer, Charlotte Lingling. These are my brothers. I came here this time to ask for something. Kozaburo looked at everyone, and before Rex could finish speaking, he shook his head and said, I will no longer make swords for others, you go. Factory. For Kozaburo Shijetsuki's rejection, Rex had been mentally prepared for Skiyaki vaccination before. At this time, Rex just chuckled and said to Bushido in front of him with a look of surprise on his face please lead the way for us. Now you can go back and resume your life. This, the samurai who led the way hesitated for a moment, then finally nodded, bowed to Shigetsuki Kozaburo, and turned to leave. What do you want to say? I've already said I won't forge knives anymore. It's useless what you say. Shijizuki Kozabero's attitude is that I won't be affected by anything you say. That's not necessarily the case, Mr. Kozabero. Rex smiled and said to himself. Lingling and I were born with unusual body shapes. Although he is an ordinary human being, he has a huge body, his skin has amazing defensive power, and his strength far exceeds that of the giants. At the same time, we all possess the domineering and domineering spirit that maybe only one person among millions of people in the world possesses. Although he is only 16 or 17 years old, he is already destined to become the top powerhouse in the world. But we don't have a sword that matches our status. There is no sword in this world that can match ours. Shijizuki Kozaburo frowned, not knowing what Rex wanted to express. 553 What's the use of saying this, showing off? How could this persuade him to give up his plan to be executed soon and stay here to build an exclusive famous sword for the two of them? We need a top-notch sword that can accompany us in conquering the world. And this sword can only be made by you, Shigetsuki Kozaburo. Rex's eyes were blazing. Shigetsuki Kozaburo's face was expressionless, but he felt relieved in his heart. No one doesn't like others to say good things about him, especially when the other person is telling the truth. If you create an exclusive sword for us, as we become famous in the sea, your name and the famous sword you create will also become famous in the sea, and even leave a name in history. So what? Shigetsuki Kozaburo chuckled you said you were so powerful, but so what? Without you, I, like the famous swords I made before would be able to meet a suitable owner and become famous across the sea and leave a name in history. But that is an ordinary famous sword. Rex said decisively. Ordinary famous sword. Shigetsuki Kozaburo was a little puzzled. Famous swords are famous swords. Famous swords have grades, but there is no ordinary or extraordinary saying. At least as a famous craftsman who can make 21 famous swords, he has never heard of this statement. Yes, an ordinary famous sword. 
Rex nodded, then hugged Lingling beside him. My wife, Charlotte Lingling, is a devil fruit user. Rex's sudden appearance made Kozaburo Shijizuki and Lingling a little confused. Why did he suddenly talk about this? Sorcery. Shijizuki Kozaburo glanced at Lingling, and looked at Rex with confusion but she is a devil fruit user, what does it have to do with asking me to build a famous sword for you? Have. Rex nodded firmly, not only is there, but it's huge. Lingling's fruit ability is a superhuman soul fruit. It has the ability to extract the lifespan of other people's souls and create a unique life. As he said that, Rex glanced at Lingling, but his eyes were not on Lingling. Feeling his father Rex's gaze, the four Hamits understood and appeared from Lingling again. They were created by Lingling using her soul to combine endless hurricanes, monstrous fires, boundless thunderclouds, and frozen islands. I think Mr. Kozaburo, a confident and seductive smile appeared on Rex's face. You have never heard of using part of the soul of the sword owner as a forging material to create a famous sword that has never appeared before. Hiss. Shigatsuki Kozaburo suddenly looked at Lingling, his eyebrows were furrowed, his eyes were wide open, and he could not help but breathe heavily. Use the soul of the saber owner as the forging material to create a famous sword. Rex's words were like magic sounds, echoing in Shigatsuki Kozaburo's mind. The yama he created was just made of some special materials and the blood of his own will and flowing cherry blossoms. The same goes for other demon swords in the world. The only difference is the different special materials and the different will of the knife makers themselves. The most that can be done is to sacrifice one's own life, use all the flesh and blood, and the extra strong will before death to make the sword more powerful, but at the same time it will also become more magical. If we add the human soul to this foundation, what kind of effect will it have? What would a famous sword made like that look like? Historically, I have never heard of this. Shigatsuki Kozabero's heart was pounding. Rex's idea made him extremely excited. If this idea can be successful, then the famous sword created will definitely be extraordinary. Perhaps, it will surpass all the famous swords in the world and become the strongest. Perhaps, the knife created in this way will really have its own soul, its own thoughts, and its own life. Can such a knife still be called a famous knife? Having built such a knife, is there anyone in history who can compare with me? The best knife maker in history. Shigatsuki Kozabero's heart was agitated. Thinking of this last name, his heart beat so fast that he couldn't restrain himself. Looking at Shigatsuki Kozabero's changing expression, Rex knew that it was almost done. After a while, Shigatsuki Kozaburo, who was agitated in his heart, calmed down. Looking at Rex with a confident look on his face, Shigatsuki Kozaburo knew that he had been convinced and there was no way he could refuse such a temptation. Rex's thoughts were like bone gnawing poison, making him long for an antidote from the depths of his soul. Well, you really convinced me. Shigatsuki Kozaburo sighed. Ha 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 ha, then I'm going to trouble you, Mr. Kozaburo. Rex looked up to the sky and laughed, feeling very excited. Finally, he was going to have a famous sword that suited him perfectly. Looking at Rex who was laughing so much, Shigatsuki Kozaburo also breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. It seems that the plan to secretly leave the country will be put on hold. I don't know if it's his luck or mine. It's such a coincidence. Even if it is one day later, I will leave Wayno country. It seems that this is the ultimate work that I am destined to create. Shigatsuki Kozaburo crossed his arms over his chest, rubbed his chin with his right hand, and suddenly began to think deeply. The soul is mysterious and special. Can this kind of thing really be used as a material to forge a knife? How to use this special material and forge it into the knife? Having never seen the soul and not knowing what characteristics the soul has, Shigatsuki Kozaburo has no clue about using the soul as a material to forge a famous sword. If I want to build a knife like this, I have to feel what the soul is. I must have a certain understanding of the soul, otherwise, 
I am afraid it will be impossible to successfully forge such a knife. Shijizuki Kozaburo spoke, causing Rex to stop smiling. Certainly. Plenty of time. I will stay in the country of Wano until I succeed in building it. Even if it takes a year or two. Rex said decisively. No, it shouldn't take that long. Shijizuki Kozaburo shook his head. Rex didn't know that in his previous life, it only took one to two months for a Japanese swordsmith to create a fine samurai sword. Even a top-notch famous sword would not take a year. But in this world, for a powerful swordsmith, it only takes a few days to create a high-quality samurai sword. If you are also proficient in armament haki, as long as there are enough materials, even a famous sword can be forged within a month. After all, forging famous swords requires high-grade materials and special materials. As well as the swordsmith's strength and armed color domineering, it does not take a long time. In other words, the 21 skills of the great knife will take a little longer, but it will be within three months at most. As long as I have a certain understanding of the power of the soul. That's it. Rex nodded, and then suddenly thought when forging a famous sword, is the armament, color, and domineering importance important? Certainly. Shijizuki Kozaburo rolled his eyes at Rex and said decisively. What about the domineering look? Rex said what he really wanted to ask. Overlord color and domineering. Shijizuki Kozaburo frowned and began to think deeply. After a while, he shook his head and said the overlord looks domineering, and Lu Ying, that is to say, the domineering force of the armed color is different. It cannot be entangled and hardened. It is more of a mental deterrent. This kind of power would probably be difficult to assist in forging a knife. The words of Shigatsuki Kozaburo made Rex's eyes brighten. In other words, the reason why armed color haki can assist in forging swords is because it can materialize and wrap around and harden. This is natural. Shijizuki Kozaburo thought for a while, and there was no problem with this, so he nodded and replied. Ha ha ha, that's great. Rex got excited. Um. Shijizuki Kozaburo was a little confused. The domineering and domineering spirit can also be entangled. Rex was all smiles. What? Can the overlord color and domineering energy also entangle? How is this 1.4 possible? Shijizuki Kozaburo had 10,000 disbeliefs in his heart. Look. Rex shouted low, and red and black lightning shot out from his clenched fist. This is, Shigatsuki Kozaburo was heartbroken. The red and black lightning seemed to have a special pressure that made his body tremble. This is the overlord color and domineering entanglement. Hearing this, Shigatsuki Kozaburo's eyes burned with a strange brilliance. Really? What a rare excitement for me. If this is the case, then Bawang color haki can also be used to assist in forging swords. I'm really looking forward to it. The fine hairs on Shigatsuki Kozaburo's face stood up, and his exposed neck and arms were covered with goosebumps. Obviously, Shigatsuki Kozaburo was extremely excited at this time. Using the soul of the sword owner, plus the domineering aura, combined with top-notch materials, what will the famous sword forged like this be like? The country of Wano, Queen of Bells. Rex and others are all here at Shigatsuki Kozaburo's house. Lingling sat on the grass, and in her outstretched right hand, a group of souls exuded milky white light. In front of her, Shigatsuki Kozaburo looked carefully and stretched out his hand to touch. But, it penetrated. He couldn't touch the soul at all, he could only see a glowing ball of light. The domineering chi of seeing and hearing came out of her body and was released with all her strength, covering the soul light ball in Lingling's hand. This time, he felt something. But the perception of seeing, hearing, and touching is completely different. Mr. Kozaburo, you can try wrapping Haki around your hands. Lingling reminded. Yes. How could I forget this? Kozaburo Shijizuki slapped his head. Armed Haki is also an extension of willpower. It is wrapped around the hands and hardened, 
but it does not have any effect on the touch. The hands are wrapped with armed haki and hardened instantly. Kozaburo Shijetsu stretches out his dark arm, touch the soul light group again. The soul cannot be touched, but ordinary people cannot. However, when the soul is controlled by the relevant fruit ability person, it is possible to touch it. With armed domineering, Shigeitsuki Kozaburo really touched it this time met the soul in Lingling's hands. This feeling, Shigeitsuki Kozaburo was a little absent-minded, seeming to be thinking about how to describe. It's so unique, the feeling is hard to describe. Shuyu Kozaburo sighed. I need some time to study the soul, and I won't be able to forge a sword in a short period of time. If you have something to do or are bored, you can take a look around Wayno Country. Wayno Country is a beautiful and wonderful country that has been stable for many years. But, Lingling, you have to stay. After finishing speaking, Shigeitsuki Kozaburo said to Lingling. Okay, no problem Mr. Kozaburo. Lingling nodded with a smile. She was also looking forward to making a sword that was entirely her own. Okay, Rupert, Elton, Elena, you can see for yourself, have some fun and go around in Wayno country. You can also practice. Especially you Elton. The swordsmanship in Wayno is very developed, all-encompassing, and has many schools. Use this time to study hard in these genres, money is not an issue. Well, Rex paused Bailey can't be used in this country. You use those gold and silver to exchange for some money here. Each person's quota is 10 million. Marvelous. Now you can have fun. Have fun. This bastard Elton goes to study in those kendo schools, how can we still play? Are those sword wielders willing to lose their strength every day? This. The boys had just cheered a few times when Rupert slapped them awake with reality. Elton, you really deserve to die. Everyone stared at Elton with resentment. Ever since this guy ate the devil fruit, life seems to have never gone back to the past. In the past, it was okay if everyone was not as good as Big Brother and Lingling. They admired the talents of the two and knew they couldn't compare. But you ate a devil fruit and sat on top of us? Elton chuckled, shrank his neck and hid, he was afraid of being attacked. Thank you, brother. Great, the clothes here are so beautiful, I have to buy a few, no, dozens of them. The girls also cheered and liked Wayno's unique costumes very much. A group of people left together to get the gold and silver artworks from the hidden ship. Rex stayed at Shigeitsuki Kozaburo's house. Mr. Kozaburo, the two of us are big. I wonder if you have enough materials here. After everything is done, there will be a big thank you. No need to thank you very much. If you can build such a famous sword, you will have no regrets in this life. This is more important than any money. However, when it comes to materials, I really don't have any here. Shijizuki Kozaburo raised his head and looked at Rex, shaking his head slowly. There was one before, and I have forged it into a 21-piece sharp sword called Yan Emo. No materials? What to do? Can materials be purchased in Wayno? Rex frowned and asked quickly. Of course it's for sale. Shijizuki Kozaburo nodded and then added but they are all ordinary materials. Really good materials are difficult to smelt and purify. So with this kind of material, there is no takeout at all. My yama is also a material that took me several years to gather. That's it. Rex frowned, nodded, and asked, what should we do now? You can't use ordinary materials. How is that possible? Shoyo Kozaburo shouted. I finally have the opportunity to create a unique and famous sword that may surpass all the famous swords in history. How can I use ordinary materials? Ordinary materials must never be used, you must have top grade materials and special materials. So, Shigeitsuki Kozaburo looked at Rex with a smile, this matter depends on you. Rely on me? Rex was stunned and pointed at his nose, I'm not familiar with the place in Wayno country. So what's the use of relying on me? Of course it works. 
Shijizuki Kozaburo pointed to the west. There is a place with barren land called Tyudan, which has always been used as a quarry for punishing criminals. The reason why the land there is barren is because there are all kinds of ore veins underground. Most of them are ordinary mineral veins that are difficult to mine but are of high quality. But there are also some that are veins of top grade materials and special materials that ordinary people cannot mine. You are such a big guy, and you have boasted about your strength and skin defense before. Speaking of this, Shigatsuki Kozaburo smiled jokingly. Then the important task of mining those top grade materials and special materials is left to you. After saying that, Shigatsuki Kozaburo withdrew his soul touching light with his hand. He disarmed Haki and walked into the house. After a while, he came out again holding a roll of parchment. Here you go, here is a map of the Tyudan area. The locations of the veins of top grade materials and special materials are also marked. Handing the map to Rex, he added those veins are difficult to mine. Ordinary armed color domineering is very laborious even if it is hardened. Only by learning internal destruction can you mine easily. Will you break the application internally? Rex shook his head, no, in addition to wanting a famous sword tailor made for me, the other purpose of coming here is to apply internal destruction. I see. Shijizuki Kozaburo nodded and said forget it, sharpen the knife and chop wood, I will spend some time to teach you. After you have practiced for a while, you can mine it yourself. That's trouble. Rex's face showed a look of joy. The internal destruction of armed domineering is a very advanced application method, but the difficulty is only that. It is just a layer of window paper. For smart people, it can be broken with just one poke. Wait. After listening to Kozaburo Shijizuki's explanation and watching several times of release, he also let Kozaburo Shigatsuki punch him a few times. After fully understanding the feelings, Rex felt confident. He raised his right hand and put it in front of him. Rex frowned slightly, clenched his fist lightly, and the armed domineering energy surged in his right arm. Instinctively, Rex wanted to harden these armed domineering energy. After a while, he restrained these 393 instincts after adapting to it. Flow, flow. Rex muttered to himself, but failed for a long time. No, I'm a little impatient. I can find a place to practice on the spot. Just standing here with empty hands, there is no comparison, but the difficulty has increased. Leaving Shigatsuki Kozabero's yard, Rex walked into the suburbs. Finally he found a boulder and kept trying with a little bit of armed domineering. Time passed bit by bit. One day later. Boom. Rex punched lightly the boulder that had been reduced to a normal size suddenly shattered from the middle. Ha! Finally succeeded. Rex excitedly waved his fist and found another boulder. After smashing several boulders, Rex was convinced that he had fully mastered it. The only thing left was to continue to become proficient. And this can be done while mining. There is no need to waste time. With the map in hand, Rex went to Tudin alone. Half a month later, at the foot of a hill in Tyudan Wasteland. A dark hole slanted straight into the interior, and there was something dark inside. He couldn't see clearly, only the sound of rumbling explosions kept ringing. Inside the cave, Rex was mortified, punching the stone wall with each punch. The veins of top-grade materials and special materials, the hardness of those ores is indeed extraordinary. Rex after working hard for so long, I have almost finished collecting the materials. After such a long time, without excessive use of armament hacky, Rex has become very skilled in internal destruction. The rest is to use the help of time to destroy it. Engraved into the bones, it becomes instinct. In Kosaburo Shijizuki's yard, a clean Rex is sitting on the ground. Mr. Kosaburo, I have collected all the materials. Oh? Really? Shijizuki Kozaburo showed a smile that made Rex feel a little bad. Well, Rex didn't understand what Kozaburo Shijizuki wanted to do. Seeing this, 
Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo no longer pretended I haven't studied the soul yet, let alone how to integrate it. It will take some time. So I don't have time to smelt and purify those materials now. If you are not in a hurry, just leave it alone. If you want to forge the knife earlier, then smelt those materials first. So that's it, no problem. When Rex heard this, he nodded immediately. If he could go faster, he wouldn't want to be slow and waste time in Wayno country. Where to smelt these materials? Um, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo pondered, this is really a problem. In the past, I smelted materials by myself at home. After all, there wasn't much material. But this time we need too many materials to make swords for you too, and we can't use them at home. Let's do this, I'll take you to the mountains, build a blast furnace, and then leave it to you. Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo said after thinking about it. Rex nodded, let's go then, get it done as soon as possible, don't delay your research on souls. In the face of huge power, many things will become extremely easy. In just one day, a huge blast furnace that is twice as tall as Rex was built. Okay, just wait it will be ready to use after drying it. Shijizuki Kozaburo carefully inspected the construction of Rex, showing a satisfied look. Just do it? Rex asked hurriedly. No, this needs to be done slowly. Doing it too fast will cause gaps. Shigatsuki Kozaburo shook his head and explained. That's it. Rex nodded, then are there any preparations to be done now? You can first grind all the ores you collected according to different types. The more crushed the better, the smaller the particles are, the easier it is to smelt, and more impurities can be removed in the first step. Okay, leave this to me. While walking, Rex sighed when this matter is over, you need to take a good rest. During this period, you have used too much and too much armament hacky. That is to say, you and Lingling are physically different from ordinary people and have extraordinary talents. Otherwise, ordinary people would not dare to use armed color haki like this at your age. Kozaburo Shigatsuki said. Next, for a week, Rex used the big hammer and anvil that Kozaburo Shigatsuki temporarily built for him, wrapped them in armed colors, and pounded the ores into powder. Waiting for the blast furnace the work is almost done, and the ores are ready. Taking Daijun, Rex took the ores to the blast furnace. Daijun's body was created by the fire that shot straight into the sky. After Daijun is compressed, it can be released the temperature was very high. With Daijun's help, the smelting of various materials was very successful. Rex showed it to Shigatsuki Kozaburo, Shimazuki Kozaburo was very satisfied these materials are of high quality and have very few impurities. If they are forged again after some purification, it will be as good as when I created Yama. Mr. Kozaburo, Inma's materials are very pure. Certainly. Shigatsuki Kozaburo nodded, I have spent several years forging. Did you put the magazine somewhere clean? How is that possible? This time Shigatsuki Kozaburo began to shake his head again, in this world, no matter what materials, there will be impurities and it is impossible to remove them completely. It can only be purified to a certain extent, so the materials used to create Yama still contain impurities. It's a pity, it would be great if there was a devil fruit that could be purified, then the material could be purified to be free of impurities. Rex couldn't help but sigh. After preparing for so long, he wanted to build a perfect magic weapon. Now it seems that this is impossible. Well. Yes, if I really encounter this kind of devil fruit, I think I can't help but eat it. When Kozaburo Shigatsuki heard this, he said with some yearning. The devil fruit, which can purify materials, is perfect for a swordsmith like him who loves to forge swords. The forging of these materials also depends on you. My strength and physique would be difficult to refine and refine successfully even after ten or eight years. Leaving the matter to Rex, Shigatsuki Kozaburo returned home, called Lingling out and began to study the soul again. Now, 
he already has many ideas about how the soul can be used as a knife forging material, but more in-depth and detailed research is needed. Standing in front of the anvil, Rex thought for a moment. If he were to forge like this, he would be wasting a lot of effort and would have to call for support. Dijun, go call Feng Ho and Lei Jensi, I need your help. After a moment, Rex said to the three hamits in front of him Dijun, wait a minute, you will wrap this anvil, but control the temperature, input all the temperature into the iron ingot, don't put the anvil burnt soft and melted. Also, be careful not to completely cover your body on the anvil. I will use armament hacky later. Okay, Dad. Dijun nodded, flew to the anvil and landed, turning into a ring of fire that almost completely enveloped the anvil except for its center. Feng Ho, you assist Dijun and raise the temperature of the flame as high as possible, as high as you can. Yes, Dad. The Queen of the Wind nodded and turned into a hurricane more than 10 meters long, wrapping Long Zhang Daijun and the anvil together. Try showing this expression again. Suddenly, Feng Ho's cold and sharp voice sounded. Rex, who was about to explain to Lei Jenzi, was startled and looked subconsciously. He saw Feng Ho's almond-shaped eyes wide open and biting his pink lower lip, while Di Jun looked sarcastic. Expression, eyes wandering. Hey, this guy. Rex couldn't help laughing. He could tell with his toes that Dijun must have shown some lewd expression just now. Lei Jensi. Yes dad. When I'm forging the anvil later, you can use the thunderbolt in between every time I hammer it. Yes, I understand. Lei Jensi nodded and floated diagonally above the other side of the anvil. Rex picked up the hammer, stood next to the anvil and put an iron ingot into it. Let's get started everyone. Rex greeted. Yes, Dad. The three of them responded in unison. The armed color was wrapped around and hardened. This hammer, made of high quality materials, was rounded by Rex after he saw that the iron ingot had become red enough to glow with a pale orange light. In order to to prevent the anvil from being damaged, Rex also wrapped it in the weapon color. Lei Jensi, get ready. When there was a violent explosion, forming shock waves and circles. The huge power was transmitted to the ground, and the surrounding earth was shaking. Immediately, the dark clouds turned into thunderbolts released a thick bolt of lightning and struck the iron ingot, sparks, thunder and lightning were everywhere. When the two of them cooperated, they could clearly feel that the deformed iron ingot was smaller than before. Come again. Rex shouted loudly and rounded the hammer again. When crack. In the yard of Kozaburo Shijizuki, Kozaburo Shijizuki and Lingling, who were studying the soul in her hand next to Lingling, couldn't help but look in the direction of the sound. Is this forging materials? The movement is too loud. Shijizuki Kozaburo was shocked by Rex. He could hear it even from such a distance. It seems that it won't take long to forge and purify those materials. I have to speed up my research. Lingling, this kind of research has reached a bottleneck. I still can't feel it personally. If my soul is taken out, can it be returned? Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo asked with a frown. Taking out the soul can return it, but for ordinary people, the feeling is not pleasant. Lingling took a serious look at Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo and replied. That's okay. Shijizuki Kozaburo took a deep breath, made some mental preparations, and then said to Lingling Lingling, take out my soul, slow down. When I say return it, return it, and so on, let's try more. Okay, but Mr. Kozaburo, my abilities are limited. Lingling's expression was serious. She has never done this kind of thing before. You can only pull out your soul when others are afraid, so you must be afraid of me. And, with getting used to fear, I won't be able to extract your soul, so we have a limited number of times. I get it, come on. Kozaburo Shigate Tsuki nodded with a solemn expression. Following Lingling's soul spell, a terrifying aura rose up in her body. Although Kozaburo Shigate Tsuki is a swordsmith, 
he is also a strong man at the level of a swordsman with a perseverance. But even so, he he was still afraid. The moment he was frightened, a creepy feeling went straight to the depths of his soul. When he looked up, he felt that the beautiful girl in front of him was like a terrifying evil god, reaching out to him caught, it shocked him. Just when he wanted to escape, he suddenly remembered what his purpose was and held it back. With a very unpleasant feeling of detachment, he felt. He felt like he was going to die soon. After a while, after carefully comprehending the feeling just now, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo said after a while give my soul back, Lingling. Good. Returning Kozaburo Shigetsuki's soul, Lingling repeated the previous steps again. Again and again, and each time a lot of fear faded away, Kozaburo Shigetsutsu continued to realize the mystery of the soul. A few days later, Rex was angry panting, he sat on the ground. The three Hamits were also exhausted. Only half of those top quality materials and special materials were left. The half that disappeared was the impurities extracted by Rex through forging. It seems to have reached its limit. Rex sighed. After forging till now, he found that if he continued to forge, the iron ingots would no longer respond. This is not possible, where is this? My goal has been refined to only one third of the original level, but it's still far behind now. Tisk, but my armed domineering power only goes so far. Rex frowned. Speaking of which, armed color hacky has been used with such frequency and intensity for more than a month. He clearly felt that both the application and quality of armed color hacky were several levels higher than before. No wonder that Guy Garp's armed color hacky is so ridiculously strong that it can shatter my armed color hacky hammer. Looking at the iron ingot, Rex thought. It's the end of using armed color domineering to assist. In this case, let's use Ba Wang color domineering, which is also just in time to prepare for the forging knife practice later. You guys have a good rest. We will continue tomorrow. When the time comes, I will also use the Overlord color to wrap around. Yes, Dad. A few people nodded and flew back to Lingling. The next day, still next to the anvil, Rex picked up the hammer. The hammer was dark, with a thick armed domineering wind and hardening around it. In addition, there is also a layer of purple dark golden energy on it, and red and black lightning bursts out. It is like cracks in the space. Boom. This time, the power is even more terrifying. The hammer hits the iron ingot nearly one meter away. It hit the air hard. The iron ingot that was burning on the anvil and emitting a hot light orange light was deformed visibly to the naked eye. The shock wave generated by Nyo Chien Zhao's violent power destroyed everything within a kilometer radius that was higher than the anvil. Fortunately, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo knew that with Rex's size, Beating the purified iron ingots would make a lot of noise, so he was not at his house. Otherwise the city will be destroyed. Boom boom. Rex swung the hammer crazily, swinging the hammer so hard that he couldn't even see it. Only red and black lightning could be seen flashing continuously. The iron ingots that have been forged and purified by armed color dominance have very few impurities. So now even if the two color domineering entanglement is entangled, there are not many impurities that can be beaten out. This time, Rex rested and recovered while beating and purifying. It took him a full month to finally achieve his goal. As for Kozaburo Shigate Tsuki, he had completed his research and was waiting for Rex. Bring the iron ingot back to Shuanjia Farming Lang's house was abandoned on the ground, regardless of Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo's shocked and obsessed expression after seeing the iron ingot. Rex said, Get the food ready, wait until I wake up. After that, he fell to the ground. Rex, who had never snored, was now snoring loudly. A full week later, Rex finally woke up and devoured food crazily amid the busy work of a group of people. He felt like every cell in his body was hungry. This time it's over, I don't dare to use domineering like this anymore, it will affect my development badly. Three more days passed and Rex finally returned to his peak condition after eating food and resting for two days. Faintly, 
everyone could feel that Rex was much stronger than before. Beside a larger and harder anvil, Rex, Lingling, and Shigatsuki Kozaburo stood in a triangle around the anvil. On the anvil, Feng Kao Daijun is ready to take his place. So, whose knife will be forged first? Wearing only pants and his upper body naked, Kozaburo Shijizuki looked at Rex and Lingling, waiting for their answers. Rex and Lingling looked at each other. Give it to Rex first. Lingling said without hesitation. No. Rex shook his head, it's better to give it to Lingling first. Seeing that Lingling was about to speak, Rex raised his hand to indicate that he hadn't finished speaking. Let's not talk about whether your soul spell is useful to me. Even if it is useful, it is not so easy to extract. This will probably take some time. Furthermore, ordinary people may have a shorter lifespan if their souls are extracted. But at my level, having my soul extracted will inevitably lead to a decline in my condition. Therefore, when the condition is good, I will help you forge first. After it is forged, my soul is extracted. After the extraction, I have to rest and recover. The delay is too long. After Rex finished speaking, Lingling had no choice but to nod okay then. So, Mr. Kozaburo, shall we start now, asked Rex. No, no rush. Shijizuki Kozaburo said this time forging a sword, your two assistants is indispensable. But you are not knife makers, and you don't understand this either. It's definitely too late to tell you this now. And this time the sword will be forged an unprecedented material like soul will be added. There is also the overlord color and domineering winding to assist. Even I am not completely sure. So to put it simply, this time the knife was forged using the steel-clad method, which is also a long-standing inheritance of the country of IWA. First, we have to forge various materials into flat shapes. In this process, the participation of the sword owner's armed color haki and overlord color haki is required. After the material preparation is completed, Lingling needs to add the soul into it, shape it until it completely overlaps with the material, and then use armed color haki and overlord color haki to completely integrate it into the blade embryo. As for soul power, the more, the better. This is an ethereal power that will not increase the quality of the knife but may give the finished product incredible power. But in this kind of forging, part of the soul will inevitably dissipate. So how much soul power you need to use depends on your choice. After saying that, Shigatsuki Kozaburo began to make preparations. He weighed the materials, matched them in proportion and placed them one by one beside him. Rex and Lingling frowned. The more souls the better, so how much is enough? The soul is equivalent to the lifespan. It's okay if it's less, but I can't bear more. Lingling is okay, because she is a user with the soul fruit ability, extracting her soul will not affect her lifespan, it will only make her soul less than before. Powerful. To a certain extent, it will weaken her reflexes and self-control. This side effect was not discovered when the four Hamits were created. It was not until later that it was discovered that her reflexes were not as fast as before, and there was a certain weakness. In addition, Sireia, which had been gradually getting better, actually worsened, and only then did he realize the negative effects of extracting his own soul. In order to improve Lingling's reflexes, Rex asked her to do a lot of training to improve her reflexes, which gradually eliminated them. Under the influence, he regained his previous reflexes. With the help of Rex's influence, he kept learning self-control, and finally completely controlled his Sireia at the age of 15. It turned it into a powerful digestion that can be actively controlled. Ability After long-term battles or heavy consumption, the recovery speed can be accelerated. Rex can't compare with her in this regard. Rex also suddenly understood why Lingling in the original book had poor reflexes and was thinking too much. The eating disorder is so serious. This is all a side effect of extracting one's own soul. As for himself, according to Rex, although he and Lingling are different in size from ordinary people, 
their lifespans are not much different from ordinary people. They are still the category of ordinary people. But they may live longer among ordinary people, that is, in their early 100s. If they take good care of themselves, they may be like Chopper's doctor, Dr. Kurha, who can live for 134 years. But they are destined to be strong, and they will fight a lot, and it is impossible to maintain them to that level. So it is amazing to live to be over a hundred years old. Although Rex will try his best to get pure gold, but after extracting the soul to reduce the lifespan, however, it takes a lot of time to recover from the sequelae. If it is less, it will be fine, but if it is more, it will be troublesome. Rex has just reached the level of a general, and may be directly reduced to a quasi-general, or even lower. After pondering for a long time, Lakes suddenly remembered something and asked quickly Mr. Kozaburo, is it okay to use someone else's soul? Lingling's ability can fuse souls together. Someone else's soul. Shijizuki Kozaburo stopped what he was doing, frowned, and stared at Rex sharply. He thought that in order to forge the sword, Rex wanted Lingling to kill and deprive others of their lifespan. This is his motherland, even if he he was ready to leave and could not tolerate anyone messing around in his homeland. Seeing Kozaburo Shigetsuki's expression, Rex also knew that Kozaburo Shigetsuki had misunderstood and spoke quickly. The last time Lingling and I were in a country, we eradicated all the evil forces, gangsters, bullies, corrupt officials, and sinful nobles in that country. Because of this, Lingling and I were offered a reward of over one billion as newcomers. Looking at Shigetsuki Kozaburo's somewhat doubtful expression, Rex said seriously you don't have to doubt it, I don't bother to tell lies. Okay, I trust you. Shijizuki Kozaburo thought for a while. He really felt that Rex and Lingling were not crazy people, and their auras did not smell bloody and cruel. Moreover, people with overlord-colored domineering energy are arrogant and do not bother to lie. Therefore, Lingling has a lifespan of more than hundreds of thousands of years stored there. Can those souls be used? Shijizuki Kozaburo pondered for a moment, thinking in his heart. After a long while, he gave an answer. Other people's souls can work, but the forged sword won't be so harmonious with you. The power of the soul, no matter what, will have unique characteristics for each person. Etc. Speaking of this, Shigetsuki Kozaburo suddenly paused, his eyes flashed, and his expression kept changing. Finally, he took a deep breath and said with a crazy look on his face maybe, it can really be done. Rex and Lingling's eyes lit up. If other people's souls could be used, then they would have a lot of soul materials. The power and quality of your souls are obviously not comparable to those of ordinary people. This is also one of the reasons why you have the domineering look of a king. You are born to be a king who can rule ordinary people. Your souls can withstand your overlord lust, but the souls of ordinary people cannot. After being entangled with the overlord colored domineering energy and then forged, those ordinary souls may be hammered to remove impurities, leaving only the exact same soul origin. Therefore, it is likely that not only will it not have any impact, but it will also make the soul forged into the sword stronger. His Rex and Lingling couldn't help but take a breath. They were really shocked by Shigetsuki Kozabero's thoughts. So, what do we do? Lingling looked excited and couldn't help but asked. There are two ways. The first is to extract your souls and then forge and fuse them with the souls of ordinary people. Second, first forge and fuse the souls of ordinary people. Shijizuki Kozaburo stretched out two fingers in a row and made random suggestions. I suggest you choose the second way. Because the first method may leave some impurities in the souls of ordinary people because of your souls. Well, just listen to what Mr. Kozaburo says. Rex nodded decisively. Nowadays, even Lingling may not have that deep understanding of the power of the soul. When Lingling obtained the soul fruit, she only developed her own abilities and did not study the characteristics and attributes of the soul. Wait, I'm not done yet. 
Shijizuki Kozaburo raised his hand and clapped his hands, and then said because of the difference between your domineering appearance and domineering aura. Therefore, it is best not to forge your soul together, but to forge your own soul separately. In this way, those ordinary souls should be able to better integrate into your souls. Lingling, how many souls are there? You and I are half of each other. Rex looked at Lingling. After hearing this, Lingling felt it and said a number those souls have a total of more than 1.18 million years. So much! Rex exclaimed. On the side, Shigatsuki Kozaburo and his friends who came here to watch were also shocked. This number is rarely used. Of course. Lingling nodded and said last time in that country, there were nearly 29,000 bad nobles and officials who could be sentenced to death, as well as those profiteers, evil forces, and gangsters. His Rex and Shigatsuki Kozaburo took a breath. The others were not shocked, because those evil people had passed through their hands, and they knew it. Shigatsuki Kozaburo was shocked because he saw Lingling's beauty. Seemed harmless to humans and animals, but actually killed so many people in a country. Even some people who deserved the crime, he still felt a bit scary when he thought about it. He felt a cold air rushing from the root of his tail to his forehead, forcing a cold sweat. And Rex was shocked, but it was because it was just a small country. The total population was only over six million but there were so many damned people. One in every three hundred people was so sinful that he deserved to be damned. This world is really sick, extremely sick. Licking his instantly dry lips, the light in Rex's eyes became more determined. Then it's just you and me. Forging your soul, you start first. After Rex said that, he walked to the side and sat down, seeming to be distracted. Lingling took a look and didn't know what Rex was thinking. She frowned and said nothing. I can't help you much when it comes to forging your soul, you have to rely on yourself, Lingling. After finishing speaking, Shigatsuki Kozaburo also sat aside. Good. Lingling nodded and took out her stored soul. It was a huge ball of soul light that was 10 meters in diameter after compression. The moment it was taken out, the dazzling milky white light was like a second sun, making everyone people couldn't help but cover their eyes. Everything around them lost their color, leaving only white. The soul was evenly divided into two, and Lingling was a little embarrassed for a moment. The soul could only escape from her hands when she was making her mitts. Otherwise it cannot be controlled, which is also the restriction of the ability of the soul fruit. And she has to forge it again which is obviously a little inconvenient. After thinking about it, Lingling first put the soul light ball back, and then took out her soul. She wasn't trying to make hamits, but she was making a giant, rounded black shadow. Soul Incarnation With Lingling's whisper, the black shadow completely appeared. After the soul incarnation appeared, Lingling took the initiative to stand by the chopping board and waited for Lingling without Lingling speaking. Lingling took out the soul light group again and handed it to the soul incarnation. The soul incarnation grabbed hold the soul light group and placed it on the anvil. Taking a deep breath, Lingling picked up the giant hammer, first wrapped the anvil with armed domineering energy, then wrapped and hardened the hammer, and then wrapped it with overlord colored domineering energy. Lingling's overlord color was entangled, emitting red light. Boom! With a heavy hammer, the airflow rioted, and the light of the soul light group flickered and sputtered out white spots. Those seemed to be impurities that were forged out of the soul light group. Boom! 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 Lingling didn't stop for a moment, quickly forging the soul light group. The soul incarnation opposite her adjusted the direction in a very tacit understanding, so that every part of the soul light group could be tempered. Three days. In the past, the huge soul light group before, now, only the soul light group with a diameter of less than one meter remains. This ball of soul light is extremely round, and the milky white light has no dazzling feeling. It is as gentle as jade. It also exudes milky white light, but at this time, 
the soul light ball gives people a pure and flawless feeling. There seems to be a halo of light surrounding it, which is a bit unreal. This feeling does not come from sight, it seems to come from the depths of the soul. The four great hamits, even Feng Ho and Ching Nu could not help but reveal their longing and coveting eyes. Emperor Jun Lei Jenzi, who has an explosive personality, is even more restless. Not only them, everyone here has this desire that seems to come from the depths of their souls. Darling, have you done something extraordinary? Rex suppressed the restlessness in his heart and looked at the small soul light group with shocked eyes. Hashige Tsuki Kozaburo let out a fierce breath. He glanced at the soul light group, and then said to Lingling, who had used the two-color domineering force for three consecutive days and tried his best, Okay, Lingling, let me take a look first. Good. Lingling panted heavily, looking tired and not wanting to say another word. Shigatsuki Kozaburo stepped forward and released the knowledge-colored haki. His hands were covered with the weapon-colored haki. He stretched into the soul light ball and felt it carefully. On both hands, that kind of warmth, comfort, and a feeling so comfortable that it cannot be described in words made Kozaburo Shigatsuki momentarily distracted and reluctant to take out his hand. Greedy thoughts actually appeared in his heart. But fortunately, Lingling repeatedly extracted his soul before, allowing his current will it's much stronger, but it's not like he would do anything irrational. Withdrawing his hand, Shigatsuki Kozaburo nodded to Lingling it's okay Lingling, I feel very pure, with almost no impurities. We're ready to start forging your custom-made knife at any time. Lingling collapsed on the ground and shook her head gently. She had never used three colors of haki like this for three consecutive days. This has never happened before. Not to mention three days, not even one day. Rex because of Luffy in the original work excessive use of haki, the state is very bad. For the sake of their own development, in order not to affect themselves, they did not use too much even if their physical talents are powerful. This time, both of them tried their best. Shigatsuki Kozaburo also knew that Lingling was at this time unable to start, he nodded and stopped talking. Rex thought for a while and said then three days later. Need not. Lingling's condition was better than before. At this time, she was a little weak and said eat something and rest for a while. No. Rex frowned, we have plenty of time, there's no need to rush. All good things come in a long way, so we don't have to rush for a moment, just take a good three days of rest and let the situation be at its best. Forging a sword this time will never be easier than forging your soul. Rex's words impressed Shigatsuki Kozaburo. Rex is right. These materials are extremely hard after being tempered by Rex. In addition, it will definitely take a lot of time to integrate the soul into these materials. You must reach your best state. Halfway through, but you can't stop. Oh well. Lingling spoke again, and her tone had already recovered three-thirds of her energy. To be able to recover so quickly in just a few minutes shows the abnormality of her body's talent. After a while. After almost resting, Lingling, who had regained some strength, stood up and put her soul into the light ball was retracted. Rex put the materials on Legenzi and flew back together. In the blink of an eye, three days passed. Lingling was full of energy, and her strength actually improved a lot because she used all three colors of domineering energy in those three days. Progress At this time, facing Garp from before, not to mention Rex, Lingling can defeat him. Of course, it will not be that easy. It will take a long time and a fierce battle. It can be seen that something like domineering needs to be tempered. Come back again when they arrived at the area where the anvil was placed, the three of them were still in a triangular position. So, let's get started. Lingling, are you ready? Kozaburo Shigatsuki couldn't hide the excitement on his face. Ever since he heard Rex's idea, he has been looking forward to it until now. The sudden idea of forging his soul six days ago further deepened Kozaburo Shigetsuki's expectations. Now, it's finally about to begin. Um. 
ready. Lingling nodded and shouted Di Jun, Feng Ho. Yes, mom. Dai Jun immediately transformed from a cute little son into a fireball more than 10 meters long, wrapping the anvil as before. The wind followed closely behind, turning into a hurricane dragon tens of meters long and merging with Dai Jun. Boom! The flames the temperature rises rapidly, making a roaring sound. What a magical witchcraft! Seeing it again, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo couldn't help but marvel. After exclamation, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo put the materials on the anvil. Lei Jenzi, you come too. Rex saw that Lingling didn't greet Lei Jenzi, so he spoke up. Um. Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo was a little strange. He had never noticed that Lei Jenzi assisted forging iron before. The temperature of lightning is very high, which is also very helpful for heating and material fusion. Rex explained. Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo nodded suddenly after hearing this, Lingling, to forge these materials into sheets, and then forge and fuse them, you need your domineering power. My armed color is not domineering enough, and in order not to affect you, I will not participate. I am only responsible for adjusting the materials, leaving the hard work to you. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Kozaburo. Lingling nodded holding the giant hammer in her hand and ready to go. Soon, the material had been heated to the point of emitting incandescent light. Ordinary materials, even relatively high-quality materials, had already turned into molten iron at this level. But the material on the anvil did not deform at all. This shows its hardness and high temperature resistance. Start! Shijizuki Kozaburo grasped a large pliers with both hands, and the armed domineering force completely covered it, clamping the piece of material tightly. I am coming. Lingling shouted low, the armed color domineering wind hardened, and the overlord color domineering wind entangled. Swinging the hammer that seemed to be wrapped in a layer of red transparent bubbles, Lingling hit it hard. Boom! The armed color domineering energy was improved, and the overlord color domineering force was applied. More proficient, this time, the movement was much louder than before. Rex followed closely behind, the inner armed domineering wind and hardening, and the hammer wrapped in purple dark gold bubbles on the outside was smashed down. Dang! However, the movement caused by Rex was much smaller than that of Lingling. It was Lingling's knife that was being forged now, and he was only an auxiliary. Naturally, he could not overwhelm the others with his two-color domineering power. Crack! Then, Legends's lightning also struck the piece of material. There is no need to pay attention to any skills when smashing the material into pieces. Sheer force works wonders. The first piece of material was quickly forged successfully. Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo moved skillfully, clamping and loosening the big pliers in his hands, and placed it on the aside but still burning on the fire without letting it cool down. Before Lingling hit it with the hammer, the second piece of material had already been placed in place. Boom! Dang! Crack! It was like playing a terrifying movement, and the sound was non-stop. The huge movement let people in the distant city know that Kozaburo, the famous craftsman of the Shigate Tsuki family, began to forge knives for the two foreigners. Driven by curiosity, a large number of people put aside what they were doing and came to watch. This incident soon spread to other places. I heard that Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo forged swords for two huge boys, and some curious people came here from hundreds of miles away. Soon, the huge man who was forging swords in a place that could not be affected by the movement, people from the Wano Kingdom surrounded the place, and there was a sea of people. Hearing that Skiyaki was already forging swords, he also immediately drove towards here. Not far away, an unruly man the little kid came up and wanted to go together. Skiyaki had no choice but to take this scourge that had just caused trouble with him. Anyway, he would go there himself. With it under his nose, he could rest assured. Washi the onlookers of the Chinese people had no impact on Rex and the others. In their shock, a day passed. 
All the materials were forged into sheets with almost the same specifications. At this moment, Lingling could finally stop. Lingling, hurry up and rest, we will continue soon. Kozaburo Shijizuki wiped his sweat, used large iron pliers to stack the materials together in order, and added some powder to it. It was a unique secret recipe developed by Kozaburo Shigatsuki himself, and its effect far exceeded the activity of borax. Flux When Kozaburo Shijizuki was doing this, everyone ran over quickly holding high-energy food made from long bread with the fruit's ability. Rex and Lingling wolfed it down without saying a word, quickly replenishing themselves. Kozaburo Shijetsuki's body next to him, someone quickly stuffed high-energy food specially prepared according to the size of his mouth into his mouth. The three of them kept swallowing the food without saying a word and making preparations. Finally, Shigatsuki Kozaburo's preparations were completed, quickly shouted get ready, hurry up. After she finished speaking, Lingling released a ball of soul light with a diameter of one meter, and then used a free hand to grasp her slender waist and abdomen. She pulled out a ball of soul light with a lifespan of ten years from her body and fused the two souls. Together. Lingling's soul light group was like a fish in water, and it instantly swallowed up the soul light group many times larger than it. Asking for flowers. However, looking at them fused together, the two groups of light were emitting a milky white light, but they felt like they were not fused together. But the soul light group from Lingling is not unchanged. It is constantly assimilating and integrating the soul power that does not belong to itself into itself. But it looks like it may take a long time. Looking at the center of the anvil, Lingling quickly adjusted the shape of the soul light group according to the shape of the superimposed materials, and then overlapped it. The moment it was completed, the heavy hammer wrapped in two-color domineering power fell, with Rex and Legenza still following closely behind. Boom! Dang! Crack! Although the people watching here had already seen this scene the day before, they were still shocked when they saw it now. On a hill that the citizens specially set aside for Shogun Skiyaki to watch, a small figure shines with eyes. These foreigners are really awesome. I decided, I want to go to see. Well, just join them. Damn it. Don't even think about it. Suki's face darkened, and he rebuked angrily. Beside him, the retainers, guard warriors, and envoys who came with him all looked complicated, looking at the owner of the childish voice with hatred. Ha ha ha, it's useless not to allow it, this is a man's decision. Although he is small, this child has a courage that no one here can match. Armed colored domineering wrapped himself to avoid damage and high temperatures. Standing on the anvil, Shigatsuki Kozaburo constantly adjusted the position of the material to make it receive even force. As for Rex and Lingling, their hammers were swinging like windmills, and red and black lightning kept bursting out. The strength is slightly reduced, and it is about to burst. Kozaburo Shijizuki, who had been staring at the dazzling incandescent light, suddenly shouted. The two of them subconsciously took back their strength. Collect more. Next, under the constant command of Shigatsuki Kozaburo, the two of them either increased their strength or reduced their strength. The incandescent light that was originally fused together but clearly belonged to metal and the milky white light of the soul light group gradually became stronger under the constant beating. After a few days, the superimposed material that had been forged into one seemed to flash with a light. Then the material gave people a strange feeling, as if it had an ignorant spirituality. At this moment, Lingling also felt something in her heart there was a strange feeling. She could feel the position of the piece of material, as if there was a connection, and there was a special sense of intimacy. But while she was forging the knife, she didn't think too much about it and put this feeling aside. Xuan Jiho Geng Sanlang also felt something different, but not like Lingling. He just felt that the material was different from before. The excitement in his heart was indescribable. He knew that in the history of knife forging, he would be a unique existence, the first in history. A craftsman. No one can compare with him. As the saying goes, 
those who travel a hundred miles are half ninety. Even though Kozaburo Shijizuki is extremely tired and his eyes are stinging from staring at the bright light for a long time, he still dare not be careless in his heart. Feeling that the piece of material has been integrated into one piece, and the next step of shaping can begin. Kozaburo Shimatsuki once again directed the two of them. The metal block was constantly adjusted by Kozaburo Shimatsuki, slowly elongated, and then flattened. Another day later, a handful the prototype of the knife appeared. Shigatsuki Kozaburo observed carefully and made subtle adjustments. If such a top quality material is not forged into the shape of a knife as early as possible, once it cools, it will change the shape again and polish it. It was extremely difficult. Finally, after another blow one day later, Shigatsuki Kozaburo's face seemed to be crying and laughing, making the two of them stop, it's time to temper. Lingling's face turned pale, and she called out tiredly King Nu. Yes. The ice crystal crown on Lingling's head floated up and flew to the side. When Shigatsuki Kozaburo took them out of the flames, he immediately sprayed out extremely low temperature freezing air. The blade embryo, which had almost become a knife, cooled down at a speed visible to the naked eye. Shigatsuki Kozaburo observed the gradually dimming light. Seeing that it was almost done, he quickly shouted Lingling, bleed. Hearing this, Lingling nodded, pointed at the blade, and opened her wrist with difficulty, and blood spurted out. A smell of rusty blood filled the air. Okay Lingling. Seeing that it was almost done, Shigatsuki Kozaburo stopped him immediately. King sprayed a stream of freezing air on Lingling's wrist in time to seal the bleeding wound. At this time, there was still a trace of blood on the blade that was still cooling down rapidly. It decreased rapidly. But it seemed that it had penetrated into the blade. Finally, the blade, which was almost shaped like a knife, completely cooled down. A black blade with dark red lines appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Haha, <laughs> it's done. Shijizuki Kozaburo collapsed on the ground and looked up to the sky with a long smile. Bang bang. Rex and Lingling glanced at the beautiful blade that had not been polished before falling to the ground. In the past ten days, they have really too tired. Even with such a strong body, the domineering energy has been completely exhausted, almost draining every ounce of strength from the body. If it weren't for their firm will that kept them going, they would have fallen to the ground in seven or eight days. Although he is not the main force in forging swords and swinging hammers, after so many days, Shijizuki Kozaburo, who has consumed a lot of energy, is exhausted, relying solely on his will to hold on. As soon as he relaxed, he also fell to the ground. Except for the last one. King Feng Hao, Dai Jun, and Lei Jianzi, who had gained some strength, were also exhausted and drifted on the spot, soundly sleeping. It's really shocking. Brother and the others actually worked with such intensity for more than ten days. Yes, even they can't hold on any more. This knife blade is really beautiful, noble, and mysterious. I really want to know what it will look like after polishing it into a knife. It must be the most famous sword in the sea. The people watching from a distance saw that the forging was over and the three people who forged the sword fell to the ground. They couldn't help but came here with curiosity. Rupert and others' expressions changed, and they immediately deployed their formations to kill Rex and others. 193 The sword embryos were surrounded in the middle. King floated silently in the air, wary of those approaching. Noticing their movements, those who came around slowed down under the reminder of some people. After a while, the crowd parted and made a way. Skiyaki was surrounded by a crowd of people and he walked through the crowd with his son Odin who looked like he was doing nothing. Don't worry, everyone, the citizens are just curious about what the blade forged by such movement looks like. As he said that, Skiyaki couldn't help but look at the knife embryo that had fallen beside Lingling at some point in the center of the encirclement. What a good knife, the best knife I have ever seen. Skiyaki couldn't help but admire. At this time, Odin beside him couldn't help but run away from them and ran over, wanting to see the sword embryo up close. 
Everyone saw that he was a child, so they didn't care. Odin walked past Lay next to Kess, he couldn't help but glance at this huge man and exclaimed it's so big, it deserves to be from the open sea. This time, no matter what, I want to go to sea and see. As he said that, he passed by Rex, looked up at King Vigen, and exclaimed the magic. King glanced at Odin indifferently, feeling that this child was a bit unusual, but she didn't care. She walked all the way to Lingling. In front of the blade, Odin looked at the blade with a blade that was longer than his height. His eyes were full of envy and he couldn't help but stretched out his hand to touch it. There was a sharp sound. The blade vibrated and seemed to be swung automatically. Splitting the person who dared to get close to it and touch it in half. Oda's face changed in shock, he quickly backed away, rubbed his eyes and looked at the blade again, what's going on, is it an illusion? The sound of the knife embryo was heard by the onlookers, and they looked at the knife embryo in disbelief. What happened? The blade seemed to have moved just now. Did the knife move? Was it the big foreign girl who moved it? No, no, I saw it too, it seemed like it moved on its own. How is that possible? It's just a blade. The onlookers were talking a lot. Only those who were swordsmen looked at the sword embryo with hot eyes and sighed secretly in their hearts. It's a pity that the blade is too big. But even if the sword embryo is not big, given their height, they don't dare to act rashly. In the past ten days, what Rex and Lingling have shown has penetrated deeply into their hearts. Skiyaki looked at the sword embryo with a serious face and his eyes were full of shock. He couldn't believe it, is it a demon sword? But the demon sword doesn't have such spirituality. It was obviously warning Odin not to touch it just now. Moreover, it doesn't feel weird. What an amazing kid, he was able to cooperate with Kozaburo to create such a spiritual sword. Odin, come back. Seeing that Odin still wanted to get closer, Skiyaki scolded him quickly. Hearing his father's scolding, Odin curled his lips, thought about it, and felt that the sword embryo didn't seem to like him, so he turned around and left with disdain. Hum, you don't like me, and I don't like you either. Having said what he said against his will, Odin left straight away and walked in the direction of Hwaju alone. Seeing Odin like this, Skiyaki frowned and sighed deeply, raised his chin, and gestured in the direction of Odin. The two guarding warriors he broke away, bypassed the encirclement of everyone and chased after him. Although Odin, the kid, had already shown considerable talent at this time, from Suzuo to Hwaju, there were still some beasts that he could not resist at this time. Far away. After observing the blade embryo from a distance, the crowd gradually dispersed. Everyone wanted to carry Rex Lingling and others away with the blade embryo. However, as soon as they approached the blade embryo, there was a sense of crisis along with the sound of the blade embryo. Then I had to give up. After more than ten days of burning, the temperature here was very high and persisted for a long time. In order to avoid too much heat and sun exposure to the sleeping people, everyone asked King to make a ventilated one above their heads. Ice cover. Now it feels much more comfortable. Rex, Lingling, and Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo slept for three days. The three of them woke up one after another, and shouted for food and water as soon as they woke up. The long bread acted immediately, and the three of them ate it one after another. Haisa fell to the ground again after eating. After sleeping for a full week, Rex was the first to sit up. Kozaburo Shijizuki also sat up after sleeping for a few more hours. When Kozaburo Shigatsuki woke up, Lei Kes was eating. Shijizuki Kozaburo, who was also empty and hungry, came over and started gobbling it up without saying a word. The two of them ate for three more hours before finally feeling relieved as if they were pregnant in ten months. Tone. It felt like I was finally saved. Rex laughed. Yes. I have never been so tired, as if I was going to die. Shijizuki Kozaburo heard the words and said with a smile. Rex turned his head and looked at Lingling who still showed no signs of waking up. 
It seemed that Lingling was exhausted this time, and the smell of dessert could not wake her up. His eyes shifted to look at the blade beside Lingling. Rex's eyes lit up and he stood up and walked over. Seeing this, Shigatsuki Kozaburo also quickly stood up and followed. Looking at the high-end atmosphere and class, the whole body was glowing with a faint red glow. Red lines spread across the entire blade. Mysterious, elegant, noble, and domineering. This is still a semi-finished product that has not been polished, tempered, and installed with a tangent handle. Rex can imagine how great it will be once it is made into a finished product. Charming. Stretch out your hand and hold the knife embryo. The knife embryo vibrates and makes a clear sound. Um. Rex was a little surprised. He felt that the blade seemed to be expressing joy. You are so spiritual, you actually know how to get close to me and express your joy. Rex couldn't help but praise with a smile on his face. Spirituality. Next to him, Shigatsuki Kozabero's eyes lit up. He has never heard of any famous sword that has spirituality and can express emotions. Not even the demon sword. For those who are not determined, the demon sword will only cause madness and addiction. Blood. In other words, madness and bloodthirsty are the extremely simple spirituality of the demon sword. If you surrender, you can restrain it. If you don't surrender, you will be backlashed, and eventually you will lose your mind and die madly. Let me see. Shigatsuki Kozaburo said impatiently. Good. Rex nodded, squatted down, and pointed the hilt of the knife towards Shigatsuki Kozaburo. At this time, the blade vibrated again and made a sound. This time, Rex felt reluctance, reluctance, and unhappiness. It was almost like just like a child. Good boy, he is your creator. Rex touched the blade of the blade and comforted him. The comfort seemed to be useful. When the blade of the blade rang clear, the previous emotions were gone. It's like a unique hamitz, with Lingling's breath and a hint of me. I don't know what kind of power and abilities he will have after becoming a sword. At present, this knife is only a semi-finished product. It still needs to be polished, the earth-covered blade is tempered again, and then quenched again. A series of things such as the knife handle and the knife handle must be installed before it is finally completed. The process is quite complicated. On the other side, Shuanjiho Geng Saburo took the knife and looked at it carefully, observing every detail, and reaching out to touch it from time to time. Perfect. So perfect. Shijizuki Kozaburo is like a pilgrim, with fanaticism and piety on his face. This knife is far from a finished product. Except for the installation of accessories on the handle, it is already close to perfect. Apart from sharpening, the blade requires almost no sharpening. After a long time, Shigatsuki Kozaburo returned the blade to Rex with a look of admiration. It returned to Rex's hand again the knife embryo jumped for joy again. It's really spiritual, just like a child. Maybe it's really a living knife. As he said that, Kozaburo Shigatsuki sat on the ground, holding his hands back, looking at the frosted glass-like ice cap above his head. So Rex, when did you start building your knife? Or should we finish Lingling's knife completely first? Rex put the knife in his hand next to Lingling, and after thinking about it, he said after Lingling has rested, I will build my knife embryo and complete it together. That's fine. Shigatsuki Kozaburo said with some pity. In fact, he wanted to completely complete Lingling's sword first and take a good look at this unique and famous sword made by him. But the sword owner is not him after all, and he still needs the permission of the sword owner. Okay. After a full day, Lingling finally woke up. After all, she was forging her sword. In terms of consumption of domineering, she was the biggest. And she was not like Lei 3.6x, who had fought against Garp and gained some domineering growth. Then there was mining and smelting. The domineering energy was frequently consumed and passively tempered. The growth was huge, and it was no longer comparable to her. But this time, 
Lingling is estimated to be able to catch up with Rex. As for tying it, it is not yet it's very possible. After eating and drinking, Lingling held the knife embryo with a face full of love, as if she was holding her own child. She had felt it when she was forging the knife before. Now, her feelings are clearer. It seems like another herself, it's like her own child. If she inserts the knife embryo on the ground, she can go straight to the knife embryo with her eyes closed from other places, as if there is a position in her mind. Lingling keeps playing the blindfold tracking game. Every time when she returned to the knife blade, the blade would vibrate and make a chirping sound, as if she was playing with Lingling. She was happy that Lingling could find it. Even when she went to bed at night, Lingling would clutch the blade to sleep, which made Rex close to her for a while. Unable to get married, they lost their family status. After half a month, everyone was completely rested. Not only did they return to their peak condition, but they also made considerable progress. The more than ten days of sword forging was comparable to a fierce battle. A fight of life and death. Still in the same place, Rex stood in front of the anvil, and Lingling was beside him. At this time, Lingling was looking sideways at him. Rex, are you ready? Well, let's get started, Lingling. Rex nodded, and the two-color domineering energy surged wildly. Lingling nodded upon seeing this, and the soul incarnation appeared again. Then Lingling handed the huge soul light group to the soul incarnation and stepped aside. The anvil was entangled and hardened by the armed color domineering energy. The hammer was also wrapped and hardened by the armed domineering energy. Immediately, a layer of dark golden overlord colored transparent energy glowing with purple enveloped the hammer, emitting a faint light. Boom! After many days, the place began to roar again. Far away people in the towns knew that these people were starting to forge swords again. The process of forging souls was the same as Lingling. It was just that Rex's more powerful overlord domineering speed made the process a lot faster. Lingling transferred the soul to it took three days for the light group to forge out the impurities from several meters in diameter to less than one meter in diameter. It took Rex two and a half days to complete this process. Moreover, the soul with the same lifespan as Lingling the light ball is a little smaller. Although it is not much, it shows that the soul forged by Rex has fewer impurities. Once again, it is proved that Rex's domineering domineering is slightly better than Lingling's. With the previous after two and a half days of experience, Rex seemed to be in pretty good condition. After only one day of rest, he was completely back to his peak. But then, the trouble came. That was to extract Rex's soul. Same thing. With his domineering aura and being Lingling's husband, it is impossible for Rex to be afraid of Lingling. Things seem to be stuck here. 16. Rex, everyone has fears, including you. Because fear is one of the instinctive emotions of human beings. Your domineering look, your strength, your self-confidence make this emotion of yours infinitely smaller to the point where it is almost impossible to be born. But it does after all. In order to make Rex fear, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo talked in front of Rex. The period of studying the soul made a deep impression on him. Not only did he have a very in-depth study of the soul, but he also had a deep understanding of fear. There has been some research on emotions. In fact, Lingling's soul spell was useless to me later on. When I get used to fear, fear is no longer fear. But at that time, I had not yet studied the mystery of how the soul is forged into the sword. So, after many attempts, I finally found a way to fear. That is, unconsciousness. Shijizuki Kozaburo slowly spit out three words. Unconscious. Rex frowned, unconscious. Isn't that a coma? No matter how terrifying the aura is in a coma, it's useless. It's like Luo has cut off the sound and Lingling's soul spell is immediately useless. Unconscious, yes, but not unconscious. It is to actively isolate your consciousness, not to think about anything, and to let yourself go. 
In this way, your body still has feelings. Lingling's soul spell can have an effect on you. Rex took a breath and pursed his lips. It sounds simple, but it is not easy to let go of your consciousness and not think about anything. This is simply a practice of cultivating the mind. And the heart has always been the most difficult to cultivate. It seems that it is the most difficult thing to cultivate. It's like being in a daze, but people in a daze still have consciousness, which is why they can wake up quickly after being in a daze. Try it. Rex sat on the floor and said to Lingling this matter is a bit troublesome. You have to observe my condition carefully and extract my soul in time. But don't rush it, otherwise it will be even more difficult next time if you are interrupted. Well, don't worry, Rex. Lingling nodded and stood beside Rex. Under the guidance of Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo, Rex tried again and again. After most of the day, Rex was always just a little bit away from success. But just a little bit. So that Lingling could not cast the soul spell on him and extract her own soul. She kept trying until night, before Kozaburo Shigate Tsuki asked Rex to stop. Okay, Rex, you're a little impatient and impatient. This will make you farther and farther away from success. In the evening, after a hearty night, Rex was lying with his arms around Lingling, who was full of eyes. Sai I didn't expect that one day, it would be difficult for me to feel fear. On the third day, Rex sat cross-legged on the ground, motionless. His eyes were staring straight ahead, but without focus or thinking. There was even a trace of saliva dripping from his mouth. Rex who had been aware of sex since childhood, did not react at all to the slight stimulation from the outside world. As an experienced person, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo came to Rex and observed carefully. Lingling, his current state should be the same as mine back then. When Lingling heard this, she bent down and looked at Rex's face carefully. Her eyes lit up immediately, she smiled, and whispered yes, it should be fine now. After that, Lingling looked directly at Rex and activated the soul spell. Goosebumps quickly appeared on Rex's body, his hair stood up, and there was fear on his face. But at the same time, Rex there was also a look of struggle on his face. Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo saw this and said quickly quick. Lingling, Rex's body was resisting, trying to awaken his consciousness. In fact, he didn't need to say it. Lingling also felt that the soul that had just risen from fear in Rex had begun to shrink. Not daring to delay any longer, Lingling grabbed the power of the soul that emerged from Rex's body. She felt that because of the shrinkage, part of the way back, there were only more than three years left, so Lingling had no choice but to pull hard. Suddenly, a large amount of soul power was pulled out of Rex's struggling body. Rex yelled with cold sweat on his head and regained consciousness. At this moment, he only felt a weak sense of emptiness, which was very serious. Breathing heavily, Rex looked up, Lingling held a ball of light in her hand. Looking at the size, it didn't look like it was only ten years old. Rex smiled bitterly, Lingling, how many years have you extracted my soul? Why do I feel a very serious sense of emptiness? and my body is a little inconvenient. Looking at the soul light ball in her hand, Lingling was also a little surprised and said it actually took out more than 56 years. His Rex's scalp suddenly felt numb, Lingling, you are trying to murder your husband, why did you whip so much? If this guy shakes his hand again, he will probably be able to knock him out. After hearing this, Lingling rolled her eyes at Rex angrily you think I think you will wake up soon. I almost didn't. Too late to extract. Well, I can give it back to you anyway. Cut the soul in your hand into two. The smaller part has a lifespan of ten years and was put away by Lingling. The larger part was shot into Rex's body. Few feel relieved. Rex got up comfortably and felt it, and it seemed to have no effect. But Rex knew that it seemed to have no effect, but if he was in a fierce battle, he might find that his reaction time would be a little slower than usual. Fortunately, it's not much. It won't take long for him to recover with special training. After all, 
he also practices fast swords. Because part of his soul was removed, Rex's condition inevitably declined. In order not to regardless of any accident, Rex still had a good rest for three days. Three days later, they returned to the anvil. It's finally starting. Rex rubbed his hands excitedly, his exclusive saber will be born soon. Feng Kao, Dai Jun, Lei Jianzi. Rex, Ling Ling, and Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo are all in place again. The roar that has just subsided a few days ago the sound soon sounded again. After such a long time, not to mention the people in distant towns, even the large and small animals in the wild have become accustomed to it. Ultra-high temperature heating materials, two-color domineering winding, and the forged materials are in the form of sheets. The materials are superimposed, add active flux, fuse, and shape the soul, overlap it with the superimposed material and heat and forge it again. The material is flattened and elongated into a rough embryo, and the shape is fine-tuned. The whole process is completed in one go. I have already gone through three steps when he and the three Hamits are skilled in their movements. They are even skilled in making and serving food to them. Rex and Lingling's knives are both tailor-made. Although they are not fully developed yet, Rex I have long known how tall Lingling can grow. In the original book, Lingling was next to long bread and had plenty of food. But even so, when he first told Kozaburo Shijizuki, Rex still asked him to be as tall as nine meters. Taylor made. As for himself, he is about 9.5 meters tall. In order to build his own saber, Rex has already planned. So after calculating his body data, he estimates that he will eventually be about a head to half a head taller than Lingling. Absolutely no more or less than that. Therefore, Lingling's sword is 11 meters long and 40 centimeters wide from tip to tail. Rex's saber is 12 meters long and 45 centimeters wide. Meters wide. Therefore, Rex's knife consumes more materials and takes longer. It took almost one day longer than Lingling did, and the forging of the Rex knife embryo finally came to an end. Ready for her quenching. Kozaburo Shijizuki, whose face was pale but flushed due to the high temperature, shouted. The green girl immediately flew down from Lingling's head and got ready. Kozaburo Shigate Tsuki picked up the knife and moved it outside the high temperature area, and the green girl immediately sprayed out the cold liquid. Air cools down the blade. Rex, blood. Actually, he didn't need to say anything, Rex was already ready. If you want to break through the tough skin, you have to use armament hacky. Soon the skin broke, and blood poured out, pouring on the blade that had dropped in temperature. Let King help temporarily freeze the wound, and Rex stared at the knife emitting white smoke. After a trace of blood was absorbed by the blade, Rex's knife embryo finally appeared in front of his eyes. Seeing that it was tailor-made for him Rex's eyes lit up, and a smile appeared on his tired face. Rex's saber is the same as Lingling's, all black. But under the reflection of the light, there seems to be some vague purple meaning. Under the influence of his overlord colored domineering energy, dark golden lines spread across the blade. If Lingling's knife is noble, mysterious, elegant, and domineering, then Rex's knife is noble, majestic, domineering, and has a high-end feeling of low-key luxury. Rex reached out his hand and picked up the blade. Zhang. The blade of the sword vibrated, and the blade made a long sound. Feeling the emotions conveyed to him by the blade, Rex couldn't put it down and stroked it. At this moment, he also understood how Lingling felt. With a satisfied smile on his face, Rex, who could no longer hold on, collapsed to the ground. At this time, Lingling, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo and several Hamits had fallen into a deep sleep. A week later, the three people who had woken up once to replenish food woke up one after another. Rex, who woke up last, ate with the two of them. It took a full week of relaxation before he returned to his peak condition. Of course, after more than ten days of continuous high-intensity use of two-color domineering, he and Lingling once made some progress. And Kozaburo Shigate Tsuki is naturally not comparable to Rex Lingling, 
and even after an extra week, he still hasn't recovered. But he no longer wanted to wait, he couldn't wait to turn the two sword embryos into truly unique and famous swords. In the backyard of Kozaburo Shijetsuki's house, Lingling's blade was placed on two waist-high stones. Because the blade was too big, Shigetsuki Kozaburo naturally couldn't polish it as easily as ordinary long and short famous swords. Even the millstones have been replaced with the size of a wash basin. After spending a day, Shigetsuki Kozaburo used a grindstone to polish off the oxide layer on the two blades, and then prepared to temper them and complete the earth-burning process. This time backfire, there is no need to go to the anvil, Shigetsuki Kozaburo's large backyard is enough to complete it. In the backyard, a large pit was dug at this time. This large pit was used to mix mud with Shigetsuki Kozaburo's exclusive formula. Shigetsuki Kozaburo weighed more than ten kinds of materials one by one, mixed them thoroughly according to the proportion, and poured them into the pit. Rex, the rest is up to you. This big pit of mud is not convenient for my head. Shijizuki Kozaburo clapped his hands and said to Rex. Without saying a word, Rex picked up the prepared bucket and poured the water into the pit, and then started to stir it up with a large improvised shovel. Soon, the mud and okay, the next step is to cover the soil and burn the blade, which is to paste the mud on the blade. At this time, the flaw of the blade being too perfect also appeared. Although it was only a rough grinding to remove an oxide layer, the blade it was too smooth, making it difficult for mud to stick to it. After a lot of effort, I even used armament hacky to cover the blade with mud. The key to the knife pattern is the shape of the blade exposed after covering it with mud but the blade is so big, it's easier to make it perfect. Rex, what kind of knife pattern do you want? Shigetsuki Kozaburo asked while holding a mud scraping tool. Um, Rex crossed his arms across his chest and rubbed his chin with his right hand how about the reverse T-shape of chaos blade and heavy flower? You know, I don't really understand this. But the knife embryo is already so perfect, so the pattern of the knife must also be perfect and beautiful. You are a top-notch famous craftsman, and from now on you will be the number one famous craftsman in history. This aspect naturally depends on your ability. Ha ha ha. Shijizuki Kozaburo was all smiles, I'm so impressed. But I have to say that the knife pattern you chose is indeed good. Shigetsuki Kozaburo nodded in agreement and looked at Lingling so, Lingling, where are you? I want to be like Rex. Lingling naturally doesn't understand either. She doesn't even understand what Rex said about chaotic blades and heavy flowers. But since Rex likes it, then she also likes it. Good. Kozaburo Shigetsuki nodded and started to work. Although the blade was large, it was not difficult to scrape the mud. It didn't take long for Kozaburo Shigetsuki to finish the work. Rex, Lingling, prepare to fire. You two can temper the fire together. I believe this is not a problem for Daijun. Emperor Jun. Lingling nodded and called. Ha 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 ha, Mom, leave it to me. Dijun laughed loudly, and suddenly turned into a 15-meter fireball. Rex and Lingling's hands were wrapped in thick-armed domineering standing side by side, raising the blades in their hands. Dejun opened his mouth. Swallowing the blade directly into his belly, he frantically activated the flame to increase the temperature. Soon, the blade gradually turned red under the high temperature, and spread to the handle under the conduction of the metal. The two men, whose hands were wrapped in armed domineering energy, were unaware. Quietly waiting for Shigetsuki Kozaburo's order. With his eyes fixed closely, Shigetsuki Kozaburo carefully observed the red-hot color of the blade. After a moment, he reminded loudly OK, take it out and it can be quenched. Hearing this, Dejun quickly opened his mouth and stepped back, spitting out the blade. Green girl! Lingling shouted hurriedly. Be careful not to use too low a temperature at once, as this will affect the blade, so take your time. Seeing King flying away from Lingling's head and preparing to take action, Shigetsuki Kozaburo hurriedly reminded her. Good. 
King Nu responded with a cold voice, floating above the two of them, slowly exhaling the freezing air. Bah! The two extreme temperatures met, making the sound of water rapidly heating up and evaporating. A large amount of white steam filled the courtyard. Wait! The blade of the sword cooled down, and it was already so dark that you couldn't even see your fingers in the yard. After the wind. Ling Ling whispered again. Yes, Mom. A cool voice sounded from behind the wind, and then a breeze swirled, rolling up all the white steam into the sky, and Clarity suddenly returned to the yard. Looking at the knife blade in my hand, a thick layer of soil has been transformed into something similar to Tao. After completing this step, both Rex and Ling Ling felt an astonishing change in the blade in their hands. Looking at each other, the two of them turned sideways in tacit understanding. Ding! The two swords struck each other, and between the explosions, the seal most of the blade was covered, and the cracked soil was completely shaken off. Buzz! The two swords trembled and buzzed, suddenly bursting out with a powerful momentum. Then, the sound of excitement and joy echoed in everyone's ears. After the last important process, the two sword embryos seemed to have undergone an astonishing transformation, and their spirituality was even stronger than before. Rex and Lingling were shocked, and they clearly felt that the originally hazy spirituality seemed to have been transformed at this time. But this transformation time was too short. They haven't understood what's going on, and they still need some time to get familiar with it. The main process of forging the knife has now been completed. What's left is fine grinding and assembly. Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo was already running with a face full of enthusiasm. Walking in front of the two of them, he carefully looked at the blade behind the earth-covered and burned blade. Perfect. So perfect. He wanted to step forward to touch, but he felt that there were two kinds of power that were very similar to Rex and Lingling coming towards him, seeming to be examining him. Um. He looked at Rex and Lingling with some doubts, mistakenly thinking that it was the two of them. But seeing the excitement on their faces, the excited and searching look had not disappeared, and he looked at the hands with surprise and suspicion. The knife embryo, confused for a moment and then full of shock. Could it be, is it the power exuded by these two sword embryos, you can also possess and control power, good for money. Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo was stunned on the spot in disbelief. The famous swords in this world all have a unique aura. And only true swordsmen and strong men can detect it. But that's all. But just now, these two blades were actually pressing towards him with aura, full of scrutiny on him. This is no longer what it used to be, where spirituality can express emotions and explain them. This is clearly consciousness. That's right, it's consciousness. Although immature, there is no doubt about it. In other words, it was really the same as one of his original guesses. Adding soul forging, these two knives have souls and life. No matter how simple the consciousness is, these two knives are no longer dead objects, but two special lives. Two beings that are the same as Lingling's creation Hamits, but even more strange. Closely related to Rex and Lingling, yet uniquely one. That was just now. Suddenly raising their heads, Rex and Lingling looked at each other in surprise and shock. The knife Taylor made for myself actually has life. Become a life similar to Hamit's, but more unique. Even though a day has passed since this incident, Rex and Lingling still feel a little dreamy. If Lingling personally used the fruit's ability to give it life, it would be a common thing. But this was created by their own means after they used the fruit's ability to extract the soul. Similarly feeling shocked and unbelievable, Shigate Tsuki Kozaburo was in a state of madness. At this time, he had forgotten about the most famous craftsman in history. That's just a false name. All he could think about now was the two knives. My mind is filled with the sense of accomplishment of personally participating and occupying the main position in creating two living knives. This life is worth it. Kozaburo Shijizuki, as if he was stupid carefully polished the two knives. The guy who usually seemed a bit old-fashioned and unsmiling has completely disappeared now. 
Finally, he applied 10,000 mesh abrasive paste and polished it again and again. The fine grinding process was finally completed. It's done. Polished to a thousand levels, the two knives are extremely smooth and have no traces of water. It was already perfect, but after polishing it to this extent, I couldn't bear to use it anymore. If there were scratches on this, I would be so distressed. Rex raised his eyebrows, his eyes full of unabashed affection. Uh huh. Besides, Lingling nodded her head in approval. You must protect it with domineering power. Yes. Rex nodded, thinking about this matter. In order not to have any impact on development, Zero Eighty has never taken the initiative to exercise domineering before. However, after this period of madness, Rex feels that he can start to exercise domineering, as long as he does not overdraw or overdo it. That's it. Although their bodies are not fully developed, they don't seem to be easily affected. Once our sabers are finished, let's slowly start practicing hacky. Rex said to Lingling. The blade blade has been finely ground and it already looks like a finished knife. It only needs to install the tango handle and other accessories. These things are already prepared. When forging the knife, they used scraps. It was created. Although no soul was added, it was forged by the two-color domineering spirit, and the materials were still of the highest quality. It was more than enough to make a few 21-level sharp knives. Polish these accessories one by one, Shuan Jiao Geng Saburo installed it and wrapped the handle with a rope. One was to increase the friction, the other was to look good, and it could also play a fixing role. In less than half a day, these trivial tasks were completed. Kozaburo Shimatsuki took the pilgrim he carefully cleaned the two knives with a normal expression. While cleaning, he carefully explained to Rex and the two how to maintain them. After a long time, Shigatsuki Kozaburo, who had completed the cleaning work, reluctantly stroked the blade and was reluctant to return it. Rex and Lingling seemed to sense Shigatsuki Kozaburo's mentality. The two knives made crisp sounds to express their anger and indignation. Haha, <laughs> the sword is really powerful. Shijizuki Kozaburo made a move, and stepped aside with a chuckle. Looking at the completely completed saber, the two of them looked at each other and stepped forward to pick it up. Boom! With bursts of sound, the two people holding the saber the domineering aura on his body shot straight into the sky, causing the clouds in the sky to split, as if the sky was cracking. It actually aroused our overlord color and domineering energy. Rex exclaimed. The two looked at each other, and they couldn't help but wrap their overlord colored domineering energy around it. Crack! Their respective overlord-colored domineering energy wrapped around the blade, exuding a faint light, and red and black thunder and lightning filled the air wantonly. My overlord color and domineering energy seems to have become stronger. Lingling stared at her beautiful starry eyes, a little surprised. Ah, me too. Rex nodded, it seems that one of the abilities of our saber is to increase our domineering domineering power. Withdrawing the overlord-colored hacky, Rex wrapped the armed colored hacky around it. Before he could react, the saber in his hand seemed to have found something interesting. The thick armed colored hacky actually changed automatically. With a twist, it hardened for a moment, and then it was released to open a crack in the ground. Finally, it flowed and wrapped the blade like a film. This knife can remove Rex's armed domineering force without Rex's control. Conversion Rex was overjoyed and immediately began to experiment. With a thought, the knife in his hand felt Rex's will, and the weapon color and domineering force were continuously changed according to Rex's wishes. Can it also help us control our armed color domineering energy? Besides, Lingling, who saw what was going on, said in surprise. Not just an auxiliary. Rex shook his head, even my armed color hacky has been increased. Yours should be too. What? This sword can actually increase your overlord colored domineering and armed colored domineering. Shijizuki Kozaburo was stunned. I thought it was amazing that Enma could unleash the armed haki of the sword wielder without authorization. 
your knife can actually be amplified. It really works. Lingling, who started experimenting after hearing Rex's words, exclaimed at this time. Mr. Kozaburo, more than that. Glancing at the excited Lingling, Rex looked at Shigatsuki Kozaburo, and couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth. Our swords can also actively release our domineering power. This can be done too. Kozaburo Shijizuki, who had been shocked to the point of numbness, had a dull expression on his face. Rex chuckled upon hearing this. Although he didn't fully understand it, the power of this knife is far more than that. Rex, my knowledge has also been enhanced. At this time, Lingling, who was experimenting with the knife, shouted happily. Three-color domineering increase. Rex was shocked. He was not surprised that the Overlord's Haki and the Arms Haki could be increased. After all, these two types of Haki were used to forge the sword when it was made. But how come the sword's Haki can also be increased? This knife is too comprehensive. Holding the blade in front of him, Rex looked at the blade that reflected his appearance and praised. This knife is indeed unprecedented in history. I don't know what you want to name it. Shijizuki Kozaburo asked. He thought of the name, but neither Rex nor Rex would agree. Name, Rex frowned, Lingling, what are you going to name me? Me. Looking at the knife in her hand, Lingling's brows also frowned. After thinking for a long time, Lingling said I am a person with soul fruit ability, and I have the ability to control the soul. In this case, my sword is called Hades Emperor. After Lingling said this, the Hades Emperor seemed to feel something and made an unprecedented sound to express his joy. Haha, <laughs> Pluto Emperor, do you like this name too? Lingling caressed the saber. Zhang the blade of the sword trembled and made a clear sound, responding to Lingling. The Emperor of Hades? Good name. After listening to this, Shigatsuki Kozaburo commented appreciatively on the taste. It's indeed a good name. Your sword is called Pluto Emperor. What should I call mine? It can't be worse than your Pluto Emperor. Gee, it's really difficult to name it. Rex smiled bitterly and scratched his head. The knife in his hand kept chirping, expressing his expectation. I want to dominate the world and control the world. As my sword, it carries my dreams and ambitions. Then you are called. Rex paused, and then slowly uttered two words, Emperor of Heaven. Zhang got the name he wanted and liked very much. The Emperor of Heaven in Rex's hands also responded to Rex's own joy. Haha, <laughs> as long as you like it. Rex laughed. To dominate the world and control the world is such a huge ambition. Shijizuki Kozaburo looked at Rex in surprise. He didn't expect that the other party was so ambitious. This sword is named Emperor of Heaven, and it does agree with your ambition. Now that the knife has a name, then. How to grade it? Shijizuki Kozaburo looked at the swords in the hands of the two men and said, although it has not been tempered into a black sword by the long-term influence of armed domineering. But not to mention the powerful abilities of these two knives, the quality of the blades alone has reached the level of the top 21st class fast knives. Even because you used a lot of Overlord Color Haki and Armament Color Haki to forge swords, you barely reached the threshold of the Supreme Fast Sword. You don't need to completely refine them into black knives, they can match the 12 skills of the Supreme Sharp Knife. If it is forged into a black knife, Shigatsuki Kozaburo stopped speaking, with enthusiasm in his eyes, that will surpass the 12 skills of the Supreme Sharp Sword. Reach a separate, unprecedented level. Can it surpass the twelve skills of the Supreme Sharp Sword, Rex muttered. Unfortunately, the name Supreme has already been used, and it is impossible to force it on these two knives, causing the other knives to be downgraded and renamed as a whole. The twelve skills of the Supreme Great Knife are already supreme and represent the pinnacle, so how should these two knives be graded? Shijizuki Kozaburo frowned and started thinking. Supreme means the best, but our swords surpass them and are so ingenious. As he said that, Rex's eyes suddenly lit up. 
so, our two knives are called. God's great sharp sword, two heavenly works. God's great sharp sword, made by two heavens. Shijizuki Kozaburo repeated this name in his mouth. Not bad, really good. If there is anything supreme, it can only be God. Only God can surpass everything. And what kind of people can hold them? They are really ambitious people. I really don't know whether it is good or bad for them to hold these two peerless swords. With this thought in his mind, Shigatsuki Kozaburo laughed, put the matter aside, and continued, I don't know, in the years to come, whether the God's great sharp sword with two days of work can turn into the God's great speed sword with three days of work. Maybe, there is a chance. Rex smiled. He and Lingling's exclusive sabers are so powerful. Of course they will continue to build them if there is a chance in the future. He and Lingling want to create the most powerful family in the world. With their talents, although the children are all extremely talented, possible, but there can be a few, right? By then, with the god level sword, their strength will be further improved. Just like him and Lingling now, after possessing this sword, they will be able to fight his strength has increased by at least one-tenth. This one-tenth is a lot. Moreover, this is without fully studying all the abilities of the two knives. Rex always feels that he and Lingling are the exclusive sword not only increases the three-color domineering power now, but also releases the armed color domineering ability independently, and can control its own armed color domineering power. There are also some abilities that require him and Lingling to get familiar with and explore slowly. At the same time, this the two swords that have become unique lives seem to have the ability to grow and need to grow slowly. It has been more than four months since he arrived in Wayno country, and Rex's goals have been achieved. It seems that it is time to leave. But after leaving before, he still had some things he wanted to witness. Hwachu. After four months, the people once again saw those two giants leading the way, each of them with strange shapes. But this time, no one felt afraid. Pointing in surprise and curiosity, the swordsmen looked at the knives Rex and Lingling carried behind their backs with gleaming eyes. Because the two knives were too big, they did not prepare scabbards, otherwise they would be used. It was inconvenient to pull it out at that time. Therefore, the swordsmen who could almost see the two swords had their eyes blazing, and secretly sighed that it would be great if they could have a sword of this level. It looked no worse than their famous national treasure sword Shisui of Wayno country. When they arrived at the general's mansion, Skiyaki, which had long been trusted, had already dispatched guard warriors to wait at the door. Everyone, please. The guard warriors stretched out their hands in front to lead the way, leading Rex and others into the general's mansion. In the huge banquet hall of the general's mansion, Skiyaki was sitting on his knees. He watched Rex and Lingling take off the knives from their backs and put them beside them. He couldn't help but look at it carefully. Is this a perfect sword? It's such a fascinating and unique sword. He thought of the Yama that Kozaburo Shigatsuki had built before but after he got it, he couldn't use it and could only put it away. It seems even better than Yama. Yes, a lot of effort was put into these two swords. Rex reached out and touched the knife beside him, with a smile on his face. Skiyaki laughed and said for such a precious sword, it is worth paying a higher price. Indeed. Rex took back his hand and nodded. So, are you leaving this time? Skiyaki asked. In fact, he wished this group of people would leave quickly. Their existence has made other races in the offshore countries that few people mention become quite hot topics during this period, causing some people to feel uneasy. This is not what I want to see as a general of Wayno. Yes, the two purposes of coming here have been accomplished, and there is no need to stay here anymore. So, let this banquet be a farewell to you. Skiyaki showed a smile on his face and clapped his hands. Then, waiters carrying a piece of food filed in and placed pieces of exquisitely plated food in front of Rex and others. Please. Skiyaki signaled. It seemed that because Rex and others were leaving, 
Skiyaki was very enthusiastic and talked a lot during the banquet this time. It wasn't until they were about to finish eating and everyone was about to leave, a burst of hurried footsteps approached quickly. Skiyaki's expression changed, and he winked at the guard warriors on the side. Several guard warriors understood and hurriedly went in the direction of the footsteps. Bang 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 there was a sound of a body falling to the ground, Odin, who was wandering around the flower street and willow alley, rushed back. Although Odin was only nine years old, he was very powerful, and the guarding warriors were not able to go all out. He was defeated by Odin in a few moments. Are you leaving? Odin rushed into the banquet hall and shouted. The loud voice that did not match his height made everyone turn around and look. Damn it! Odin, please don't be rude. Skiyaki secretly thought it was not good, stared at his eyes and cursed. But Odin didn't care about his father's scolding and attitude at all, his eyes were fixed on Rex. He knew that this was the leader of this group of people. He poured the last cup into the cup. After taking a sip of sake, Rex smacked his lips. He felt that this thing tasted really bad. His favorite drinks were juice and tea. Especially sweet and sour juice and green tea. Yeah, what's the matter? Rex put down the cup in his hand and looked at Odin. This guy seems to be less than nine years old at this time, but his strength is already quite exaggerated. Although he is not comparable to himself and lingling at the same age, he is not too far behind. Take me with you. I want to go abroad. Odin stared at Rex and said loudly. Damn it, shut up. Skiyaki was furious, got up and walked towards Odin. But Odin still stared at Rex, not caring about his father. Why? Rex actually thought about whether to take Odin with him. If nothing else, when this guy becomes an adult, his strength will not be much worse than his own at this time. At his peak, his combat power was at the level of a Yonko. If they take him with them, twenty years later, the Titan Pirates may become the next Rocks level pirates, and may even surpass the peak of the Rocks Pirates. But this idea, Rex ultimately dismissed. He himself is really not interested in the truth of history in those hundred years, but his plan requires the era of great pirates to fish in troubled waters. But this plan cannot be started by himself, it must be done by others. Target Because in just thirty years, Rex really doesn't have the confidence to go against the world government. To be precise, he has to go against I'm, who may have lived for more than eight hundred years. Therefore, Roger becomes the Pirate King. Inevitable. Therefore. Odin is an indispensable helper for Roger. At this period, the only ancient writing method was Skiyaki Kai, and Odin may have already learned it, or will learn it in the future. Rex's question made Odin stunned, and he thought did he agree or refuse, but he didn't expect it to be a rhetorical question, which made him not know how to answer for a moment. Odin stared, grabbing Skiyaki's hand and pinching his ear. Because I want to go abroad. Oda suppressed this answer. Unfortunately, I cannot agree to this. Rex shook his head calmly. Why? This is a manly request. Odin asked in disbelief. You are too young, and your father will not agree. Rex looked at Skiyaki and saw that the other person's face became much more relaxed. What? He cannot accept either of these two reasons. Well, General Skiyaki. We are going to have to say goodbye when we come to Wayno country. Rex wiped his mouth, dropped the wet wipe and stood up. Etc. Without waiting for Skiyaki's reply, Odin shouted take me with you, please. Although I am young, adults cannot compare with me. Besides, for manly matters, you don't need anyone's consent, as long as you make a decision that you don't regret. Rex's footsteps paused and Odin suddenly smiled jokingly amidst his happy expression. 2. This is quite right. Seeing Rex actually nodding, Skiyaki's expression changed greatly. He was an only son. Although he was incompetent, he understood that his son's potential must be far greater than that of his powerful grandfather. Wayno country, 
he needs to protect him. And his son has long been recognized by him as a strong barrier for the future of Wano country. Etc., this matter, before Skiyaki could finish his words, Rex continued to speak, interrupting him. Rex stretched out an index finger, as long as you can take one of my fingers. What did you say? Take one of your fingers. Odin's face was both angry and happy, and Skiyaki's face was also ugly. Odin pulled out two good-looking swords from his waist and looked at Rex seriously this is what you said. Bring it on. Etc. Skiyaki still wants to stop him. In his opinion, Rex is certainly strong, but his son is also extremely talented, and it is no problem to just connect one finger. But Rex had already bent down and pointed at Odin, who was holding both swords. Ding! Um! Rex was slightly shocked. Odin was indeed a monster since he was a child, and he actually caught it. With a slight smile, Rex increased the strength on his fingers. Bang! Odin couldn't resist the sudden increase in strength. Was directly ejected. It seems that you failed. Rex walked outside and glanced at Odin who was embedded in a rockery in the yard. Hateful. Odin's face showed the disappointment of not being able to go abroad, mixed with the shame and anger of not being able to catch Rex's finger, and the yearning for Rex's strength. I will definitely go abroad. Odin shouted, jumped out of the rockery and rushed out of the general's mansion. Skiyaki breathed a sigh of relief, and had a better understanding of Rex's strength. Asking for her flowers. Then, I won't give it away. Skiyaki nodded at Rex and watched Rex and his group walk out of the gate of the general's mansion and towards the outside of Huaju. He was not worried at all about Odin who ran away at this time. His son, although a bastard, but a man who sticks to his word. Since he has failed, he will definitely not go back on his word and follow him. On the shore, Rupert and others drove out the hidden Sloaner and stopped in front of Rex. Brother, come on board. Elton shouted. Hearing Elton's shout, Rex did not move, staring at the water. What's up, Rex? Lingling, who was about to board the ship, noticed that Rex didn't move and looked at Rex in confusion. Somewhat interesting idea. Rex suddenly laughed. Um. Lingling looked confused. Chauvinism. Rex shouted. On the boat, when he heard Rex calling him, Shaven stuck his head out and looked at Rex. What's wrong, brother? You dive down and look for the entrance to the land beneath our feet. Ah! Everyone was stunned and dived into the sea, what to do at the bottom of the lake? The land beneath our feet is a mountain. Look under the water along the foot of the mountain to find an entrance. Find it and come up and tell me. Rex told Shaven. Good. Although he didn't know what the elder brother was going to do, Shaven didn't ask any questions. He nodded and jumped directly into the water. Rex stepped onto the ship and sat on the deck and waited quietly. Unfortunately, the Pluto battleship is not that easy to find. It needs to be only by breaking down the stone wall of Wano country. In other words, the entire Wano kingdom is actually on the Pluto battleship. In order not to be discovered, the Wano people who were responsible for guarding it built a stone wall. Most of the day passed, although the distance around the mountain was not small. But the speed of the fishmen in the water is very amazing, and they have a clear goal. In half a day, Shaven found the place where Rex said, Brother. Shaven's figure rushed out from the water and jumped onto the slano, I found the place you mentioned. Very good. Kes got up and took the things he had prepared. Take me. Good. Shaven nodded, then hesitated, and said, Brother, are you going to go on like this? How, far away? Not really, you can get there in ten minutes. Let's go then. It's easy for me to hold my breath for ten minutes. Hold the rope, after all, humans are not as good at swimming as you fishmen, you hold me. Let's go back quickly. Good. Plop. Plop. Two figures fell into the water one after another, causing a splash of 20 to 30 meters high. 
Ten minutes later, Rex entered a waterway made of stones near the foot of the mountain. Moving forward, and found that there was no obstacle above. Wow! Rex poked his head out and saw an ancient palace made entirely of redwood. Climbing up the stone embankment, Rex looked around. It was empty here, except for a stone building next to the waterway. On the platform, there is a red stone tablet covered with moss. Ha ha! Rex couldn't help laughing when he thought of what he was about to do. He stepped towards the road sign and stone monument, and wiped off the moss on the surface. He made a rubbing of the inscription and put it in a sealed jar. Hit! Then, Rex grabbed both sides of the stone monument with both hands. Rumble! The road sign stone monument, which had not been touched for more than 800 years, was easily lifted by Rex. With a slight toss, Rex changed it. Direction, with the back facing towards him. Boom! Putting the road sign stone back in place again, Rex took a step back and took a look, porphine. There was nothing on the bare back except moss. I thought about the people who would come here in the future. Rex couldn't help laughing when he saw the confused first reaction to the road sign. Chauvin stood aside, looking at his eldest brother's inexplicable behavior with a confused look on his face. Um, wait, there's still something missing. Rex felt that he couldn't just leave like this. He pulled out the knife behind him, and the armed domineering force wrapped around him. A sharp friction sound sounded, and Rex frowned, but only a few scratches were left. This stone is so hard. That's right. If it wasn't hard enough, the world government would have destroyed the stone tablet long ago. If it didn't work, it would have had to cut off the words. It seems that there are other ways to carve words on it, rather than simple internal destruction. Frowning, no words can be left on the stone tablet, Rex was a little reluctant. After thinking about it, Rex turned around and carved a line of words on the mahogany pillar facing the road sign. Rex is here for a visit. Ha 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 ha, it's a pity that there is no camera or anything like that, otherwise it would be so much fun. Rex laughed loudly. When he thought about seeing the road sign stone like this, finally discovering the secret on the back, and then seeing the scene where Rex's teeth were itching when he left the message in anger. Rex felt it was so funny. On the side, Chauvin had a black line on his face as he watched his elder brother doing something. As soon as Rex turned around, he saw Chauvin's speechless expression. He couldn't help but look solemn and coughed lightly. Okay, let's go. Rex said in a pretentious manner. Good. Chauvin tied the rope that Rex had tied around his waist again to his own waist, and jumped into the waterway. Although he is a time traveler, before Rex traveled through time, he was just a young man who had just graduated from college. In this life, there will be another I have always been with a group of children. Even if I am 40 years old in two lifetimes, my mental age has not grown much. Besides, who doesn't like pranks except the people who are pranked? There are pranks for all ages. He Rex was confident. Returning to the ship 787 again, Rex handed the sealed stone rubbing to Christine, who was in charge of the library. Christine, put this away and hide it. Good. Kristen nodded, opened the sealed jar, and looked at it curiously. She found some unfamiliar words, so she folded them and walked to the library. At this time, others gathered around and asked Rex if he had done it. What? It's nothing, just rubbing the words on an ancient monument. Rex explained casually. That's it. Everyone also saw the text just now, and found that it was not something they had learned before, so they were no longer interested. On the side, Shaven glanced at Rex, thinking about what Rex was doing in the underground palace, and whether he wanted to share it with other people. People wanted to share. At this moment, Rex suddenly glanced at him. Chauvin's eyelids twitched and he quickly grinned with a big mouth full of sharp teeth. Forget it, you can't share this with those unreliable big mouths. Otherwise, if my eldest brother finds out, he will probably beat me up in the name of training. 
Chauvin's knowledge pleased Rex. Seeing that everyone was waiting for his order, Rex waved his hand, Boys, let's go. Oh everyone responded in unison. Those who steered the helm, those who hoisted the sails, and those who reeled in the anchors all got busy. Brother, how are we going to get down? Elena took the time to ask now. Yes. Rex took a breath and was embarrassed for a moment. Although the wood of his ship's mainframe was relatively high quality, it was incomparable to Adam Wood. Especially since it had suffered a shipwreck before and the keel had cracks. To do this if they rush straight down, the ship will probably end on the spot, and they will be trapped in Wayno country for a short time. I wonder if Lei Genzi can withstand it. While muttering, Rex's eyes turned to Lei Genzi. Lei Genzi was silent, and his temper was relatively cold. Lingling understood what Rex meant, so she said no problem. Lei Genzi can hold up the boat. That's good. Once the boat rushes out of the waterfall, I'll rely on you, Lei Genzi, to hold it up and fall smoothly into the sea. Yes, Dad. Lei Genzi nodded, and immediately flew out and turned into a cloud bigger than the ship's body, waiting for orders. There are many things in the ship that are 100 meters long, and the weight is definitely not light. But Rex felt that it was just like that, and it was only great. More than a thousand tons, after all, it was made of wood. Soon, the Slano arrived near the waterfall. In order to avoid the slow speed and causing the bow of the ship to fall, Rex asked Dai Jun to help increase the speed. The Slano accelerated the number rushed straight to the waterfall and flew out. Lei Jensa was always on standby. He came to the bottom of the boat immediately, supported the boat and flew forward for several hundred meters and slowly submerged into the sea. Boom crash with Lei Jensa supporting him below, the hull the impact of falling into the water was very small, and he landed on the water quite smoothly. Everyone on the boat breathed a sigh of relief. All right. The next target is the first half of the Grand Route, the capital of the Seven Waters. After Rex gave the captain's order, he turned around and left, going back to the house to change into clean clothes. Yes. Everyone responded in unison, but Rupert was speechless. After Rex mentioned the capital of the Seven Waters last time, he checked it and knew that it was the place with the most advanced shipbuilding technology in the world. Although this ship will be used he used the materials to build a new ship, but it was not this ship after all. Although he could understand that it was a last resort, Rupert still felt a little sad in his heart. This ship was built with his own eyes. For this reason, he also learned some skills specifically for the purpose of daily maintenance of the ship's hull. Leaving the turbulent waters of Wayno country, the Sloaner headed for the Red Earth continent. If he wanted to go to the capital of Seven Waters, he could only pass by Fishman Island. Now that there are abundant supplies on the ship, there is no need to replenish them in a short period of time, so he uses the permanent pointer to go straight to an island near Fishman Island that can be coded. Knowing that he has to pass Fishman Island, Shaywin feels a little anxious and expectant in his heart. The ocean is extremely wide. Even if it's just a new world. Especially if you don't get close to any islands on the way, and go straight to the Red Earth continent. Apart from the dangerous weather and sea conditions along the way, the Titan pirates didn't encounter a single ship. Maybe they didn't pay attention. Go and see. In less than a month, the Titan pirates arrived at the last stop on their way to Fishman Island, Qian Shao Island. Qian Shao Island is an autumn island with cool weather and no features. Many illegal ships coming and going will pass by. Here, supplies or coatings. Therefore, there is basically an endless stream of pirates and human traffickers here. Those who come from Fishman Island to the New World to replenish supplies, or pass here or go to Fishman Island. In order to avoid fighting, this island desolation, loss of personnel, especially the loss of coaters. Over time, a tacit understanding of no fighting was formed on the island. The arrival of the Titan pirates caused a sensation on the island. After all, this is a rookie pirate group, and the total bounty exceeds three billion. 
the captain and deputy captain alone accounted for 2.13 billion. In the history of previous years, there has never been such a newcomer pirate who can be said to be at the peak of his debut. After learning about the arrival of the Titan pirates, no one on the outpost island was afraid. Instead, they came to watch out of curiosity. When the Sloaner docked at the port, what he saw was a crowd of people on three levels inside and three outside. Everyone stood on the bow of the boat with some vigilance and looked at the crowd below. They found that although there were many people with malicious intentions, no one had any intention of taking action. Hey, kid. Did you really rob a country? A rough voice sounded from the crowd. Immediately, Rex and others felt that the eager and greedy malicious eyes were increasing. That voice also became a fuse, and the voices one after another immediately sounded. Where have these guys been during this time? Judging from the knives behind them, they must be getting weapons. It seems that those two knives are really good, definitely the level of famous knives. Share your gains with us. Ha 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 ha. Leave those two swords of yours to us, kid. There are many pirates and traffickers here. They are all lawless guys and have no fear of Rex and others. In other words, they think that Rex and Lingling can have such a high bounty just because they robbed of the country has massacred many people. As for the others, they are just taller and more powerful. There are many people here. The battle between Rex and Garp was not reported. So these people they don't know that the newcomer in front of them is not only big and strong, but also a guy comparable to the Navy's Iron Fist Garp. Otherwise, with Garp's current Iron Fist reputation, they would not dare to be so arrogant. Although none of these people are he chose to take action, but secretly targeted everyone in the Titan Pirates, planning to siege and rob Rex after they left the island. After looting a country, there must be tens of billions of gold and silver treasures worth. Seeing these emboldened and arrogant guys, Everyone opened their eyes with anger. They were waiting for the big brother to say something and rush down to kill those guys. As for the tacit agreement on the island not to start a war. Don't say they don't know yet, even if they know, so what? So? They are the Titan pirates led by big brother and Lingling. Snort. Listening to these arrogant words, Rex stood on the bow of the ship with his arms folded. His head was slightly lowered. His eyes were looking down, and he sneered with contempt. Dare you talk to us like this? Scumbags, who gave you the courage? Rex's attitude was even more arrogant than theirs, causing the port to suddenly become quiet. This guy, some people look ferocious and are about to curse. At this time, after speaking, Rex's overbearing aura soared into the sky and rolled down towards them. Boom! The invisible blade is the most deadly. After learning the overlord color hacky winding, Rex's overlord color hacky burst out with more physical destruction capabilities than before. The overbearing domineering energy that enveloped these people was like an invisible blade piercing their minds. The weak-willed person rolled his eyes on the spot, opened his mouth wide and collapsed on the ground. The stronger-willed person also felt a fear in his heart and couldn't help but want to kneel down. Only a few strong-willed guys who have gone through countless battles can endure the feeling of being overwhelmed and look at Rex in shock. This is, overlord color and domineering. Such a strong and domineering look. No wonder the bounty is so high, is he someone with the qualifications to be a king? Those people with strong will and some knowledge couldn't help but exclaimed. Hearing the domineering tone of the overlord, those who had not fainted immediately understood that the Titan pirates were not something they could deal with. No matter what kind of malice, no matter what lake no matter how much gold and silver they had plundered, they had no idea at this time. Looking at those guys who actually persisted to the end, Rex snorted and restrained his domineering power. His current domineering power is pretty good. Yes, because of being a time traveler, they are much stronger than ordinary people. But there is still a gap compared to the peak period of Kaido and others in the original work. Especially a few people such as Shanks, who can separate the Overlord's domineering power by dozens or even tens of thousands. 100 kilometers, 
it spreads like lightning to control the general green bull. Rex is still unable to catch up, there is a big gap. But one day, Rex will reach that level, or even go further. Get out of here. After taking back the overlord's hacky, Rex scolded and led everyone off the boat. As for leaving someone to guard him? It's completely unnecessary. His knowledge-colored hacky enveloped him. If anyone dares to go up without permission, thunder will immediately come. Strike! Even Legenza can annihilate these people. If anyone dares to get on the boat, it's good to kill a group of them to serve as a warning to these people. It also happens to spread so that no cat or dog dares to provoke them in the future. I'm about to go find them. The coder here, Elton, who was looking around, suddenly let out a light sigh. Brother, look! Elton shouted, pointing to the port not far away. After hearing Elton's words, Rex looked in the direction Elton pointed and stopped. Um. Rex was a little confused. There was a huge boat parked there, but it looked like a small sailboat. For ordinary people, this boat was very awkward. Even for Rex's size, it was not suitable. But if it is a giant, it is very suitable. Are there giants on this island? Lingling said in surprise. Everyone was happy when they heard about the giant clan. The one or two years they lived in the El Bafa warrior village were very profound for everyone. After hearing this, Rex immediately released his domineering energy and started searching the island for those people. Focus on the powerful aura and watch from a perspective. It's Casey and Oyamo. Rex said with a smile. Ah, it's them. Everyone exclaimed. Brother, where are they? Let's go find them. Rupert and Elton were the first among them to arrive at the Elbaf giant village. They lived there for almost two years and were very familiar with every giant. Yes, haha. I really want to see what they look like when they find out it's us. Go around and surprise them. Do you want to scare them? I think this will work. Everyone was discussing excitedly, and Rex couldn't help but be very happy. Although the giants in the El Bafa warrior village were considered barbaric in the eyes of the giants in the town, Rex thought they were okay. They were not far from the village. In a year's time, Rex also got along well with the giants. Casey and Oyamo are two of them. Come on, they're over there on the grass. Rex pointed to a spot near the woods behind the port town. Go, go, go. Everyone was in high spirits, and Rex also turned his attention to the ship and stared at the ship. Walking on the road, Rex was happy but also started to think. Why did these two guys get here? Suddenly, Rex remembered something. Casey and Oyamo seemed to have said that if the captains did not come back in ten years, they would go find them. Thinking of this, the memory in Rex's mind flashed, and he suddenly remembered something. These two will be the gatekeepers on Judiciary Island in the future. It seems that fifty years ago, they went to sea to find Captain Tory and Captain Brokey, but were deceived by the world government, saying that the two were captured by the Navy. They were asked to guard the gate. In 100 years, their captain can be released. Thinking of this, Rex couldn't help but raise his forehead. Tisk, these idiots are so easily fooled. We have to help them. Sensing something strange about Rex, Lingling couldn't help but look at him with concern. Rex gave Lingling a smile and said, It's nothing. He took Lingling's hand and squeezed it. Lingling smiled back held Rex's hand tightly and looked forward. After a while, everyone passed through the port town. At this time, Rex frowned and said in a cold voice Legenzi. Legenzi turned to look at Rex, and immediately understood yes, Dad. After saying that, he walked away with a cold smile. At the port, seeing Rex and the others leaving without anyone left, some guys with ulterior motives immediately became interested. Hey, so what if you have a domineering look, you are not just a fledgling idiot? Yes, I actually thought that because the overlord's domineering power had intimidated us, we could watch the ship without leaving anyone behind. 
steal their belongings, set the boat on fire, and teach that brat a lesson. This is not good, what if that kid goes crazy? So what? That brat plundered a country, and there must be countless gold and silver treasures. We can all share a lot. We can take the money and sail away from the island. If they don't have a ship, what can they do to us? However, that Charlotte Lingling is a fruit power user, and the cloud created by the power around her can fly. Ha 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 ha, then it's impossible for them to catch up with everyone, it just depends on whose luck is better, he he, are you scared? Snort? Afraid? Then give it a try. Many of the pirates and human traffickers staying here plan to take action. They walked to the Sloaner together and jumped on it. But at this moment, dozens of lightning struck these people. Aha! Uh -huh. Why is there lightning? The first group of people to jump up screamed and fell to the ground. The rest were panicked, looking around, and saw a dark cloud flying towards here in the direction of the town. Not good. It's the cloud next to Charlotte Lingling. Run away. What to run away from is just a cloud. The pirates and human traffickers were in chaos. At this time, Legenza had already arrived above them. If you dare to take advantage of father and mother Sloaner, you will all die. Rumble thunder and lightning struck down densely one after another. Hundreds of people began to scream. A considerable number of people knew how to use armed hacky but their armed hacky could only protect part of it. And under Legenza's continuous the consumption under the thunder and lightning was huge, and it soon became impossible to hold on. Each of the violent thunder and lightning locked on one person and kept out putting. It didn't take long for these people to be scorched and lost their lives. The tragedy that happened at the port made some the souls of those who had originally intended to participate were greatly reduced, and they were secretly glad. Those who had no intention of participating also broke out in a cold sweat, feeling the terror of the Titan pirates. Feeling that all these people were losing signs of life, Legenza stopped, and his body retract and turned back into a cute white cloud. Snort. Legenza snorted coldly and said in a cold voice no one is allowed to come near here, otherwise they will be the end of you. After that, seeing that everyone here was shocked, he sneered and flew away leaving only charred corpses on the ground near the port of Sloaner. 2. Gudong, terrible. He is indeed the strongest newcomer. On the other side, Rex sneered and explained to everyone what just happened. Haha, <laughs> those guys are really careless about life and death. Lafayette's voice came from under the mask. Even if we don't teach you a profound lesson, these people will still despise us. Just as he was talking, the back figures of two giants hanging around on the grass not far away, drinking wine and singing, came into view. Brother, it's them. Rupert said excitedly. Brother, what should I do? Do you want to scare them? Elton was very excited and looked at Rex expectantly. You decide for yourself. Rex didn't seem interested in this, but he was really looking forward to the next scene. Ah oh, hi 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 Elton. Everyone, let's go. Rupert laughed and ran towards Casey and Oyamo lightly. These two guys were drinking happily at the moment and didn't notice what was going on behind them at all. When Rupert and the others got closer, looked at each other in tacit understanding, nodded to each other, burst out with evil smiles, turned into black shadows and swept towards the two giants. Um. Kathy and Oyamo felt the sound of breaking the air behind them and felt that they were locked, and their expressions changed greatly. Who dares to attack us brothers? Oyamo's silly voice boomed. The two of them were thin and sideways. They seemed to have no strength, but they were once elite members of the giant soldier pirates, but their brains were not very good. At this time, they felt someone was attacking them. He burst out with astonishing speed. At the same time, he grabbed the weapon beside him, jumped forward to distance himself, then quickly turned around, raised the weapon in his hand and prepared to attack. Ha ha ha, Casey, Oyamo. At this time, everyone who had just rushed towards them with all their strength stopped, holding their stomachs and laughing, 
looking at the two people who were a little embarrassed. Um. The two of them were a little confused about how these people knew their names. They felt that the other party did not seem to have any ill intentions, so they hesitated to stop the prepared attack. Who are you? What do you want to do? Kathy frowned at these guys of different races. It's us. Rupert shouted I am Rupert. I'm Elton. Elena. Charlie. Lafayette. I'm Harry the Panda. Haha, <laughs> I am smart and cunning Alvin. I'm Elena. And me, I'm Christine. Everyone also knows that ten years have passed and their appearance has changed drastically. It is impossible for Casey and Oyamo to recognize them and introduce themselves one after another. Casey and Omo looked puzzled as to why these brats suddenly introduced themselves. But why are these names so familiar? When they were confused, they saw two guys shorter than them, but much larger than ordinary people, walking over with smiles on their faces. Casey, Oyamo, I haven't seen you in ten years. It seems they don't recognize us. Rex smiled and said I am Rex. I'm Lingling. Ah. Ah. 207 ah. Kathy and Oyamo pointed at everyone in surprise. It's those kids from the Lamb's house. Kathy and Oyamo said in unison. But as soon as Lamb House left their mouth, everyone became stiff and quiet. Great, it turns out to be you. Where have you been? We went to that island several times but never found you. Yes, are you in danger? Some people said that the front of the cabin was in a mess. The two people were so happy. When they talked about this matter, worries appeared on their faces. At this time, everyone in the field was silent. Even those who were as slow as them sensed something was wrong. The two frowned and looked at Rex in confusion. They knew Rex was the leader of the group. Rex looked at the doubtful looks of the two people, and after a long silence, he said, Casey, Oyamo, this matter is a bit unbelievable. Immediately afterwards, Rex turned from doubt to disbelief when the two of them turned around. He told the whole story with a look of confidence. Impossible. Rex, you're talking nonsense. That's the Carmelites, the benefactor of our giant race. How could a Carmelite be that kind of person? The two people's faces turned red and they were furious. This kind of thing, how could we believe such a thing? Yeah, Rex, haha, this joke isn't funny, don't try to scare us like you just did. That's right, we don't fall for pranks. The two people's expressions were reluctant. You said something and I tried to see something from the faces of Rex and the others. After a moment, the two people said in disbelief is this really the case? How come? Indeed. We are even less willing to believe it than you are. Everyone liked and admired her so much, but in the end they learned such a cruel truth. In other words, all the children she brought to the village over the past fifty years were sold to the world government by him. Kathy waited, her eyes were scarlet, and she was full of murderous intent. Not only that, a dark light flashed in Rex's eyes, I'm afraid, the more distant incident at the Navy headquarters was also planned by them. What's the meaning? Casey and Oyamo didn't understand what Rex was talking about. This means that the so-called execution of the giant warriors at the Navy headquarters, and Carmelites publicly persuaded and begged for mercy, becoming the benefactor of the giants, was a lie. She is in cahoots with the world government. Because the world government wants the giants to join the navy, join the world government, and serve them. Rex told the facts to the two weak-minded people from an analytical perspective. The two listened, their eyes dull, and finally they were so angry that they were shaking. Asshole. She lied to us for over sixty years. A while had passed, but Casey and Oyamo were still angry and could not calm down for a long time. Rex's goal has been achieved. When the two of them report this matter back, it won't be long before the entire giant clan knows about it. In the future, it will not be so easy for the world government to recruit marines from the giant race. And the Carmelite influence on the giants will also completely disappear. 
Although most giants are upright and have no brains, there are also wise men among the giants. When these remarks are spread back, those people will naturally distinguish between true and false and figure it out. And for this reason, he can also take a step closer to his relationship with the giants and improve his relationship with them. Everyone chatted with the two of them and talked about their situations over the years. It turns out that the Titan pirates who have become famous recently are Rex and you guys. Kathy suddenly said. Why, don't you know? Rupert said in surprise. Considering the reputation of their Titan pirates, even though it is said to be a slanderous reputation, some people don't know about it. Hey, we don't like reading newspapers. And the fonts are so small, it looks like too much effort. Haha, <laughs> that's it. Elton laughed and said, don't you know? Now Big Brother has a bounty of 1 billion and 80 million, and Lingling also has a bounty of 1 billion and 50 million. What, so much? Oyamo calculated on his fingers, the bounty is more than 10 times more than their captain. You are so awesome, Rex, Lingling. Kathy held out her thumb, Rex and Lingling are so powerful, what about you? Well, everyone couldn't help but fall into awkward silence after hearing this. Their bounties are basically a fraction of Big Brother and Lingling's, and some are even lower than a fraction. Somewhat shamefully, they reported their respective bounties, which indeed caused Casey and Oyamo to laugh loudly, and everyone was so angry that there was nothing they could do. Speaking of which, why are you two here? Rex changed the topic at this time, letting everyone breathe a sigh of relief. Next, he wanted to prevent these two guys from being deceived by the world government on their way to find their captain. With their IQ, what they just said, the world government if you fool around for a while, the situation may be reversed. Then the finger of blame may be pointed at yourself. Oh, we are going to find the two captains. It's been more than 50 years, how can anyone fight for such a long time? Yes, our giant soldier pirates have been silent for more than 10 years. The two sighed helplessly. It turned out that we were looking for Captain Dong Glee and Captain Brocky. Do you know where they are? Have no idea. Casey shook his head. Oyamo answered we separated from them in the first half of the Grand Route, and now we don't know where they are. However, it should still be in the first half of the Grand Line. That's right. Kathy nodded if the new world comes, we will definitely hear about it. The two of them talked to each other, and Rex also answered the question at the right time. If it was those two captains, I seem to have heard of it a few years ago. What, have you heard of that? Where are they? Kathy and Oyamo were overjoyed when they heard this. They didn't expect to get clues before they reached the first half of the New World. I don't know exactly where it is, but it's not far from Upside Down Mountain. I heard that there is a small island there with several volcanoes on the island. Two giants often use the volcanic eruption as a signal to fight. They have been fighting for decades. Ah, that's right. Oyamo said in surprise. That's right, Captain Tolly and Captain Brocky. Unexpectedly, they are still on that island. Really, they actually had a duel for so many years over whose prey was bigger. Kathy and Oyamo forgot their previous anger. Brother, why haven't we heard of this? Rex glanced at everyone. That's what I overheard when I went to the city once. I see. Everyone nodded and doubted that he was there. So, what are you going to do next? Rex looked at Casey and Oyamo again. Of course I went to find the captain. The two were categorical. Rex frowned secretly, then aren't you going to go back and tell everyone in the village about the Carmelites? The later the truth is known, the more people will be deceived into the navy. This, the two frowned and hesitated. Seeing the two people hesitating, Rex decided to try harder. Moreover, think about it. The two captains have been dueling for more than 50 years because of whose prey is the most powerful. Can you just persuade them to come back? I think it's unlikely to happen in a while. This is true. Kathy nodded in agreement, 
both captains are stubborn. Yes, more stubborn than an ox. Oyamo also said. So. Rex smiled with satisfaction since this matter cannot be accomplished in a short while, you might as well bring back the news about Carmel first. Lest more giants be deceived. That's right. Rex has a point, what do you think, Casey? Oyamo nodded and looked at Casey. Well, I think so too, then just listen to Rex, Rex is very smart. Kathy also agreed. After speaking, Casey stood up, and Oyamo also stood up. In this case, let's go back to the village first and pass the news back. Wait for the news to be sent back, and come back here to coat the first half of the journey to the new world. Okay, goodbye then, Casey, Oyamo. Haha, <laughs> okay, you guys should come and visit the village when you have time. Helding. Jirts and the others still talk about you all the time. Okay, next time we have a chance, we will go. Rex nodded, waved to the two of them, and watched the two of them disappear. A few days later, the film of the Sloaner has been plated. Because of the previous incident, Rex and others are now on the island. Everyone's gazes were full of awe, without the slightest thought of provocation. After checking the coding condition again and again, Rex gave the order. Target Fishman Island, let's go. As the switch is activated, the thick transparent film rises rapidly. While sinking, the entire ship is wrapped in round bubbles. It's amazing. On the deck, Rex watched this scene and couldn't help but exclaimed in admiration. Except for the long bread, everyone else was also surprised and shouted miraculous. The Sloaner dived into the deep sea with the current. Gradually, the light dimmed, and Emperor June slightly expanded, emitting light like the sun, like a bright pearl in the deep sea. The scene in the deep sea is rare. Rex walked around the boat with great interest, watching under the light of Emperor June. Looking at the large and small sea kings that occasionally swam by. Suddenly, there was a super huge sea king that seemed to be approaching because the boat covered in membrane was like a bright bead. For a moment, Rex was a little stunned. It's really too big. After living in the pirate world for so many years, this is the first time I have seen such a large Neptune. It is the strong self-confidence brought by strength that makes Rex fearless. If anyone with severe giant phobia sees this, I guess I can do it on the spot. This Neptune type should be intelligent. After getting closer, I saw that it was just a ship. Although I was curious about what the luminous object was inside, I still felt bored and swam away. If Rex is seeing and seeing color if the talent of domineering is to listen to everything, he can hear the muttering of the super giant sea king. What, it turned out to be a ship, and it was so bright. I don't know what that sun-like thing is, but they actually got it to the bottom of the sea. With the departure of this super giant sea king, everyone secretly breathed a sigh of relief. What an exaggeration. Elena patted her plump breasts and said. Yeah, I almost thought we were going to end like this. Kristen also looked horrified. Other girls also talked to her, except Lingling. Ah, hey, 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 how is that possible? We have big brother and Lingling. Rupert laughed. But he didn't see Rex pouting secretly. For a Neptune of that size his current level of domineering domineering might be really hard to intimidate. And if you want to fight on the bottom of the sea, it could not exert even a fraction of its strength. The best result might be heavy losses. The Sloaner dived quickly and quickly approached the direction of Fishman Island under the influence of the current. It was not without dangers along the way. Some low intelligent Neptunes approached and wanted to devour the Sloaner. However, Rex's overlord-colored domineering energy could scare these Neptunes away. There were no dangers along the way, but everyone finally saw it. Under the sea. Amid the exclamations along the way, the Sloaner sailed over the sea bottom. There, there is light. Hoffman said suddenly. He looked around with his big eyes, and sure enough he saw a light like the sun on the bottom of the sea. That should be Fishman Island. Under the sea. 
only Fishman Island has light. It's finally here, haha, I can finally see the beautiful mermaid. Hey hey hey, mermaid, hey hey hey. When they heard about mermaids, the boy suddenly started to feel a little bit obscene. A decent person like Rex was also looking forward to it. A mermaid, that's a mermaid. It's a mermaid that's half human and half fish. A mermaid. She has that long-haired figure. Very good, that kind of half-human, half-fish mermaid. What man wouldn't want to see this? Hey, Chauvin, you are the first one of us to find our way home. Erwin hugged Chauvin, but he didn't notice the tension and expectation on Chauvin's face. He once lived on Fishman Island, but was captured by human traffickers. I don't know if it was good or bad, but after being captured, he took the opportunity to escape. I met the Carmelites, and then my eldest brother took them to grow up together. Soon, Fishman Island appeared in front of everyone, and people couldn't help but marvel. Fishman Island looked really dreamy, like, winning the king, it was a huge crystal ball. But this dreamy and beautiful feeling was immediately shattered. I saw a ship sailing out from the entrance of Fishman Island after numerous inspections. The eyes of the humans on the ship were full of excitement and joy. Rex looked at the entrance and exit of Fishman Island with cold eyes. The sudden change in Rex's aura made other excited people tense up and look at Rex in shock. Brother, you, as soon as Rupert spoke, he saw Rex reaching for the knife behind him. Everyone's expressions changed with shock. Rex inserted the knife into the membrane until the arm was exposed to the seawater. Swish. Amidst the shock and confusion of everyone, he swung his knife and stirred up waves of ocean currents. A purple-tinged dark golden slash shot straight towards the entrance to the Fishman Island. At the entrance to the Fishman Island, the Fishman guards frowned as they watched a human pirate ship arrive. These human pirates are all lawless guys who often cause trouble on Fishman Island. But there was nothing they could do, Fishman Island was ultimately lacking in strength. They didn't dare to provoke public anger, and were afraid that the strong ones among the human pirates would come and cause trouble for them. But suddenly, the murloc soldiers with good eyesight noticed that on the bow of the pirate ship, a guy with an unusual size pulled out a huge knife. The fishman soldier's expression changed, and he stared closely. He saw the human being holding a huge knife and sticking it out of the membrane. Everyone, hurry up, there's a pirate attack. The moment he finished speaking, he saw a huge dark golden slash coming straight towards the entrance of Fishman Island. Captain. The helmsman, who had been observing the surrounding environment, looked horrified, and the extreme fear looked ferocious. Um. Just now, there was a look of joy on his face, but now he was stunned, and then his face turned into a look of hysterical despair. No. Swish. The dark golden slash was as smooth as cutting butter, and the ship wrapped in the membrane was chopped into two halves. The air membrane shattered, and the sea water suddenly compressed after stopping for a moment. Boom! Under this huge pressure, this the hull that was cut in half suddenly shattered. The humans inside could not withstand such pressure and died tragically under the pressure on the spot. This, why? The fishman soldier at the entrance to Fishman Island looked confused. What happened? Not the one who attacked Fishman Island. The soldiers suddenly couldn't figure out what was going on. The horrified people on the Sloaner were also confused. Big, brother, this is, everyone stammered, wondering what the elder brother was doing. In their impression, although Rex was ruthless when it came to killing, he was also dealing with those who deserved death or those who were hostile. But Rex, who had struck this blow, had already withdrawn his knife and hung it on his back again. Chauvinism Big Brother Chauvin, who has not yet come to his senses, said doubtfully. Go to the ruins of the ship and rescue the kidnapped mermaids and fishmen who are still in a coma. What? Shaywin's face changed and he immediately understood what his eldest brother had just done. When he thought that if it weren't for his eldest brother, some of his fellow tribesmen would have suffered, 
and his family would suffer. Shaven was grateful and his eyes were filled with anger as he swam through the air film and swam towards the wreckage of the ship. Go! 493. It's a pity that those bastards were crushed to death by the sea water, otherwise he would have to kill those people with his own hands. Chauvin has a bone-deep hatred for human traffickers. Those guys seem to be businessmen, but they are actually human traffickers in disguise. After all, in the fishmen in the island trade, buying nothing is not as profitable as selling mermaids and fishmen. And the reason why they can pass the inspection is because some of the walls in their ships have mezzanines. If you don't calculate the area of the cabin, it is difficult to find. Because of these people are very careful, those mezzanines are not big enough, just enough to lock an ordinary person inside and make it difficult to move. But even so, there are still seventeen mermaids and fishmen hidden in the mezzanines of the entire ship. Most of them are hidden inside. They are all mermaids, and there are only five fishmen. And half of those who were knocked unconscious and placed in the mezzanine are children ranging from seven or eight to thirteen or fourteen years old. Although it is said that in this world with imperfect order, seventeen years ago, but some concepts of right and wrong are still very strong for Rex. For example, human trafficking, which he hates most no matter what, especially women and children, is a heinous crime. So Rex did not hesitate to take action. Anyway, mermaids and fish no one is afraid of the water pressure of the deep sea. The guards at the entrance to Fishman Island were stunned by the appearance of Chauvin from the Sloaner. They did not expect that there were fishmen on the other side's ship. Although there are also human pirates in the group. Fishmen, but they are definitely extremely rare. The soldiers looked curiously at the approaching Sloaner and Shaven who sneaked into the broken ship. For a moment, they didn't understand what the other party was going to do. When the Sloaner arrived at the wreckage nearby, Shaven had already found some mermaids and fishmen. Seeing the ship approaching, he immediately brought the unconscious ones to the front of the ship and dragged them into the air film. Help see what's going on with them and see if they're injured. Shaven put several mermaids and fishmen on the deck, then plunged into the sea and brought in a few more. Brother, are there any more? Shaven asked Rex. In the entire pirate group, except for Rex and Lingling, only Longbread has the hacky of knowledge and knowledge. But Longbread's hacky of knowledge and knowledge is not strong. The others are currently only armed with hacky. Hacky. Of the three colors of hacky, in fact, the one with the lowest threshold is the armed color hacky. The other two, the knowledge color hacky focuses on talent, and the overlord color hacky focuses on qualifications. Although Shaven and the others have good talents, they have not yet awakened the knowledge color. Even if they awaken in the future, and it may not be possible for everyone to wake up. Besides, Rex nodded and pointed in several directions. Chauvin nodded and rushed into the sea again. At this time, the soldiers also saw Chauvin rescuing people and understood what they were doing. That was a human trafficker just now. The captain on duty yelled in annoyance and remorse. If this pirate group hadn't taken action, I'm afraid those of the same race would have been taken away and sold. Go and meet that ship. Bring those kids back. I'll inform Prince Neptune. The captain ordered with a livid face. After speaking, he added remember to be friendly, this pirate group may not be so bad. When the Sloaner came to the entrance and exit, the attitude of the soldiers here was really good. Although they hated humans for abducting their compatriots, they came to rescue them after all. Moreover, the soldiers glanced at the ship in surprise and looked at this. There, people? There are really few normal humans on this ship, and more than half are from various races. Noticing that there were many different races on the ship, and even their own kind, these soldiers quietly reduced their hostility towards humans. As the Sloaner entered the Fishman Island, the air film was also peeled off. Fishman Island is humid, and the air with the smell of sea rushes into everyone's noses. Hello humans. I am the guard captain here. Thank you for your generous action. After notifying Prince Neptune's captain, he came back. 
Looking at Rex's huge size, he didn't know for a moment whether he was a human. But this size didn't look like a giant. Among the giants, even a dwarf more than 10 meters. No problem. Rex stood on the boat and said to the fishman sitting in a bubble circle floating in the air in front of him. Now that you are here, pick up those people and take them back to their homes. They were just stunned, nothing serious. Thank you. The captain nodded gratefully and waved to the soldiers around him. When the soldiers boarded the boat and saw seventeen of their fellow tribesmen, their eyes were filled with anger and joy. They nodded gratefully to everyone as they carried their fellow tribesmen on their backs. Let's go to the port and park the ship. After the others left, Rex ordered Hoffman to drive the ship to the port and park it. At this time, the captain said please wait, I have informed our Prince Neptune of this matter, and he arrives soon. Hoffman looked at Rex after hearing this, waiting for a decision. Rex pondered for a moment, then nodded and agreed. Although he saved those mermaids and fishmen, he also had a kind heart and hatred for human traffickers. But as a, a person with ambitious goals naturally has other purposes for doing this. Fishman Island dwells on the bottom of the sea. It seems extremely frustrating, but its power has not been released. Especially, Princess White Star is destined to be born 36 years later not long after, a young fishman bigger than Rex came from the sky. Are you the ones who saved my compatriots? Neptune was a little surprised by the two men on the pirate ship who were about to catch up with him. Your Highness, they are the ones. The captain hurriedly came over to greet him. Those lucky children, I have asked the soldiers to take them to the hospital first. Ah, very good. Neptune nodded with a look of relief on his face, and the somewhat scrutinizing eyes of Rex and others softened. Thank you very much. I am the Prince of Fishman Island, my name is Neptune. In order to show my generous help to you, on behalf of my father Mars, I entertain you at the Dragon Palace. Of course Rex would not refuse if he could establish a good relationship with the upper echelons of the Fishman tribe. Not to mention, coming to Fishman Island was also one of his goals. Originally, he was still thinking about what to do, but he didn't expect that he would have the opportunity. Delivered to door. That's annoying. Rex smiled back, but we have to park our ship first. This is natural. Neptune nodded, and his impression of this pirate who was very polite even though he was a pirate became better. The Dragon Palace is located at the top of Fishman Island. It is a small Fishman Island exclusive to the royal family. I want to to go up, you can only rely on bubbles like swimming rings. But this is not a problem for Rex and the others. Riding on Legency, under Nipton's surprised eyes, everyone flew towards the Dragon Palace. If Fishman Island can be ranked at the forefront in terms of cultural scenery in this world, then the scenery of Dragon Palace must be even better. Although Rex said he couldn't appreciate some inexplicable and unique buildings unique to this world. But under the overall harmonious situation, Dragon Palace is indeed a place where people can never leave. They had never seen any good scenery in their lives. Everyone looked left and right, praising it again and again. Neptune is still an 18-year-old young fish, only one year older than Rex. Although he often listened to Dragon Palace's praises, he still felt happy at this time. The banquet hall had been drained of seawater at this time. Neptune led everyone into the place and invited everyone to take a seat. Not long after, a mermaid with a crown on his head and a height of just over three meters entered the place. The person who came was none other than Mars, the current king of Fishman Island. Behind him were his ministers and some bodyguards. Father! Neptune stepped forward. Well, Neptune, are these the people who saved our people? Mars sat majestically on the throne, looking at everyone. Seeing the size of Rex and Lingling, he couldn't help but be surprised. He noticed that more than half of the pirates were of different races, thinking about Rex and Lingling. What race is the person? Yes, father. Those children have been taken for treatment, and their families will be contacted later to send them back. 
Neptune said while bending down awkwardly. He was much larger than his father. In order to show respect, he often had to curl up. That's good. Mars nodded and sighed again. This time, thank you very much. Hungry, are you two humans too? Mars nodded to everyone in a friendly manner, and finally asked his question. Yes, Lingling and I are just different in size from ordinary people, but we are still human in nature. Rex replied. I see. Mars was even more shocked after hearing this. He didn't expect it to be an ordinary human being, but his body shape is not ordinary. What do you want? We can give you some thanks. Out of distrust of human beings, Mars did not think that the other party would help them on Fishman Island for no reason. Mars' words immediately made everyone angry. Shaven even stood up and said Your Majesty, Big Brother save me. Those people are not just for Dragon Palace's mere reward. We, the Titan Pirates, don't care. Oh? You are a fishman, why would you join humans and become a pirate? Mars had also heard before that there was a fishman tribe among this group of pirates. But now when he saw that the other party actually stood up and spoke to himself, the king of the fishman island, in order to protect a human being, Mars frowned quietly. Mars frowned. Charles's question once again reminded Chauvin of his unbearable past. I was abducted by human traffickers since I was a child, and then I managed to escape. After several twists and turns, I was finally able to live with everyone under the leadership of my elder brother. Without Big Brother, we might all be sold to the world government. That's right. Thanks to Big Brother. Everyone also expressed support. So that's it, poor kid. Mars raised his eyebrows. He didn't expect that he was taken away from the Fishman Island when he was very young. No wonder he didn't have any respect for himself. So, do you really not need any thanks? Or, any other purpose? As a king who rules a race, Mars is not a novice. Especially because of human distrust, he believes that the other party must ask for help. Now that he refuses the treasure, I am afraid that his intentions are even greater. Seeing everyone frowning, Rex shook his head and chuckled thank you, on my ship are treasures and Bailey's worth billions. Dragon Palace's gratitude is indeed as Chauvin said, we are not surprised. However, if you have to talk about purpose, then I really have one. Rex changed the topic, making everyone stunned and couldn't help but turn to look at him. Brother. You, Chauvin was a little stunned. He didn't quite understand what the purpose of being on Fishman Island was. But Rex naturally wouldn't tell them his deepest purpose. If you are not secretive, you will lose your ministers. Rex's words made Neptune frown. The good impression he had on humans like Rex suddenly dissipated. Oh? You can talk and listen. Mars narrowed his eyes, surrounded by his beard and spat out a sentence from his almost invisible mouth. Your Majesty also saw that there are different races on my ship. The Fishmen tribe is uniquely blessed in the sea. For people who wander at sea all year round, it would be the best thing if they can have a Fishmen tribe as a partner. Although there is a Chauvin on my boat, he is too lonely. Although we grew up together, it is still a bit lonely without any of the same people. So I hope your majesty can allow us to recruit some fishmen who are willing to join us on Fishman Island. Please rest assured that our group is composed of different races. No matter what kind of fishmen they are, we will treat them equally. Rex's purpose was to silence Mars. He never thought it would be this purpose. Impossible. Mars shook his head, what humans have done on this island, everyone no longer trusts humans. Not attacking humans when they see them is already the limit for everyone. So even if I allow it, no one from the citizens will be willing to board your ship. But how do you know if you don't try? Rex asked rhetorically. I understand everyone's distrust and hatred of human beings, because we also hate those who do all kinds of evil. But we are not those humans. What's more, my boat is full of people of different races, and Chauvin is on our boat. 
and being on our island is not without benefits to Fishman Island. Rex talked freely. The fishman he wanted most was actually Tom the Fishman. This guy was a highly skilled shipwright, and he also had the construction drawings of Pluto. Although he was still young at this time, the blueprints of Pluto were not available. I don't know if it's in his hands or not. Oh? I'd like to hear what the benefits are? Mars asked, looking at Rex. Neptune and the ministers beside him also had doubts on their faces. There are endless trafficking incidents on Fishman Island, and there is no way to stop it. In the final analysis, the strength of Fishman Island is too weak, otherwise no traffickers would dare to take risks under the shock. Rex's words made the mermaids and people present frown and look worried, but they also knew that this was indeed the truth. And our Titan pirates are destined to become the top pirate group across the sea. Hearing this, the people in Dragon Palace City looked strange. But Rex continued without caring when we reach the top, with our reputation, we will scare many people with evil intentions. Plus, you won't have much strength if you are nestled at the bottom of the sea. Only by bravely going out, struggling, and fighting can we become stronger. When you are stronger, those people will not dare to do evil. Even if they dare to come, you can easily deal with them. And if you want to make a living, to be honest, if you don't have a strong backer, you will probably be caught and sold into slavery in a short time. Do you mean that you can avoid all this only by joining your Titan pirates? Nipton's face was very ugly. Although Rex's tone was calm, his contempt for Fishman Island was obvious. He already had the reputation of the Great Knight of the Sea, and of course Nipton, who was still young and energetic, could not put up with this. You don't have to join our Titan Pirates. Rex shook his head in denial. The Titan Pirates can be said to be among the best in the sea, but he really can't guarantee whether they can squeeze into the top three. However, besides our Titan Pirates, do you dare to join other pirate groups? Not every pirate group is kind-hearted. Pirate groups like us who don't kill innocent people indiscriminately and plunder everywhere are extremely rare. Asking for flowers. Not to mention, there is no racial discrimination on our ship. Because we all come from different races and are all close brothers and sisters. Discriminating against other races is equivalent to discriminating against our own brothers and sisters. Discriminating against the Murlocs is discriminating against chauvinists. Neptune's face froze, knowing that what the other party said was the truth, and he pondered for a moment. After a moment, Mars took a deep look at Rex, what you said makes sense, but how do I know that you can become the top pirate group crossing the sea? If you want to reach the top and become a strong supporter, you can't just talk about it. Certainly. Rex said confidently. I dare to say this, naturally because I have matching strength and potential. For now, and Lingling are enough to sweep across the entire Fishman Island. If we wanted to, we could kill all of you in an instant and take over Fishman Island. Arrogant. Rex's words made the people in Dragon Palace City angry. The guards immediately raised their weapons against Rex. Human, you are too arrogant. Nipton exuded a powerful aura. Looking at Nipton, Rex dismissed it. To be honest, this guy's strength is not bad. It is estimated that at his peak, he would not be much worse than Jinbei. Zero. But what was Jinbei at his peak compared to himself? Arrogance, of course, has the capital to be arrogant. Rex stood up and stared at Neptune tit for tat. Human. Aren't you afraid that you won't be able to get out of here? Mars looked cold. Rex turned to Mars and said, I dare to say this, of course I'm not afraid. Because it's difficult for you to even withstand my momentum. The overlord color was suddenly released. The terrifying coercion whipped up a strong wind. The pillars, ceiling, and floor in the banquet room were all hit by this violent momentum. After fighting Garp, I learned the Overlord color. Wrapped in domineering energy and getting an exclusive sword, Rex's aura has grown a lot, and his domineering aura has been greatly enhanced. Plop plop. Under this momentum, 
in addition to Mars and Neptune, there are also those few ministers and individual guard captains, and everyone else collapsed on the ground. Even those who didn't fall to the ground were sweating profusely. Mars and Neptune were better off, after all, they were the king and prince in charge of Fishman Island. Is this a domineering look? Neptune faced the terrible pressure and stared at Rex. So strong and domineering, Mars' expression remained unchanged, but his eyes were filled with horror. It was really hard for him to believe that this level of domineering aura was unleashed by a child. Crack! Several red and black lightning spread in the banquet room, causing Mars' pupils to shrink suddenly. Overlord color and domineering entanglement. How could there be such a strong brat? Mars was horrified, and he instantly understood Rex's almost arrogant confidence. Okay, stop it, human boy. Mars said quickly, his attitude softened a lot. He is now convinced that the other party can indeed sweep the island. If he is not mistaken, I am afraid that the little girl is not simple either. Rex chuckled and turned the overlord the domineering force was withdrawn. Mars, Neptune and those who barely managed to not faint breathed a sigh of relief. At this time, Mars and others no longer doubted Rex's words, but began to think about the possibility of doing that. Sex. If it can really be like what Rex said, then their Fishman Island will indeed be much more stable. They can also use the Titan Pirates as a stepping stone to cultivate some strong people for the Fishman Island. When the time comes, the Fishman Island I can't say that the situation on the human island has completely changed, but there will definitely be a big change. Thinking of this, Mars' expression kept changing and he began to hesitate. Rex sat down and waited quietly for Mars' decision. In fact, no matter what Mars decides, he will choose to recruit a few crew members on Fishman Island. When these crew members can protect Fishman Island in the future, they will naturally draw in the relationship between Fishman Island and the Titan Pirates. As for the banquet at the Dragon Palace, even telling Mars and other senior officials of Fishman Island that it was this, it was just a last-minute idea. If the other party can win, then there is no need to wait until later to get closer. Mars thought for a moment, and no matter how he thought about it, he felt that this was indeed a good opportunity. It's done, Fishman Island will have a top powerhouse and a top pirate group in the sea as allies and backers. Even if they lose, they will only lose a few members of their own race. Because of the weakness of the Fishmen tribe, aren't they losing a small number of their kind every year? Few Mars finally took a deep breath and looked at Rex deeply. Rex was smiling, knowing that this matter was done and his pirate group would welcome new members. 610. Human boy, what is your name? Speaking of it now, he suddenly realized that he didn't even know the other party's name. In fact, it's no wonder that in the depths of Fishman Island, the source of information is from humans passing by. Those pirate groups are just passing by, and they are not here. What kind of information exchange is there? As for others, whether they are human traffickers or business groups, there are actually not many in number. Business groups can take the path of the world government, and only those who come specifically to Fishman Island for trade will come, but there are not many of these in a year trip. As for the human traffickers, they are a group of sneaky guys. Naturally, they will not exchange information at will to avoid leaking information. In addition, Rex's Titan Pirates group has become famous on the sea, but it has only been less than half a year. He is a fishman. Island King, what pirates are you paying attention to when you have nothing to do? My name is Charlotte Rex and this is my wife, Charlotte Lingling. Rex, Lingling, it's true that a hero comes from a boy. Mars sighed. Why doesn't Fishman Island have such a powerful child? I allow your purpose. However, I don't want you to force people to recruit, they must be willing to do so. Certainly. I want partners who can stick together, not slaves who hate me. Rex nodded and smiled. That's good. Mars nodded, with some expectation in his eyes, so, Neptune. Yes, father. 
Neptune quickly turned around and looked at his father. I'll leave this to you. With your help, they will be able to go more smoothly. Yes. Neptune responded. That's it. I'm getting older and have to go back to rest. Neptune, please treat me well on behalf of Dragon Palace. After Mars said that, he left with his ministers with a tired look. After the banquet, Neptune planned to entertain everyone for a temporary stay, but Lakai reasoned that he came after all the trouble and wanted to visit Fishman Island with everyone. Refuse After sending Rex and others out of the Dragon Palace, Neptune went straight to the conference hall where government affairs were discussed. He knew that his father must be there now. Father Neptune walked into the conference hall. People left. Mars looked at Neptune. Yes, they want to have some fun on Fishman Island. Neptune replied. After saying that, Neptune's face struggled and hesitated, and he hesitated to speak. Say it, Neptune, you are my only son and will inherit my position, and you have nothing bad to say to me. Mars saw through Neptune's thoughts at a glance. Yes, father. Neptune took a deep breath and said father, I hope you will allow me to board the ship of the Titan Rex pirates. Why? You have to know, you are the heir of Fishman Island, how can you become a pirate? Mars' face was expressionless, and his eyes seemed to be able to see through Neptune's heart. I know, father, but... As the next king, I also hope to gain experience and have stronger strength. Only in this way can we protect our people at critical moments. Neptune said excitedly. The argument between father and son echoed in the conference hall, and no one knew it except the guards who turned a deaf ear. Below on Fishman Island, Rex and others each paid some funds and went their separate ways on bubble bicycles three days later, after three days of playing, Lingling and her little sisters went to drink coffee, eat desserts, and buy a lot. Rex, who was left alone, met the mermaid prince Neptune again. What did you say? Rex was stunned. Neptune looked at Rex and said seriously again I hope to be able to board your ship and become one of you. This, you are the prince of Fishman Island. Rex was also a little confused. He wanted to find people from Fishman Island, but he never thought of recruiting their princes. This is not poaching, this is tearing down walls. So what? Neptune asked back I think you are right. The current situation of Fishman Island is ultimately due to the fact that our Fishman Island is too weak. I want to protect my people, but I'm not strong enough. Although I had been complacent about my reputation as the Great Knight of the Sea before, it was only when I faced you that I realized that these were all false. I want to have stronger strength, but just like you said, you won't have any strength if you sit on the bottom of the sea. Only by bravely going out, struggling, and fighting can we become stronger. I hope you can promise me that Fishman Island will be your strongest ally." Rex hesitated. Indeed, if Neptune can be put on the ship, then his relationship with Neptune will definitely be closer. He is his captain, and he will become the king of Fishman Island in the future, so he must remember with this passionate love. Then the mermaid princess Neptune he is destined to give birth to will also become his junior. As long as the relationship is managed well, they will be very close. When I think of agreeing, the future Neptune will be his own camp. The strongest helper, Rex immediately wanted to agree. However, Neptune, to be honest, I also want to agree, but we can't stay on land forever. Although there is a way to solve the bubble circle. But on the sea, you can't get on and off the boat freely. I want to recruit fishmen just to gain water conservancy advantages in battle. Rex was a little embarrassed, thinking about a solution. Neptune was silent and frowned, this is indeed a problem. Suddenly, his eyes lit up, Brother Tom is a top ship builder. Their ancestors were responsible for building a super giant ship that could accommodate everyone on Fishman Island. Although they are young, their skills are top notch even among humans. We can ask them how to fix it. Oh. Lake 3.3's face was overjoyed. Brother Tom, 
wouldn't he be one of his ideal crew members? If he had them, his ship would have the best shipwrights who know how to code it to take care of it. It wouldn't be like now, except Rupert is a bit of a dabbler, and everyone just works together to maintain it. Moreover, the blueprint of Pluto is most likely passed down from their ancestors. There are such people, where are they? Let's go find them now. Rex urged. He glanced at Rex who seemed a little anxious in confusion, and Neptune said Tom and his brother were from Fishman Street. I occasionally stay somewhere, but most of the time I stay in Uamai no Mori. Because there are a lot of sunken ships there, it is convenient for them to study different ships. Let's go directly to the sea forest. If we're lucky, we can meet them directly. Okay, let's go. In the forest of the sea, countless fish of all kinds swim overhead. It seems like these fish can fly in the air, giving people an unreal dreamlike feeling. Following Neptune all the way, the two of them arrived here. There is only one person here. In Rex's domineering sight, the person here is not Tom the fish man, but a male mermaid. To be honest, Rex feels quite shattered by the existence of male mermaids. Ho 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 Dan! A tall figure will bring a wider field of vision. Neptune saw the mermaid sitting on the hillside not far away at a glance. Um? Dan turned around and said in surprise Your Highness Neptune, why are you here? This person next to you is, Giants. Ho 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 Neptune let out a funny and weird laugh and said to Rex This is Dan, Tom's younger brother, his skills are no worse than Tom's. Dan, this is the captain of the Titan Pirates, Charlotte Rex. She is just a human with an unusual body, not a titan. Pirate Captain Dan's face was full of surprise, and he was a little confused as to how the prince could be with the human pirates. At the same time, he was also surprised that Rex was not a giant with such a big body. Are there any giants in your ancestors? Dan asked curiously. No, my ancestors were all ordinary humans. Rex shook his head not seeing that Tom was a little disappointed. By the way, Dan, where is Tom? Back to Fishman Street? Neptune looked around, and it seemed that Tom was indeed not here. However, Dan shook his head, Your Highness Neptune, he left Fishman Island a few months ago and went to the world above. What? Neptune raised his eyebrows, How come I didn't know about this? The eldest brother said that if His Highness knew, he would probably stop him, so he didn't tell anyone. Neptune was silent for a moment and sighed well, I hope he will be safe and sound. By the way, I came to you this time for one thing. Neptune told Dan that the Rex pirates wanted to recruit some merfolk or fishmen on Fishman Island. Then with his extremely surprised eyes, he told Dan that he planned to board Rex's ship and go to the outside world. Breakout! 21 what? Dan was so shocked that his voice changed tone Your Highness Neptune, how could you make such a dangerous decision? This is absolutely not allowed. You are His Majesty's only prince. And, Dan glanced at Rex. He was not usually hostile to humans and had no likes or dislikes towards them, but he was a human after all. And Your Highness, humans are not trustworthy. Neptune sighed, with a firm attitude and told about Rex's Titan Pirates and Rex's speech in Ryugu City. He also talked about his own thoughts. As a high-ranking prince, facing the attitude of the civilians was very sincere. His words also successfully made Dan change his attitude and became curious about the Titan Pirates, a pirate group composed of multiple races. So, you came to consult because you were worried about the inconvenience of getting on and off the boat. Dan concluded. Yes, that's right. Rex nodded and was friendly to Dan. It would be a very good thing to get this guy on the boat. Dan touched his chin and looked up at Rex, how big is your boat? Rex frowned slightly and recalled briefly, the length is 118 meters and the width is 38 meters. Dan frowned and said, it's too young, I'm afraid it won't work. Moreover, His Highness Neptune. Such a small ship is a bit too small for him. If you go up there, 
I'm afraid it will be even more narrow. This, Neptune was stunned, remembering that Rex's ship was indeed not that big. Moreover, there is not only Rex, but also the deputy captain Lingling who is also in good shape. Coupled with him, I really feel like I can't stay any longer, especially now that he is only over 10 meters tall and will continue to grow taller in the future. Looking at Rex and Lingling, one is one year younger than him and the other is two years younger, so they will definitely be a little taller. Rex chuckled that's not a problem. The reason why we came to Fishman Island was actually to go to the capital of Seven Waters. Because our ship encountered a shipwreck, the keel cracked. It was okay for a short time, but it couldn't hold up for a long time. So I planned to go to the Seven Waters capital to rebuild a bigger and better ship using Adam Wood. That's it. Dan nodded and asked, how big do you plan to build it? Um, Rex hesitated and said I'm not very clear about this, but it must be 300 meters. If you're big enough, there's a solution. Dan thought for a while and affirmed. Oh? Appreciate further details. Rex and Neptune looked at Dan seriously. Enough hull to build a dedicated seawater tank below the waterline. As for the ship wall where the seawater tank is in contact with the sea, coating technology can be used to create a door similar to the entrance to Fishman Island. In this way, both mermaids and fishmen can freely enter and exit the hull through the seawater chamber, and the cabin will not be flooded with water. Moreover, it can also be used as a hidden method to attack silently from the bottom of the sea. Snapped. Good idea. Rex hit his left hand with his right fist, feeling excited. When Jing Dan said this, Rex's mind wandered and he immediately had many fantastic ideas. With this method, he could solve the problem of mermaids like Neptune getting in and out of the ship. Problem. Rex's recruitment on Fishman Island no longer needs to be limited to fishmen. Great, he is indeed the top shipwright in Neptune's words. Rex was smiling and looking at Dan with admiration. Dan, come on my boat. Rex took this opportunity to extend the invitation without hesitation I don't even have a decent shipwright on my ship, so I need a talent like you. Sorry, I don't want to join the human pirate group. Dan was a little surprised by Rex's invitation, but he refused without hesitation. Dan's refusal was not unexpected by Rex, so he persuaded him Dan, you should understand that even Neptune being willing to board my ship fully demonstrates that our Titan pirates are completely different from other humans and pirate groups. There are different races on our ship, and there will be more races in the future. Haven't your family always yearned for life on land and sea? So why not take this step first? Yes. Dan. Neptune also joined in the persuasion at this time. Since he decided to join the Titan Pirates and go to sea to experience, he has been very serious about his identity. Although he is the next king of Fishman Island, he understands that like it is not difficult for a being like Rex to occupy a country and become a royal family. Countries that are members of the world government are not allowed but there are also countries that are not members of the world government. Those countries are considered non-France by the world government, regardless of those real the world government will not care about anything a strong person does. In addition, the opponent's strength is far beyond his own, so the prince and future king's profile has no value in front of Rex. If you want to change the situation of Fishman Island, you can stay on Fishman Island and it's really difficult for me to do it alone. I need your help. Neptune was so sincere that Dan couldn't help but remain silent. Just like Neptune said, becoming my crew will be beneficial to Fishman Island. The world government won't care either. After all, although you are a member of the world government, you probably haven't participated in a world conference for many years, right? More than 400 years, Neptune added in a low tone. You see, they haven't cared about it for more than 400 years. Your Fishman Island just has the title of a member country of the world government. Moreover, the Tianlong people are the main force in raising fish human slaves. So come on my boat, accept the experience of the sea, become a true strongman, and become the foundation of Fishman Island. 
Rex looked at Dan firmly, as if Dan would be a coward if he didn't join, and he just didn't love his hometown. Dan looked at Rex, whose eyes were firm and expectant, and then at Neptune, who was equally expectant, and struggled internally for a moment. Seeing Dan's intention, Neptune finally added fire, Come on Dan, I won't be alone if I have an acquaintance. This, Dan's breath was stagnant, and then he let out a long sigh of relief and said with a smile there is really nothing we can do against you. In this case, I will take care of you from now on, Captain. Ha ha ha, don't worry. Rex was overjoyed. He finally deceived a top ship builder. Speaking of which, this guy is also very strong. His brother Tom can lift a ship with one arm. This is because he is a ship builder. He is a craftsman, not a combatant, otherwise he will be more powerful. According to Rex's feeling, Tom may have the potential to be as good as the future sea hero Jinbi. So as his younger brother, Dan's potential should not be lower. Right? After all, as a top ship builder, he also has the ability to build a ship by himself, and his strength is not small. After successfully inviting the future shipwright Dan, Rex, and the two returned happily. In a flash, another three days have passed. The largest central square on Fishman Island is packed with people. How is it possible that His Highness Prince Neptune actually wants to join that pirate group? Am I dreaming? Who will wake me up? Snapped. Ah. It hurts. Why did you hit me? The fishman who spoke covered his face and waited for the strong octopus mermaid next to him. Didn't you say you wanted someone to wake you up? Hey hey hey! The octopus and mermaid looked innocent, but they were smiling evilly. You guy, hey! The beaten fishman had nothing to say. He glared at the octopus mermaid and walked aside. In the square, all members of the Titan pirates stood on a high platform. Rex, Lingling, and Shaven stood in front of everyone. But in front of them, they had already joined the Titans Neptune and Dan from the Thieves. The two of them talked about why they wanted to join the Titan Pirates, and called on everyone who wanted to increase their strength to protect Fishman Island to join. He also pointed to the dozen or so families under the high platform closest to the high platform, and told how Rex acted righteously to save the children of these families preventing them from being taken to the sea and sold, thus avoiding tragedy. Various personal experiences made people in the square excited. Those dozen families are not fake, there are two families near me, said the mermaid. Yes, these pirates are really different from those hateful humans who discriminate against us. No. If we discriminate against other races, this pirate group will not be able to exist. Look. Most of them are from different races. I want to go to the sea and see the blue sky and white clouds, the sun, the forest, and the land. I want, too. Even His Highness Neptune and Dan are willing to join. This pirate group is not bad, so I decided to join them. Under the words of personal experience, more and more young men and women in the Fishman Square became interested. Hey, Captain of the Titan Pirates, can anyone join you? The mermaid young man shouted. Rex looked in the direction of the question, took a step forward and said loudly of course. You can all join my ship, whether you are a man or a woman, a mermaid or a fish man. But, Rex changed the topic life at sea is not easy, we may encounter a lot of battles. Therefore, if you want to board the ship, you must have certain strength and talent, otherwise, our pirate group will not accept it because it will cost you your life. Yes, the humans on the sea are not friendly to them. If you don't have the strength, what can you do if you go up there? Are you going to die just to see the same world on the sea? The people who had been boiling with blood suddenly calmed down. But there were also people who were unwilling to give up and asked then how to judge? There are so many of us, it's impossible to try one by one. Of course no need to use 503. Rex chuckled, but his voice spread throughout the square. As long as you can hold on under my momentum, you are qualified to get on the ship. 
there are only three types of people who can withstand the domineering power of the king. 1. They are both kings. 2. They have enough strength and strong will. 3. They have excellent talent. If one of these conditions is met, Rex's domineering power will be destroyed. Immune. Of course, this is when Rex is not too violent. Otherwise, even if they have strength, many people will not be able to hold it and fall. Momentum, what is that? Someone was puzzled and asked aloud. Well, Rex paused. Overlord color and domineering energy were really rare. Not everyone knew about it, and he didn't bother to explain. You don't need to care so much, you just need to know that as long as you can stand in front of me, you are qualified to join. After saying that, Rex whispered to Neptune Nipton, Wait a minute, I will release the domineering domineering power. I think there are some who can hold on, but I don't plan to recruit too many people. But those who can persist for a long time are talents, it would be a pity to let them go. I suggest you ask your father to gather those people and train them carefully. Maybe they can become a special army to guard Fishman Island. Nipton's eyes lit up when he heard this. Yes, as a royal family, although they don't have overlords Haki, their ancestors have had it, and they also have some understanding of overlords Haki. The stronger the strength or talent, the stronger the will, and persistence. The stronger they become over time. If these people train well, they will definitely become an army with good strength per capita. We cannot let this good opportunity pass by. Neptune glanced at Rex gratefully thank you very much, Captain. I notify my father immediately. This voice made Captain Neptune willing and very sincere. Good. Rex nodded and waited quietly for the matter to continue to ferment. More and more people came to the Fishman Square because of this matter. And Dan took over as the keynote speaker and continued to speak out. After a while, Nip Dunn came to Rex with a happy face Captain. My father will be here soon, please wait a moment. With the royal family's endorsement, Fishman Island was a sensation. When Mars arrived with some powerful guards, at least two-thirds of the entire Fishman Island came here. The last time there was such a grand occasion, it was still the time when Mars succeeded to the throne. The arrival of Mars made the crowd even more excited, and even their usual hatred of human beings was greatly changed at this time. How could the person who can make King Mars come to the platform to be a bad person? Woolen cloth? Captain, it's time to begin. Neptune saw that almost everyone on Fishman Island was coming, and he came to Rex and whispered. Okay, I get it. Rex nodded, looked at Mars and nodded. Then, the last people standing here will become my crew members, living on the sea and traversing the sea. After Rex said loudly, his domineering aura swept out. Boom! The violent wind convolved, and a shock wave spread in all directions with Rex as the center. For a moment, it seemed as if the whole world was eclipsed by it. Millions of fish people stared wide-eyed and rolled their eyes in a kind of silent awe. Plop plop! A continuous sound of falling to the ground was heard. With only one meeting, only a few thousand people were left out of the approximately four million people who came here. A flash of surprise flashed in Rex's eyes. Although he didn't release his domineering power too much, it was still a bit unexpected that there were so many people. It seems that it helps a lot that the fishmen are born ten times stronger than ordinary humans. It's a pity that the lower limit may be high, and in a few hundred years there will be another Neptune whose upper limit is no longer good resulting in that almost all the murlocs have a low upper limit. With a population of 5 million, Jinbei was only one level, and to put it bluntly, Jinbei was just the deputy of the emperor. But thinking about it this way, Rex thinks that 5 million people can produce a Jinbei, which is also amazing. There are as many people as there are in the entire world, but there are only so many powerful people with names. That ratio is greater than even one Jinbei from Fishman Island. Your Majesty, these people have good potential, I will only choose about 23%. If the rest are well cultivated, they can become a powerful army. 
thinking about training them out, the situation of Fishman Island will be greatly changed. Mars glanced at Rex and looked at the confused people in the field with joy. How is this going? Everyone? What happened to you guys? Die, do you died? Few not dead, just fainted. Is this what Captain Rex meant when he said that only those who can stand in front of him under his momentum are qualified to join? It's really, really too strong. I must join the Titan Pirates. However, there are too many people who can stand. It is impossible for them all to join, right? The mermaids standing in the center of the field looked at each other, not knowing what to do for a moment. My people! At this time, at Rex's signal, Mars stood up. It's His Majesty Mars. The mermaids all looked at it. I know you all have doubts, how can so many people join a Titan Pirates group? In fact, Captain Rex will only choose a very small number of you, maybe a dozen or so. However, your strength and talents should not be wasted like this. So I decided to build the strongest army on Fishman Island. I hope that if you fail the next assessment and fail to join the Titan Pirates, you can join this new special army of Fishman Island. Mars explained this improvised army in detail. How it usually involves training and how it is treated. After explaining these clearly, we can understand them with emotion and reason. In the end, the mermaids present cheered. Call. Your Majesty, we are willing to join your new army. Yes, we all do. Looking at the calls one after another, Mars was moved to tears. When Rex looked at this guy, I'm going to cut off my beard now. But before he could speak, he understood when he saw his face. Mars, probably thinking about it, added. My people, you can't all join this army. Those who persist to the end should join the Titan Pirates. When the mermaids heard this, they wanted to express their determination. You don't have to think too much. The one who will eventually join the Titan Pirates will be the strongest or most talented among you. Leaving you on Fishman Island is really a waste of your talents. Only by joining the Titan Pirates and going out to explore, fight, and endure hardships can you reach your greatest potential. When you accompany the Titan Pirates to shake the sea, Fishman Island will surely usher in the best era in thousands of years. Go and fight, my people. Mars spoke loudly, and Rex was filled with admiration. Not to mention, he is worthy of being a king. His eloquence is quite good, and he can do it easily. It frightened the mermaids to tears, and they wanted to go up the mountain of swords and the sea of fire. Ahem. Mars coughed slightly, his throat a little dry after his passionate speech, and looked at Rex. Okay, you can continue. Um. Rex nodded and said to the thousands of people come here and stand near the high platform. The person who faints later can be taken away by your king. After saying that, the mermaids carefully stepped over the compatriots who had fainted in the square to avoid stepping on them. After a while, thousands of people came to a relatively open place near Rex. Then, the next assessment begins. The longer you persist, the easier it will be for your king to remember you. I wish you success. Rex smiled, his eyes focused, and a more violent domineering aura burst out. The hair of everyone present was blown wildly. Plop plop. The mermaids began to fall to the ground again. In the end, there were only a few hundred people left. While the people were still swaying, the corners of Rex's lips curled up, and his domineering aura strengthened again. The sound of falling to the ground was heard again. In the end, only about seventy people could still stand. And these people, the worst at least he has the qualifications of a colonel or even a commodore in the navy headquarters. Although it is nothing on the sea, if he is guarded on an island, it can still make the Fishman Island a lot more stable. But these are still too many. Rumble crackle. Rex's domineering aura strengthened again, and even his friends behind him felt a little unbearable. Red and black lightning spread, making a roaring sound of lightning. Well. 
the mermaids began to fall to the ground one after another under the impact of this level of overlord colored domineering energy. After a dozen people staggered for a long time and finally fell to the ground, there were only nine mermaids left in the field who were covered in cold sweat. Among these mermaids, there are seven from the fishmen tribe and two from the mermaid tribe. According to their qualifications, they at least have the potential to become elite major generals in the headquarters. It is not unusual for some individuals to reach the level of lieutenant general. As for whether they can achieve it and whether they can reach Jinbei's level, it is possible for these people, as long as they are willing to put in enough effort and hardship. After countless battles, there is still a chance to transform in the end. It seems that you are the ones who are qualified to join us. Congratulations, you got the ticket to become a strong person. Gudong a beautiful looking mermaid swallowed a mouthful of saliva and collapsed on the ground with a plop sure, successful. The remaining few people also panted heavily and sat on the ground. Rex glanced at these people with satisfaction and said to Mars the more than twenty people who fell to the ground just now have great potential. When he grows up, he will be able to rival the rank of Rear Admiral of the Navy Headquarters. As for whether you can go further, it requires hard work and opportunity. If you train them well, they will be the strongest shield on Fishman Island. Okay, okay, okay. Mars nodded excitedly, feeling that it was really worth it to agree to Rex's recruitment on Fishman Island this time. Everyone, you can go home after you have a good rest. Prepare your things and meet at the port tomorrow morning. Are you leaving tomorrow, Captain? Nipton, who had completely assumed the identity of a crew member of the Titan Pirates, was stunned. Ah! Rex nodded the purpose of coming to Fishman Island has been achieved. I was just passing through. There is no need to stay here for too long. Anyway, I can come again if I have a chance in the future. Yes then I will go back and prepare. Neptune said, turned around and flew towards the Dragon Palace. If it's tomorrow, I'll have to work harder to get things ready. Dan said after watching Neptune leave. The next day, thirty or forty families and some spectators gathered at the port. In yesterday's selection, nine people were finally selected. But Lingling and the others wanted to recruit some fish the mermaid barista, pastry chef and cake chef that Man Island is famous for. Finally, there are a few more charming beauties, which instantly adds a lot of beauty to the Rex pirates. Come to Fish Man Island and recruit now. Sixteen people, seven of whom are women. Five non-combatants, all mermaids, and two combatants, one a female murloc and one a mermaid. The other men including Dan, are all combatants, three of them are mermaids and six are murlocs. Including Chauvin, the Titan pirates currently have seventeen murlocs. In naval battles, they will have a very considerable advantage. With the existence of Dan, coding has become a simple matter. Except for Nipton, who is a big guy, and is temporarily assigned to the second bedroom in the Rex suite, everyone else has a bedroom of his own. After everyone chooses their own bedroom, after cleaning up, everyone came to the deck. After Neptune said goodbye to Mars again, he flew to the Sloaner in the bubble circle Hamits modified by Lingling. Everyone is here, let's go. The Sloaner, which was sailing on the inner sea of Fishman Island, passed through the entrance and exit of Fishman Island and was instantly wrapped in a huge bubble wrap. The mermaids on the boat all showed expectant looks and were filled with excitement. From today on, their destiny has been changed, and we are about to live under the real sunshine. Compared with the new world, the first half of the Grand Line, even the bottom of the sea, seems much more stable. Except for a few unsighted sea kings along the way, the Titan Pirates the group arrived at the first half of the Grand Route without any surprise or danger. In the dark environment, the upper part gradually began to glow. About to arrive. Neptune and the other murlocs stared above with burning eyes. Rex sat on the deck and looked above thoughtfully. Soon, we will reach the first half of the Great Route, where the Navy is stronger. I don't know what will happen. Boom! The giant object emerged from the bottom of the sea, 
and the sea water stayed along the round membrane wall, making a splashing sound. Finally reached. Lingling stood up from Rex and looked around. At a glance, she saw the woods close to the Red Earth continent in the distance. Is that the last stop into the New World, the Shambord Islands? Rex stood up and stood next to Lingling and looked at it, yes, an island composed of the roots of dozens of trees. Boom! The bubble wrap bursts, and fresh air with the smell of the sea rushes in. A group of mermaids breathed in obsessively, feeling everything in the sea world. This is above the sea, what a beautiful place! Only 18 years old, Neptune has never been to the sea. Everything here is so fresh and beautiful to him. Relatively speaking, in the eyes of some people, Fishman Island is also a very beautiful place with unique and unique scenery. Rex took Lingling onto the bow deck. Brother, what are our next plans? Rupert asked as he walked up to Rex. Um. Rex looked at the shampoo islands that were getting closer. This place has many criminal groups and is very chaotic. Let's all play together, otherwise it's not safe. By the way, Elena. Brother. Elena looked up at Rex. Our permanent pointers are only from the New World. Don't forget to buy the permanent pointers for the sea area. Yes, brother, I understand. Elena nodded. After saying this, Rex noticed everyone's expectant eyes. Rex smiled, okay, everything remains as usual, the funding is still 10 million per person. Yet. Long live big brother. Awesome 773. I heard that the clothes in the Shambord Islands are very fashionable so I have to do some shopping this time. Everyone cheered and started to form groups to discuss a shopping trip on the island. The mermaids, especially the mermaids, looked at the girls discussing buying clothes with envy. But they had just boarded the boat, what? I haven't done it yet, I'm embarrassed, and I don't even dare to expect to have my own share. Avril, give us the money. The anxious ones have already begun to urge. No hurries. Avril, who was in charge of the ship's financial revenue and expenditure, raised her eyebrows and said distressedly really, I just know how to spend money. Light can't get out. Although she complained, Avril still walked to the vault to withdraw the money. After a while, Avril returned and took out more than 400 million and distributed it equally to everyone. Ah do we have one too? Looking at the 10 million baileys, the mermaids exclaimed, their pretty pink lips slightly opened. Certainly. Lingling put the ten million that looked like change in her hand into her small bag and said with a smile when we get on the boat, we are all a family. Ho 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 we are a family, that's great. Neptune laughed, feeling that his choice was right. During the joyful conversation, the Sloaner soon arrived at the Shampoo Islands and looked for a suitable docking point along the shore. That is, on the island, someone looked at the flag of the Titan Pirates. Titan Pirates? What? Is it the rookie pirate group that was at its peak right after their debut? That flag is absolutely right. They actually arrived at the first half of the Grand Line. Feeling the secret gazes of those in the woods of the Shampoo Islands, Rex and others didn't care. Now, they are simply in a fish pond and they are the only ones who can fry fish. Some civilians or gangs, traffickers, etc. Has no qualifications to alert Rex. Boom. The anchor dropped and fell into the sea. Brother, the boat has stopped. After dropping the anchor, Rupert came over and said. Okay everyone, let's go to the island. By the way, you guys don't go together if you go together you should go with others. On this island, if there is no protection, the fishmen may be fine, and they can barely protect themselves if they have some strength. But you are not strong enough, you are just like Pele walking in the eyes of garbage, and you can easily be sent to the auction house. Yes, Captain, we get it. The mermaids looked frightened and pale. Lingling, please take them with you, otherwise it is not safe. After Rex said to the mermaids, he then said to Lingling. Lingling nodded, 
with sympathy in her eyes, Okay, just follow me, I will definitely protect you. Ah so handsome. Thank you, Vice Captain Lingling. The mermaids held their hearts in awe, their eyes were filled with stars, and their hearts suddenly felt full of security. Um? Ha 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 ha, Lingling was stunned by the mermaid's words and started laughing. This was the first time she was told that she was handsome. Everyone teamed up one after another, even the murlocs teamed up with the powerful old crew members to avoid being besieged. Okay, let's go. Seeing that everyone was ready, Rex waved his hand, and the crew members filed off. All members of the Titan pirates disembarked, but the secretly peeping peeps were exclaimed. One, two, three, oh my god, six mermaids. Six. There are also three male mermaids, so big. The orange-haired mermaid is so big. Seven, there are seven fishmen. Oh my god, are the Titan pirates also going to be slave traders? Impossible. Just look at those guys and you will know that they are definitely their companions. It's really rare for so many mermaids and fishmen to join the Titan pirates. What to do? Want to take action. This, those two guys with different body shapes are both super newcomers with a bounty of more than one billion. This sentence immediately silenced the peepers. After a while, someone said so what? The newspapers said that they looted a country and massacred tens of thousands of people. Even if they have some strength, such a high bounty is only given based on the extent of their evil deeds. What is the true strength? Not necessarily. Yes, what he said makes sense. There are so many mermaids and fishmen, and one of them is a rare giant mermaid. Even if the fishmen are not as valuable as the mermaids, these guys combined are still worth billions of belly. Don't forget, their other crew members are also relatively rare items. Yes, longhand tribe, fur tribe, these can fetch quite a bit of money too. The people of Tianlong like these rare things the most. If you do it well, it is possible to get tens of billions. Hiss that's a lot of money. After doing this, you won't have to work for a long time. You can just enjoy your life for a while, or just retire. That's right. However, we cannot take it lightly. Being able to plunder a country and massacre so many people is impossible even if you don't have the strength. At best, it's just a certain level of inflated ambition. I feel that individual teams will definitely not be able to bear it. I suggest that we report it immediately and return it to help all of us unite. With so many groups united, even if the Titan pirates have some strength, they will not be able to resist us. What a great idea. Just do it. GGGG, maybe those two big guys can be caught and sold together, plus a billion belly slave, this is even rarer than the mermaids. The peepers in the dark gradually dispersed and left with greedy smiles. Feeling the sudden increase in malice and then gradually moving away, Rex frowned. Everyone, please be careful and call us as soon as possible if anything happens. Those rubbish in the dark must be targeting us. I heard that the Navy headquarters is not far from here. Hey, is this their self-proclaimed governance of justice? It's really ridiculous. Everyone showed murderous intent, Elton, a longhand clan member, mocked. Elton's words made everyone also look sarcastic. Remember to contact us if you have any questions. After that, Rex took Dejun, who could fly with him, and left in a random direction. If anything happened, Dejun would take him there as soon as possible. Passing by a giant tree, Rex looked up, it says number 19. On the 19th, it seems this is a lawless zone. No wonder there are so many malicious peaks. Rex couldn't help but shook his head and said suddenly. When the Titan pirates were dispersed in the Shampoo Islands, this news was immediately learned by the assistant at the Shampoo Islands naval base. After learning about this, the people at the Shampoo Islands naval base the base commander frowned. As a senior vice admiral in the Navy, ordinary people don't know it, but he knows it very well. This newly debuted Titan pirates group is very powerful. 
the captain and vice-captain's current strength evaluation is comparable to that of the general candidates. According to the intelligence brought back by GARP, the rising star of the Navy who was promoted to vice-admiral half a month ago. Those two brats are not much weaker than him. I must inform the headquarters. The current situation is not something I can directly decide now. It depends on what the headquarters plans. After thinking for a moment, the base director decisively dialed the number the phone bug that communicates with General Cyborg Sora. Bru bru. Bulo bulo ka. The phone was picked up, the face of the phone bug became resolute, and a row of mohawks like steel needles stood up. Here is Cyborg. The arrival of the Titan pirates has caused undercurrents to surge in the Shampoo Islands. Six mermaids, an even rarer giant male mermaid, two ordinary male mermaids, one female mermaid, seven male mermaids, and some other races. The huge profits make it impossible for those scum in the gutter to curb their ambitions. The leaders of various human trafficking groups are in contact with each other and discussing alliances. This time, the benefits are so great that even more than ten of our groups can make a lot of money. If possible, take down those two big guys. If it were auctioned, I'm afraid they alone could sell four to five billion. The celestial dragons like this guy with a bounty on his head the most as a mount. This pirate group is really an extremely valuable pirate group. Indeed, this is a rare opportunity. There will never be a new pirate group with a high bounty upon their debut. So, let's unite, those two guys should be pretty good, and only by uniting can we win. The traffickers who had negotiated began to gather a large number of their subordinates to distribute weapons and ammunition. At this time, the crew members who had no clues were shopping in places they were interested in. Rex walked on the streets of the illegal zone, feeling the place. The smoky atmosphere makes me unhappy. Forget it, this is a crappy place, let's go to the tourist road tourist area and commercial area. If I had known, I would have left with Lingling. Although I think so in my heart, I just think about it this way. Women are magical creatures and they will explode with amazing physical strength and perseverance when shopping. And at this time, men will also become magical creatures. Their usual physical strength and endurance, they will consume it at an exaggerated speed when shopping with women. Although in this world, Rex's body makes it almost impossible for him to feel physical exertion in daily life, but shopping is still a kind of torture for him that can make his soul tired. Commercial Street Elton followed Elena and other girls with a dejected look. He didn't do it voluntarily. And he was obviously supposed to be a bodyguard. But what is it that it's a pity to have such long arms that can't carry a bag? Elton said something uncomfortable in his heart I followed without saying a word, with constant thoughts in my heart. Rupert, Charlie, Alvin, you bastards. Still not brothers. I actually left it behind. What a beast! You beast that rides on a horse! Um? Elena, who was talking and laughing with her sisters, felt Elton's low pressure and narrowed her eyes. Why, Elton, did you feel wronged by following our sisters shopping? Everyone stared at Elton. If they dared to say something unpleasant, then, hum hum. How come? Elton immediately exclaimed, I'm very happy. How do those idiots understand the joy of going shopping with a beautiful woman? That's very well said, but why don't you laugh? Kristen said with a sneer on her face. This, exist, you're laughing. Elton's face froze and he forced a smile. Your smile is ugly and forced. It seems that what you are thinking is completely different from what you are saying. I, Elton broke into a cold sweat. Suddenly, his expression changed and he kicked Elena away from him. Whoosh! A bullet passed by Elena's position just now. Bang! The sound of gunshots came suddenly at this time. Elena, who was originally shocked and angry that Elton dared to kick her, suddenly turned cold. Someone actually dares to take action against our Titan pirates. Sisters, stop wandering around now and deal with these scum first. Elena frowned, her face full of anger, 
and she disappeared from the place with her sword. Wait, Elton speechlessly grabbed the hundreds of bubbles holding things tied to his arm and chased after him. The same scene happened in different places. Rex frowned and scratched the center of his brow. The bullet just hit him was a little itchy. A few hundred meters away, a sniper from one of the traffickers' groups raised his head from the scope in shock. Strange, monster, bullets are completely useless against him. This defense is too exaggerated. Boom. The murmuring sniper was shocked by the sudden loud noise in front of him. When he raised his eyes, he saw that Rex, who was just a few hundred meters away, had appeared in front of him. In front of you. Scumbag, tell me, how do you want to die? Rex looked at the sniper in a black suit expressionlessly and raised his feet. No, don't want, boom. It seems that these people have begun to take action. Rex rubbed his solace on the grass nearby. Alas, it's really a toad crawling on your feet. If you don't bite, it will be very annoying. Is it that Lingling and I's strength has been questioned, or has their greed gone to their heads? The domineering aura of seeing and hearing covered the entire island, and Rex raised his head to June, take me over there. Yes, Dad. When Dejun heard this, he turned into a huge fireball. Rex jumped lightly and stood on top of Dejun. Rex flew away in Dejun, and everyone around him breathed a sigh of relief. How terrible, that man was trampled to death with just one kick. In the other direction, Lingling's face was cold. If she hadn't reacted quickly just now, when passing by an alley, the mermaid Lilith at the back would have been stunned and taken away. Kill those guys with lightning, Lingling saw and heard the domineering aura spread. In sight, a dozen figures hiding in the big trees in the distance hurried away with guns on their backs. After scratching some itchy places on her body, Lingling said to everyone with her it seems, these people have already set their sights on you and will take action no matter what. That, what to do? Vice Captain Lingling Hum, Rex has a saying that I like very much, only a thousand days can make a thief, there is no thousand days to guard against a thief. Since they choose to take action and want to lure us over, then that's what they want. Let's go, I will protect you. Lingling had a sneer on her lips, and led the somewhat frightened mermaids toward the place where those people gathered in the scene. The alliance of the traffickers was also known to many people around them. Where they gathered to set up traps, people stay away, for fear of affecting the actions of these people and being retaliated against later. There really won't be any problems, right? One of the bosses among the traffickers asked worriedly. Nick Waken, what are you afraid of when everyone is here? Yes Nick Waken. Do you think that a mere forty of them can deal with thousands of our heavily armed men? Haha, <laughs> I just have some ominous premonition. N.I.Q. Ajin, the boss of the human traffickers who spoke before, wiped the sweat from his forehead. His intuition has always been good, so he didn't intend to agree today. It's just that his men held him back, and the benefits were too great. But now, in his heart, his intuition is getting stronger and stronger. The last time it was this strong, he was almost killed. Niku Ajin looked around and thought, What, I'm going to the toilet. After saying that, Nikuajin turned around and left pretending to be calm. Hurry up! One of the bosses rolled his eyes. This guy really poops a lot in battle. When he arrived at the edge of the encirclement, Nikokin breathed a sigh of relief and wanted to leave quickly. The sense of crisis in his heart at this time had already made his heart beat so fast that he felt a little breathless. Boom! Suddenly, accompanied by a roar, Nikokin raised his head at first glance, a figure standing on a huge fireball approached quickly. With a look of shock on his face, he felt a sense of danger of death, and quickly returned to where he came from. Now, only hiding in the crowd can give him a sense of security. At the same time, from other directions, there were several or seven or eight people coming from basically every direction. Successfully, whoever has been attracted by us, hide them well, and when they enter the encirclement, 
immediately use sleeping bombs to cover them and attack them. Yes. This order was passed quietly in secret. But they had no chance to succeed. Although these figures were well hidden, everyone could easily find them even if they had not yet awakened to their senses. Neptune the others were told by the old crew members not to kill and expelled them to the center. Although they did not understand, Neptune and the others still obeyed. They were newcomers and just listened to the old crew members. Although the attack was terrifying, it was not hurt someone. The fighting power unleashed by the Titan pirates stunned the bosses of the traffickers. It's over, it's over, why are these guys so strong? Isn't it said that the bounty is exaggerated? This is so damn high. The speed is too fast and you can't hit them. I thought the conspiracy had succeeded, but at the first glance the situation reversed, and I seemed to be a lamb to be slaughtered. Wear a mask. Someone shouted. Immediately, the traffickers immediately took out their masks and began to reflect the sleeping bombs regardless. Now it is impossible to hunt the Titan pirates. The most important thing is to escape quickly. As long as they escape and disperse, the Titans will the pirate group can't do anything to them. On this island, no pirate would dare to mess around. Boom boom boom. Small sleeping bombs were shot out one after another, and after falling on the ground, they emitted a strong white smoke. After the wind. Just when they were secretly rejoicing that even if their plan failed, they could still take advantage of the chaos to escape, a hoarse female voice with murderous intent sounded out. Asking for her flowers. Hey! Suddenly, strong winds whipped up in this area, and a tornado formed in an instant. Tornado! Why is there a tornado here? The bosses were stunned, with a chilling fear in their hearts. The sudden tornado swept all the air thousands of meters around. The smoke from the sleeping bombs had no time to spread, and was gathered by the wind. Toward the center. In just a few minutes, all the sleeping bombs lost their effectiveness. The tornado also blew to the sky under the control of the wind, and gradually dissipated in the air. Without the sleeping bombs, the guns in the hands of the traffickers were not as good as fire sticks. In the Titan Pirates under the attack of the Titan Pirates, they kept moving closer to the center. In the end, they were forced into the trap they prepared for the Titan Pirates. By this moment, they already understood that their life and death were in the hands of the Titan Pirates. Wait! Knowing that something was wrong, one of the bosses quickly raised his hand to surrender and said urgently everyone in the Titan Pirates, listen to me. This time it was our fault, please let us go. Killing us won't do you any good will it? Spare our lives and we can pay the ransom. As soon as this was said, the other bosses nodded one after another, with eager and sincere expressions on their faces that's right, that's right. We can pay the ransom. We can give you all our money, we just ask you to spare our lives. At this time, all the members of the Titan Pirates appeared in front of them and surrounded them. Zero. Although there were only forty people, these thousands of people no longer dared to resist at this time. The words of those bosses caused everyone to temporarily stop and wait for Rex's decision. When they saw this, they were overjoyed and knew they had a chance. Rex stood on Dijun, looking down at these people from the air. Do you think we care about money? The indifferent voice poured a basin of cold water into the hearts of thousands of people. At this time, Nikokin who had failed to escape before, shouted loudly let me go, I can exchange my life with a piece of news. Oh! These words caught Rex's attention. Sometimes, news is worth much more than money. Tell me. Rex found the speaker in the crowd. You, you have to promise to let me go first. Nick Yagen said with a trembling voice. What? Nick Waken, you only care about yourself. Bastards, let them spare our lives. We can't survive, and neither can you. The other bosses and their subordinates looked at each other angrily, wishing they could eat Nikuajin alive. Shut up! Rex shouted coldly, and the terrifying momentum immediately silenced those below. 
Your news is only available only if you have enough value can I let you go? Rex said looking at the guy called Nick Waken. Although he is a human trafficker that he hates very much, if the information is really valuable, then it is not a bad idea to let him go. This, Nick Wajin hesitated and said, it's news about a devil fruit. Oh. Rex and everyone's eyes lit up. Since Elton ate the devil fruit, his strength has soared. Except for Rex and Lingling, he is not at the same level as them. Now everyone is paying attention to the devil fruit. If he can if you get a powerful fruit, then someone can teach this bitch like Elton what humility means. Not only the eyes of Rex and others lit up, but the bosses and senior officials of the human traffickers were also startled at first, and then their faces became overjoyed. And I when Kuojin saw this, he cried out in his heart that something was wrong. Everyone actually knew the news, but they just didn't think of it for a moment. Seeing that they were all scrambling to tell them to save their own lives, N.I. Kuojin didn't even bother to negotiate conditions for the other party. I promised to spare my life first. There will be a devil fruit up for auction at the 3 p.m. auction at the District 1 auction house. Nick Yagin shouted hurriedly. After saying that, he looked at Rex nervously and expectantly. Nick Yagin got the better of him, and the others were furious. They rushed forward and wanted to beat him, but they didn't dare to move when they thought of Rex and the others. Is that the news? Rex looked at Nick Waken and shook his head. Unfortunately, this alone is not enough. I can also find out from other sources. No, you cannot do that. Nick Wajin shouted in despair. But Rex ignored him, lingling. Let's do it, it will just add some life storage. Um. Lingling nodded and uttered an extremely cold word with a cold look on her face. Life or death. <laughs>